君の部屋さん綺麗だに取り減らへぬらへらぬんゆらうねらゆらわらフィーメル Listen L It's okay to not be okay It's okay to make an airship go spinny by yelling real loud I'll never forget you I'll always love you Nintendo Badge Arcade What we had was special I won't forgive Nintendo <laughs> For what they've done to you! Um, so today we're gonna be playing uh, Fantasy Life for the for the Nintendo 3DS. Yes. <laughs> we have consoles. <laughs> Wait, shit, the chat's wrong! She's gone! You are old! <laughs> Goodbye forever! Theme song of chat. Fantasy life, it's real. Chat is still gone. Theme song of chat. <laughs> oh no, I watched too many silly cat videos. And ever since then, I've just... Hold on, let's see if this is gonna fix you. I can't fix you, but I can make you worse. Nice. Oh wait, God. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. <laughs> I can't believe this hate it here. <laughs> I've been watching too many silly cat videos. And ever since then, I just view everything as theme song of. Theme song of chat. Theme song of two gray cats. Theme song of dwarf bubble. <laughs> Wait a second, I need to check something. And that something is. Did I actually delete all of my save data? Because I meant to delete all of my save data because it has an embarrassing name. I was stupid once, don't look at me. <laughs> I think I deleted it. I'm safe. You're never gonna see my fan fiction. We're so I mean, what? We're so back. <laughs> we are so back, I assume. Seriously, I'm doing my best. Ah, uh, bop. And the cuts, and the boot, and the cat, and the boot, and the cat, and the boot, and the cat, and the boot, and the cat. Theme song of beatboxing man. I'm fine. I'm f I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Listen. Fantasy Life on the 3DS is an underappreciated classic, and it's hopefully getting a sequel this year. Not that I fully, like, wholeheartedly believe this, because I've not heard much about it, and it's October, and it doesn't have a release date yet. We live in hope. We live in hope. This is an underappreciated gem, and I'm going to make you fucking appreciate it whether you like it or not, kids. <laughs> There's no escape. Listen, you I have a fucking plan. I'm a man with a plan, and you can't stop me, and I would like to see you attempt to do so. <laughs> and Snevy will be here the entire time, chilling. What I say? Bro likes to chill. Are you wobbly, don't we all? I played, okay. This is my version of like a sh This is gonna be my shitty version of like doing a Chugga Conroy style Let's Play where I've- I've played this game 30 times already and I know it- I don't think I know it inside out but I- I- I appreciate this piece of software. And you know what, you're about to appreciate it too. Funny new game in the purple slot! But first... The character creator of all- we are so back! We are so back! <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Anything is possible. Boy or girl, you've never had more options. Wait a second. <laughs> Did I drop something on the floor? No, it was just my jaw! Because of how good this video game is! You'll understand. You'll see. You are going to Naruhodo. Whether you want to Naruhodo or you Naruhodo don't. I'm normal. I'm normal about this game. <laughs> oh.
Oh boy. Okay, there's no hope in hell we're gonna be able to make a Ren Penrose. Do we make an original character? Do not steal. <laughs> Do we make another female character called Kevin? <laughs> Genuinely so excited for this. It was one of my favorite games growing up and the nostalgia wave hits me like a train. Thank you for playing it. No! Thank you for supporting the game development si- I don't know, man. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we're gonna have two people- two kinds of people in this stream as well. It's people who don't know fantasy life and people who really know fantasy life. <laughs> and we're all gonna be people who really know fantasy life by the end of this. And then you're gonna go out and you're gonna buy it secondhand. Oh boy. Let's see. <laughs> let's make- Let's make... Girl... Placeholder named Kevin. Look at this. Look at this variety. Look at this. Look at this. Peep this. We can have slim. We can have rotund. We can have rotund but shorter. We can have person. Or we can have bean sprout. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> I will be honest. Normally I play in bean sprout mode because video games are escapism. <laughs> She's normal. Bean Sprout. Bean Sprout is Pete. Her name can't be Kevin. That's already the the name Kevin has been used. I I named my starter Pokemon Kevin. I named my Genshin Impact character Kevin. I can't name my Fancy Life character Kevin as well. Three Kevins is too many. <laughs> Olimar, I think that's taken. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. For now face. Anything is possible. Look at this shit! Look at that- I did not mean to go forward. Look at this shit! Egghead. Obviously superior. It's called Egghead. Sturdy. Me when I have a sturdy jawline. It's fantastic, by the way. Square. Look at the way the face just shrinks when you're a square. You fucking square. Why don't you come and say that to my face, you fucking square? <laughs> Brilliant. Louie, I don't think... No! <laughs> We're not calling her Louie. Egghead. Look at this. There's also, by the way, I have the DLC. I have the DLC. We will be playing the DLC. I have the DLC, so I get all the... <laughs> so I get all of the fun hairstyles as well. Look at that. <laughs> I get all of the normal hairstyles. Brilliant. Let's see. What have we got? There's nice variety in this game. You can be silly, you can- I'm thinking Miku, Miku, woo It's giving Miku, Miku. <laughs> it's giving Miku. Look at this. You could be anime. We can all be anime. Let's see. I used to like that one. And that one kind of looks like me, so I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> That's how I used to have my hair. Jesus Christ. Every day I thank God for, the <laughs> for giving me the courage to get shorter hair. <laughs> bubble. Mm, bubble. You want a bubble? You want a bubble? It's giving bobble. <laughs> the beehive! <laughs> I call this one the confusing. Where do the bangs go? They just kind of coexist with the rest of the hair. <laughs> Let's see. And that one. And that. Or you can just, you know. Male pattern baldness comes for all of us eventually. I keep saying this because it's true. I do like the idea of designing a nice character and then just giving her a ridiculous name. Like Louie, probably. No, it needs to be aggressively masculine. Kevin! <laughs> or something to that effect. Also, look at the, the funny hair colours. That's a bit more Miku. That's not quite as Miku. 
They all have lovely names. Wow, beautiful. With a perfect, beautiful salmon colored hair. <laughs> Chad Nathaniel. <laughs> Fantasy Life is the best game on the 3DS. So true, Bestie. And I'll stand by that. You should, Bestie. I just wanna. The licorice, the honey, the lavender, the pearl. You got pistachio colored hair? Damn, girl, you looking like a walnut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Look at that. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Can we call her Reginald? I'm liking these ideas. Keep them coming. Gilbert. <laughs> Chat's still broken. Fuck, it is. Uh, we're so back, maybe. Once I copy paste in the URL, there I go. The tempo of the song does not really work with the words I'm trying to say. Let's see. Choose a color. You know what? Choose a color. I like the pure white, but that's because it reminds you of me. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm closer to this one, the silver. Wait, no, surely I'm closer to the, the, the slightly... Slight yes, I'm I have pearl colored hair. <laughs> oh boy. Red for snebby. Ah yes, the strawberry snebby. The snebberry. <laughs> I do kinda like the idea of salmon colored hair though. <laughs> Can't wait for the fan art of my original fantasy life character. <laughs> Sorry, we are just going to be here for a while. This is a very important decision. You can't change it for a bit. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all these colors. Okay, that one's a bit much. <laughs> the blues are a little bit crazy. That one's giving Miku. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. No, but look at all this variety. And if you want to play with this character creator yourself, you can play Fantasy Life for the Nintendo 3DS family of consoles. <laughs> Do it. No, not a fan of that one. No, not a fan of that one. There's just there is just an option to have cat ears, but also regular ears. I don't know where I am. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. What's that one? Fringe. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Fringe. <laughs> Bartholomew here's on the edge. <laughs> hmm. I kind of like this color. I kind of like this color. Rounded. Rotund hair. Let's see, what's this one? Crazy. Miku. A Mozart. <laughs> oh no. Egg Benedict. Greg Benedict. <laughs> this is my original OC. Her name is Greg. <laughs> no, I do like the idea. We just we make a, a very nice looking anime girl, and I'm like, her name is Greg Benedict. <laughs> her name is Benedict. How about that? Benedict Benrose. Oh, it's actually over. What is my career? I don't like I don't like drills because they remind me of my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Greg Greg Benedict. <laughs> I like the name Benedict. I like I like the idea of her name being Benedict. Let's give her Benedict style hair. This is kind of egg colored. If we give her white hair, she'll be kind of egg-coded. Egg-coded? Okay, I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> oh, dear God. We society might be doomed. I'm, I'm society. I might be doomed. Hmm. <laughs> We've done a good job, champ. Benedict is official. <laughs> She's looking like a real Benedict with the beehive. 
Does this look like a Benedict to you? You can barely see her eyes. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What if I give her? Because you can also customize the eyes. What if I make her egg coated? <laughs> Look at that. The, 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 the white of the egg is her hair and the yolk is her eyes. Look at her. <laughs> My original character do not steal. She's fucking gorgeous. Look at that. You may not like it, but this is what the ideal <laughs> male... <laughs> This is what the ideal man looks like. Oh no, she's a bit confused. <laughs> why are they- why is she just looking in different directions? <laughs> Should I be here? Now you are, you can't leave. <laughs> Anime eyes. Shining stars. She's a bit confused. Dot eyes. We can look for some- <laughs> Dozy eyes. Honest eyes. Robot eyes. A baby eyes. Alien eyes. Heart highlights. I've always liked these ones because they're the ones with the most colors in them. <laughs> Not a fan of the name, but what can you do? <laughs> she looks like a Pokemon villain. <laughs> this is my, um, this is my, my renegade villainous playthrough of Fantasy Life. I've done I've done heroic uh, paragon playthroughs before, but you know this time I'm really just feeling I'm just I'm just feeling crazy. <laughs> it's time for frime. <laughs> time to fry up some evil schemes. She's so normal. We gotta give her. You can't see the eyebrows, so that means we can go crazy. Lightning eyebrows. Spiky eyebrows. Puzzled eyebrows. I would be puzzled as well. Can you actually... You can't see him. Well, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, well. I meant crime. It's too late. Egg-coded egg villain girl. <laughs> I, a fried egg, was reincarnated as the villainous in my favorite Otome game. Ah, yes. Hitting store shelves yesterday. Look at the, the degree of customization, genuinely, though. It, it, it warms an old man's heart. It's me. I'm the old man. Is there a nose that's egg-coded? Diamond nose. Droplet nose. Slope nose? You want a fucking slope nose? You want your nose to be sloped? You want your nose to be angular? Vote now for your favorite nose. You want a triangular nose? Do you, punk? Me when I look like an Animal Crossing character. You want to look like you're from Hokutase? You want that, punk? <laughs> you want bun nose? Wait, no, yeah, these are starting to just give... I've changed. I've changed, and all these noses are giving me Pikmin. <laughs> Snooty nose. Small nose. Pointy nose. Sharp nose. Round nose. Droopy nose. Olimar knows. This is... This is so Louis coded. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, it was a Pikmin stream the entire time. You cannot escape. Animal Crossing knows. This was a kind of Animal Crossing, because it's like... When I imagine Animal Crossing, I imagine like the long one. Or maybe I'm thinking of Katamari Damacy. Uh, d d d fuck it. <laughs> Or it could just be square. It could just be a fucking... You fucking square. You, what did you have to say to me? Oh, God. <laughs> we can be a little bit Hokutate coded. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. There we go. Get the... I've, I've had to move all the facial features down so you can see past her egg-like fringe. <laughs> Okay. Ears. Just make it a, like a full-on Pikmin character. <laughs> oh, no. We can have lo- You want lobes? You want earlobes? You want pointed ears? You want big ears? You want round ears? You want norm- Normal ears. 
because the rest of these ears are, and this is true, abnormal. Not normal. <laughs> egg ears. I d Which one of these is egg ears? Which one of these is egg ears? Please tell me. What type of Splatoon is this? I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I haven't even got into the fucking game yet. <laughs> Pointy. She's half elf, half egg. <laughs> Where am I? Pikmin OC, do not steal. Ah yes, after leaving the rescue corps, Carl had a bit of a midlife crisis and now he's egg themed. It's Carl too. This is Carl's sister. I'm making the, the Nintendo based video game original character do not steal cinematic universe. This is Carl's cousin. <laughs> POV she has a togepi. <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm not satisfied with the nose. Droplet nose? I'm kind of fine with droplet nose. I'm, I'm gonna press the OK button so I stop thinking about the fucking nose. MOUTH! Grumpy. Me when I spend 40 minutes in the Nintendo Badge Arcade. <laughs> I'm late, no! Buddy, you haven't missed shit. <laughs> You've missed fucking nothing! <laughs> oh no. There's a bunch of different mouths. I like going with a neutral-ish mouth, or at least a closed mouth. Because otherwise, my boy's just doing impish grin the entire time. Hey. <laughs> I know, silly. That's not. Si that's too silly. That's scary. <laughs> I'll show you scary. Aha. Uh -huh. She's just like me. Yeah. Diamond mouth baby. That's a weird ass looking baby. Slanted. Cheeky smile. Valley. I don't think she's normal. I just think she's neat. <laughs> oh dear. What kind of fucking giggle are you doing? Go move the facial features. I've had to move her entire face down. Serious. She's very serious about eggs. <laughs> Complete look like with Rin now. What does this mean? Which part of- Don't worry about it, I'll stop. It's fine. She's very serious about eggs. You can also have a mustache. She does look a little bit like the Pringles logo, so I do have to be careful about copyright infringement. <laughs> oh boy. What have we got? You can you can just be a bird in this game if you really want to. <laughs> oh no. You can have a star. I like the beauty spot. I like the idea that Benedict over here has a battle scar. What the fuck has she been through? What the fuck happened? Oh no. By the way, so unrelated. I've had a drink waiting for like an hour. <coughs> Crack open like an egg. <gasps> Brilliant. She got in into an egg war. What does this mean? I'm okay with her being like a. She's gonna have some scars by the time this story's fucking done. <laughs> Me when grocery shop. What does this mean? <laughs> you can't just keep saying words. Oh yeah, also, you can choose their voice. Which is fun, because none of them sound like me. Which one of these is going to sound like me? No. No. Yeah, no, it's, 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 tw it's 10 or 12 for me. <laughs> They're all Rin! Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. No. That's not- Oh 
No. <laughs> the drunk one. They all sound a little bit drunk. Eleven sounds like they're offended. Hey! Hi! <laughs> oh no. I normally go with 10 or 12. It's hard to hear over the background music. I will give you that. Me? <laughs> By the way, the voice is, is it's literally only used in combat, I think. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yes! 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 Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Twelve. Is this what Benedict sounds like? Well, at least now I'm a. Shit! It only has six spaces. I forgot. Whoops. She can't be called Benedict after all. And Ben. <laughs> Is there a way we can shorten Benedict to six letters? Is Are there any like combined letters we can use? No, but we can just call her six yen signs in a row, so that's wonderful. No Roman numeral fans winning, by the way. We can just call her like You piece of shit. You bastards. How could you? I can just call her six squares. Why would you give me these options if I can't use all of them? Why are you? <laughs> I did see the word, the, the word, the name Greg earlier, as in Greg's benefit. That's not what I meant to say. Whoops. I can't, what are we thinking about Greg? She is Greg. Greg with, with three Gs. <laughs> Greg with three G's. <laughs> Damn, Greg got that three G. That internet connection. Mm. Mm. Sorry, my drink spilled a, a, a teeny tiny bit. Just a teeny tiny bit. It's okay. Best name. You know what? <laughs> the name will be displayed to others if you enable communication mode. Probably won't be doing that after April. I'm just saying. Okay, now we get to the meat and eggs of the game. I swear it's not just Character Creation Simulator 2022. <laughs> oh boy. Just call her Sunny like Sunny signed up. Actually, I, I really like that. Unironically, I like that. Okay. I'm sorry. Her middle name is Greg with three Gs. I will allow this. I will allow her... Sunny Greg Benefit. Sunny Greg Benedict. Sunny Greg. Graham. I'm. Oh no. Uh. Grenadict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Sunny Greg Side Up Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> you know what? She. She comes from a, a confusing situation, it's fine. I like her name being Sunny. Oh boy. And she goes, hey! Like me. Now, this, okay, it only took half an hour, but we finished the character cr creator nearly. Choose the life you'd like to play as. So, the way that fantasy life works is the classes are lives, but they're not, the classes aren't just combat classes. You can be a fucking t- You can just be a fisherman. Give me a chef. I feel like she legally has to be a chef. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to do- Okay, actually, this is a good time to bring up. Because I'm going to go, like, fucking crazy, I, I had a small idea. And that small idea was... What if I just did all of them? Ha <laughs> I, I, I made a decision and the decision was, you know what, I'm going to do all of them and we're going to mark off what we've done in each life. I've made fucking icons for it. I'll mark off which stage of the life we're at every time so you can see the progress if you just drop in. 
boys with so bag. You can only choose one. But actually, I think you'll find. <laughs> For now, we can choose one. I think she has to be a cook by trade. You're taking them all the way up to God rank. If that's the highest one with the DLC, then yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> and none of this Demi creator nonsense you're on about in America. No. In... In the... In the... Okay. There are different stages of each life you can be at, depending on how swag you are or whatever. In America, the highest rank is called creator. In the European version, you become a god in training and then you just become a god. I'm gonna become the god of fishing. You can't fucking stop me. But for now, she is a battle chef. <laughs> I think we're good with this. She's just got the f Hold on, I'm gonna show you all the outfits. See, you could be normal, or you could be normal, or you could be normal, or you could be a wizard, or you can be Minecraft, or you can- you can just chop down trees all day. You can fish. You can be real. You can- Blacksmith. Blacksmith is- I think my favorite one is mining, but that's just because it's one of the first ones I ever did. Carpen. You can get carpal tunnel in this game. You can make fashion. You can fucking sew plushies in this game, I believe. Fashion. Everyone truly wants it, but few can truly get it. You can double stitch your way to the center of any fashionista's wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> the blurb! <laughs> or you can, you know, my, my potions will be too strong, obviously, but if they weren't. But I think for now, we've created our funny little guy. <laughs> Boys. It's time. It took half an hour, but we're through the character creator! We're so back! <laughs> this is a magical and peaceful world. It is called Riveria. I used to look down on it from the sky. Now I'm gazing up at the clouds. There's a hazy moon floating up there. It is called Lunaris. Lunaris bathes Riveria's landscape with its beautiful silvery light. Joke's on you, this game has lore. This game has so much lore. You're done for. Dawn approaches. Is my hero nearby? I sense a presence. Someone deep in a conflicted dream. Will they mine? Will they smith? Will they fell? Will they- Yes, yes, they're gonna cook. Unnamed spoiler character. We need to cook. <laughs> Will they fish? Hunt? Swing a sword? Conjure? Brew? Or fight for velour? All they have to do is choose the way they want to live their capital L life. It is almost day break in Riveria. It is time for our story to begin. And then disaster strikes. Ouch, I fell out of bed. It's over. You died. You can now play as Luigi. Sunny's already dead. It's over. Oh, me, oh my. Have you fallen out of bed? I had a huge thumb just now, so I came running. I thought one of those, what do you call it, stones had fallen through our house or something? What are you gawping at, my dear? Do you have a strange dream? I dreamed I was egg-coded. <laughs> oh, you poor poppet. Was it a nasty, scary old dream? I'm just glad you didn't come through the ceiling. These floorboards are old and creaky. Oh, by the way, I heard you finally got a life. <laughs> One of the trailers for this game is actually called, like, the Get Alive trailer. That's not the vibe we're going for, Fancy Life! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Such excitement! Have you checked the mailbox? There might be a letter from the king. Pull outside and check. There's a deer. In this game, you can live the dream of having a landlord! <laughs> oh, boy. This is me. I sunny. I live. There are many things on the screen. Lunaris coins? We'll get to Lunaris coins in a few days. <laughs> Time played half an hour! <laughs> I'm fine. No, yeah, there's, uh, there's some stuff going on here. There's some... Intelligence. 
There's some stuff going on here. Uh, Sunny does also just have a knife from the get-go. So, finally, gaming. <laughs> Didn't take too long. <laughs> there are skills. You can run. You can sneak. You can dagger. <laughs> oh, boy. We'll get to what all of this is later. For now. This game has walking. This game has pressing the A button. We're so back. Go get your sword, Greg. You must be pretty close to call Sunny by a middle name. Mailman, my b- <laughs> He just fucking frisbee throws the letter into the mailbox. <laughs> I wish I was as happy as that mailman. Over here, my dearie. Here's the mailbox. Look, I know you've been living here for seven months, but I guess you just noticed this. <laughs> In your mailbox, you'll receive letters from townspeople, flyers, and local shops, and so on. Occasionally, you will get a letter that is vital to the progression of the story. You can also view tutorials on the in-game features in the form of letters. So check your letters to review a tutorial if you get stuck. Oh, me, oh, my- I don't think I'm gonna need this for some reason. LETTERS! LETTER FROM THE KING! We're so back! We're so back! I say we're so back, but we just came back from the character creator. Dear Sunny, once you have received your license, I would like to request your presence at the royal court, King Eric of Castell. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. Diplomatic relations between my country and Castell, when? <laughs> Lettuce? No, I think that's slightly different. It's from the king, isn't it? Look, there's a royal seal on the envelope. I remember my letter from the king. Everyone's get one's one that start the first life. Oh, but you'll need a life license first before you appear in front of the king. Do you have one already? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Pop into the guild office for your license before heading up to the castle. The guild office is over there in the square, see? By the way, this track this track bumps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this really is the UK version. Oh yeah, Fantasy Life fans are going to be very confused when they realise I'm playing the European version of the game, where I become the god of fish. <laughs> it's quite close, but you won't get lost. But I'll mark it on your map, just in case. Your next... Uh, uh, go to the arrow. This this isn't, a, this isn't important for you, chat. Go to the arrow. It's brilliant. Oh dear, you look a little bit green about the gills. I know, I'll give you a nice piece of candy to settle your stomach before you meet the king. The Pamdy! Woo! Pop it in your pouch, dearie. They're ha they are the close by. So you have objects. You can... Everything's in your inventory. But this is your better inventory because you can get it while you're in the middle of a fucking tussle. You can put things in there. You can do anything you wish and dream. We're along to the castle there, my dear. Oh, but don't, forget to don't, don't forget to stop by the guild office first. Yeah! 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 Woo! Me when the kazoo hits. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. My favorite game, my pseudonym come from, came from here. Ah yes, Lulinaris. <laughs> you have good taste, what can I say? I can put things in my funny little bag. And I'm gonna eat this now. Not because I'm in danger of death or anything. <laughs> Zero HP, goodbye forever. <laughs> Off I go. Hello, Mom, what do you have to say? Welcome to the guild office. Whatever you like, we're here to help. Need a license? You've come to the right place. You got a license for that fantasy life. <laughs> That's gonna be the, to the tone of the entire fucking game. Help. We'll be seeing you at some point, bounty clerk. I have no reason to talk to any of these people, by the way. But street pass, pass this ratio. I don't even think I have street pass turned on for this console, just for security reasons. <laughs> Alright, Lassie, I know who you are. You're sunny, right? I ruined things. Here's your novice license. Don't go losing it now. And with that, boys. What do you mean, bring? Boys. We are so back. I have my funny novice license. <laughs> there we go. I have a fucking thing in 
godforsaken Clip Studio Paint that's just got all my icons on it. I am officially here to cook. Receive the cook license from the guild master. Warrior, how about I lay down a few life lessons? Listen to me, lassie. How about that license of yours? Unskippable tutorial! Whoop! <laughs> In Reveria, your vocation is known as your life. To begin a new life, you must first obtain a license for that life from the guild office. My favourite part about your fantasy life is the bureaucracy aspect. <laughs> Each life is governed by a separate master. After getting a license, speak to the master of your chosen life. They will teach you essential skills. I'm going to be told how to hold a knife! Your rank will rise as you complete certain life achievements. As your rank rises, you will be able to utilize different skills. Each life comes with a separate set of skills to learn. However, you can continue to use skills you learned in a previous life, even when playing under a different life. And that's how I'm going to slay my foes with a big boy sword whilst also being a tailor. It's going to be great. That'll do for a start. Don't you don't want to keep his mercy waiting. If you have any questions, come talk to me, okay? You know the way to the castle, don't you? Go out the guild office and head north. Ah! I didn't mean to offend! Please just let me flutter by! Think you're clever, do ya? You like making puns, do ya? Get back here! We won't let you escape! Seems like there's a kerfuffle outside, somewhere in the square by the sounds of it. Violence! Whee! My favourite! <laughs> also, I gotta I gotta upgrade my, my sprint skill while I still can! Whee! Now just settle down, will ya? We ain't gonna hurt ya. Please! Please just let me go! I think we're just gonna let you go after what you said! But I didn't mean anything by it! Too late for that. Quit trying to worm your way out of it! Oh, please! Please don't stick a pin in me and put me in a display case, I beg of you! Don't tell me into a brooch or a hatpin! Oh, please! Damn, what's going on with your voice? <laughs> <laughs> kind of morbid, huh? Still, talking butterflies are rare, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be eating well tonight! You're going to y y eat me? We're not going to eat you. We're going to sell you and become rich men. Will you help her? I'll pass! Oh, how cruel! Well, no matter. I must try to deal with these ruffians by myself. Hear that? Now she's calling us ruffians. Oh, you made my bro mad. Now you're done for. I'm only just starting out! I can't let it end like this! Hey, you! Actually, I need your help after all. <laughs> I think I'll pass! <laughs> Game over. <laughs> She's done! Huh? You gonna help out this uppity butterfly? Buppity upperfly? Listen, Potato Brain, just be quiet for half a minute, will you? And you, Nosey, go play Kara somewhere else. Think we're gonna stop just because you asked us nicely? Huh. We're desperados. We make our own rules, and we'll do anything to get our hands on Dash. My half a minute's up. Listen, kid. Crime ain't all we do. We pick mushrooms and flowers, and we go fishing, and we sell our spoils for Dash. The money is called Dosh. This is a very good game. <laughs> Despacito. No, that's different. <laughs> this game is so silly, Goofy. My beloved. <laughs> Loads of money. <laughs> yeah, the money is just called Dosh. I, I adore this. Dosh is the currency used in Riveria. You can earn Dosh in a variety of ways. Dosh can be earned by defeating enemies in battle or by selling flowers and other items. <laughs> it's called Dosh. <laughs> Dosh can be earned in any life. No, if you're a paladin, fuck you. You, wor you work for no pay. Dosh makes Riveria go round. You can buy all kinds of items at various shops in exchange for Dosh. Try to earn as much as you can for an affluent life. This is just like financial advice. <laughs> If you really want to help the butterfly, then give us your dosh. All of it. Empty her pockets. Roger, bro. Brace yourself for a shot, bro. He's can't go on single dosh. What? I'm broke. It's okay. Forget about the butterfly, kid. You've got bigger problems. 
Don't you know you can't get by in this life without Dosh? Uh, what's this? Oh, you found some hidden. You found. <laughs> I don't know what my accent is. <laughs> you found some hidden Dosh. Ain't no Dosh. It's just an empty candy wrapper. And that's why I ate the candy earlier. Cause otherwise you would have fucking pickpocketed me. <laughs> Doshless. It's over. I'm gonna have to stop buying NFTs. I'm starting to feel bad for the sorry kid now. Listen up, kid. Mind your own business in the future. Make some dosh. My bro's pretty smart, huh? Make some dosh. That's his motto. I also don't know what my accent is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now I get to stop doing the character voice. Wait a second! I'm a character voice! <laughs> you saved me from an extremely sticky situation. Thank you so much. I wanted to know all about the different kinds of life, so I've been going around asking everyone. And when I saw those two, I had to ask, what life do you two belong to? Goof? A goon? Oof? <laughs> Goof? <laughs> She's so polite. And then, they started yelling at me and chasing me. I can't imagine why. I'm so lucky you came along. I owe you an eternal debt. Well, I have something important to do, so I'll be taking my leave now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, which one was the castle again? It should be due north of here, shouldn't it? Goof. <laughs> Ayo, what's your job, dumbass? <laughs> and then he got mad at me and called the cops. Can't imagine why. Oh, there it is. Also, all the music in this game is good. Fuck you. Farewell then. And good luck. I have a feeling you'll have to do those accents again. Shit. <laughs> That's a man dressed like a post box. Moving on. <laughs> He's not important. I just wanted to point him out. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a man. A man dressed as a post box. Yes, please understand. Hello, sire. Welcome to Castel Castle. The king is currently in residence within the royal court. His majesty is most gracious to his subjects, but please be quiet as a mark of respect. Ah! Listen, you can't- you can't say me diplomatic relations be damned! Hold it right there, this is the royal court! We do not allow anyone to pass through here unless they are inappropriately attired. I'm not saying you need to be in full military appeal, but I'm afraid that you're ugly. At least put on a tie or a bow or something. This is the king we're talking about, you know. Oh, you meanie! Damn, those are fighting words! Shh, keep your voice down. Oh, please! Please let me in! I can't believe this. Is this classism? <laughs> <laughs> the two genders tie and bow. <laughs> I see. Saw the stream title and thought, what if it's Fancy Life? Cannot believe I was right. Fancy Life fans gotta stick together! We can do this! Oh, hello again! I must say, I've never seen a butterfly that sparkles and talks before. This person is a big meanie! He won't let me see the king! No one's being mean. We simply don't allow insects into the royal court. Furthermore, the king doesn't have time to listen to the prattling of a butterfly. He's a very busy man. I'm sorry, but I have no choice in the matter. I must ask you to leave. This piece of shit. <laughs> I can't believe the classes on one face is simply for being a butterfly. This might be a metaphor. It's not. <laughs> By the way, what are you doing here at the castle? So the king invited you personally, but they turned you away for not wearing a tie? How horrid. Oh, I've just had a brilliant idea. Do you want to give it a try? <laughs> How cautious you are. <laughs> Try. I'm desperate to see the king. Let's join forces. We'll be inside before you know it. Okay, stay where you are. Don't move at all. He goes. Uh, never mind. Ignore the don't move part. Just raise your chin a little. Pwing. She's gonna. She's gonna go pwing a lot. You'll notice this. <laughs> Ta-da! You've heard of a bow tie. Well, say hello to the butter tie. This is a very good game. This is a very good game. <laughs> Fantasy life is a game where you wear a butterfly as, an, as neck ornamentation. 
Boo, bad pun. <laughs> Flutter has been cancelled for bad puns. <laughs> oh, scoundrel, I just told you your outfit is simply not. Ugh. What's that spot on underneath your chin? It's a bow tie. Well, that changes everything. Yes, it looks quite expensive. You should have put it on earlier. Such a splendid tie. Uh, it seems to be fluttering slightly. Uh, still, it certainly complies with royal guide regulations. Please pass freely. <laughs> Look upon my butter tie in fear. <laughs> Be hot. Kill him with kindness. Wrong. Butter tie. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the king's like. Oh boy, I do wonder what the king's like, she says, as if she hasn't played this 35 times. What's up, gamers? I'm here to ruin diplomatic relations. Hmm, so you've come. I'm Eric, 11th King of Castel and ruler of the realm. Our citizens pursue many varieties of life to lead our great kingdom to prosperity. As king, permit me to congratulate you all on this auspicious day. With the life you've chosen... Yeah, uh, what life was it again? <laughs> Darling, really? Well, it matters not. May the life you have chosen lead you on the path to glory. He fucking forgot. I swear to God. Society is the problem. The king is surprisingly cute. He's like a little boy. I could pinch his little cheeks. I could throw him out the window. Mumbling to yourself, are you? Pray tell, does my speech bore you? Be assured, my loyal subject, the dry formalities are now finished. Allow me to introduce my wife, Queen Ophelia of Castell. He is not nine years old for the record. I... I think he's middle-aged. Do not... Uh, there is an explanation for it later. If you explain in the chat, you're banned for spoilers. <laughs> I... In my fancy life headcanon, King Eric is 45 years old. <laughs> oh, no. Sunny, congratulations on starting your life. For the sake of the kingdom, and more importantly, for those you hold dear, please do your very best to work hard in your new life day by day. She's beautiful, and she smells like a meadow in spring. I don't know how I can smell. I'm a butterfly. I don't have a nose. The dutifully smiling la young lady to my right is my daughter, Laura. Uh, darling, La Laura's gone out. Again? <laughs> She defies me constantly by going out Sam's bodyguard. I don't know what to do with her. She sounds like a wild princess. Returning to the matter at hand, as you have now chosen your life, I should like to take this opportunity to request that you conduct yourself with pride as a true Castellian. All for one and one for all. Enjoy your chosen life and spread joy to others. Gather much dosh if that is your will. Yes, I love money. Garnish your life with stars if that be your desire. Pursue a life full of bliss if you so wish it. I've capitalized the start of all these nouns so you know they're important game mechanics and not just words. All who reside in this great land of Riveria are, wish to free, are free to live their life however they see fit. Sunny the cook, I remembered. For the thing, I, I pressed A by accident. I do tend to do that, excuse me. Here, gifts from the royal family, wishing you luck and prosperity for the future. HELL YEAH! UNIVERSAL BASIC INCOME! HELL YEAH! GPS! I have also furnished you with novice equipment. Try it on, please. Get changed in the middle of the castle. <laughs> the other gifts can be enjoyed at your leisure later on. Behold! Hot to wear on a head! <laughs> well, Sonny! It's only a choice. <laughs> it's a brave look you've got going on there. <laughs> you can do things. Game mechanics. D dress like a like a, the Halloween version of a Scotsman. Within the main menu, you can use items you are carrying and raise your stats and do other things. It suits you well. I'm somewhat envious. <laughs> oh, darling. On to the next matter of business. Each life is governed by a separate master. They act as mentors for new recruits. Everyone begins their life as a novice under the tutelage of the master. That's the way it's done. Once you've earned your master's respect, they will promote you to the fledgling rank in your life. If you work diligently, you too 
may eventually reach the light, the, the rank of master. Or you may yet surpass that rank and reach here that of hero or even legend. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, you must greet the cook master. May doing so prepare you for a new and exciting chapter in your life. I'm just reading off a script at this point. Da 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 da. What if I want to have a real life? Uh, sorry, nepsism is real. I would not. <laughs> well then, Sunny, my subject, you must make haste to your master. I wish you eternal luck as the member of the cook life. Do you ever become disheartened, you are always welcome to draw strength here at the castle. Unless you're not wearing a butter tie, in which case we will kick you out for being gross. Wonderful. <laughs> I made it, what did I miss? 57 minutes of character creation. And the pun of all time. And the character voices of all time. They'll come back. They'll come back. That's why they get character voices at all. I'm gonna have to make sure I stay hydrated. Cause I'm oh god, my drink is spilling again. Ha! I've got this. I can do this. I can do this fancy life, girlies. <laughs> Off I get! Character voices might destroy me, so we're gonna have to be careful about this one. <laughs> Oh, that was such fun! Thanks to you, I got to see the king! Thank you so much! Sunny, good luck in your new life! Well, I guess this is where we part ways! Unless... By the way, you look great in those new duds! Nice drip! But, don't you feel a little bit better under the neck area, Sunny? Um... Today? I thought I'd be- I thought I'd be alright on my own, but... Actually, people keep trying to catch me, and turns out there isn't a butterfly life. But I really, really, really want to know more about this world! Could I come with you, Sonny? Oh, please! I beg of you! Take me with you! No! Oh, how cold! Please, have a heart! Everyone needs a companion on an adventure! Plus, I can turn into a butter tie at any time! That could come in handy! If you say no, I'll follow you anyway! So please, say yes! The illusion of choice! <laughs> I swear to god- But thou must! <laughs> Hard lock! I'm not pressing that fucking A button, Flutter. You can flutter and wait. <laughs> Game really said no no's! <laughs> okay... Thank you, thank you! By the way, you can call me Flutter! It's the word that's on my dialogue box! They didn't even bother with the illusion part this time! <laughs> oh no. You have to go and see the master next, right? Where could they be? Alright! Oh, the king gave you a map, didn't he? Yeah, we can figure out where the master is by looking at the map! The map is real! Look at it! It'll do stuff! You can fast travel as well sometimes. Off we go, off we go! Let's go and see the master! You can save the game! If you don't, we won't forgive you! Also, uh, there is a, a real life clock. If you wait too long, you'll, you'll run into the bulb bulbs. That's how this works. Oh, hell yeah! Saving your game over your previous save with you save! Woo! I like to spin my little guy. I like to spin my little guy every time I save the game. Okay, go and meet the go and meet the cookmaster Alfredo. I'll go meet the fucking cookmaster Alfredo. You see if I won't. Where the fuck is he? I've never started with cook. No, I start with minor, or I start with paladin. Sometimes we slow. Wee! Also, I should probably be sprinting as much as I can now because you see how fast my stamina is going down. The more you run, the slower it go down. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of run. <laughs> Cue Rin intro music. Do 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 do. That song would fit in with this game. I've realised. <laughs> right. That. You thought you were safe. You thought you were safe. We'll get to you, Sizzle. I'm extremely. Busy! What is it? Be quick about it! You want to what? Become my pupil? 
Yeah, you're free to try your hand at the job, but don't come crying if it's too hard for you. It won't be easy, kid. Got it? Yeah, take this frying pan. <laughs> Man actually just said, yeah, here you go. Sizzle will tell you what to do, what to do with it. I'm too busy to explain myself. Sizzle! T teach its cook one to me, one to me, you know what? Sizzle doesn't know what. The dish the kid who came yesterday made a hash of them before I banned him from my kitchen forever. Oh, that one. Sizzle remembers now. Get cooking, chop chop! If you succeed, come talk to me. Good, very nice. No, I wasn't talking about you. I'm in the fire on the stove. You're gonna notice something. Uh, no signal from USB! <laughs> Wait a second. Why is it doing that? <laughs> Woo! Okay, I can do this. Hello? Hello? You've got this girl! Yeah! <laughs> I don't remember this part of the game. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Here we go! It's okay. We're gonna do the... We're gonna be okay. <laughs> that is an extremely interesting line for someone to say. It's funny because free will is a simulation. <laughs> Sizzle here, the second chef at Alfida's Pastry. Plushy, pleased to meet you. Sizzle may be the second chef, but there are only two chefs here, so Sizzle is not important. Mr. Alfredo seemed angry. Plush, no, he wasn't, not the least. He's always grumbling that he can't find a good people. Sizzle has it all the time. So this will be a test. Make carrot soup! And serve it to <laughs> Mr. Alfredo. Ah, oh, yeah, I love video games! <laughs> ah, sweet, my favorite food! No signal from USB. <laughs> People come asking for apprenticeship all the time. The last 51 failed. What a <laughs> shame. Sizzle will explain about the kitchen counter first. Pick up your funny hairless, hairless ears and listen, okay? How dare you! <laughs> I'm not funny, you're funny! If you use the kitchen counter freely, but you'll need some carrots first. You don't know where to get them from. Talk to Mr. Giles, who provides veggies for us. You find his farm and house in Southern, Cast in Southern Castell. <laughs> By the way, did you get used to the way Sizzle speaks yet? Because I'm going to keep this up for the entirety of the game. <laughs> There's no escape. Carrot time! Do not let those 51 people cook if they can't even handle carrot soup! Actually true. Maybe he's not actually as harsh as we thought he was. Oh no. <laughs> Head cannon, the squeaking is censorship for cussing. <laughs> Dark, edgy fantasy life. Fantasy death! We'll have a look around this area a little bit more later because there's stuff for other lives. You can see how she's got like that little sewing needle near her name. That means she's involved with a life. This is something involved with a life. Over here, we have... Carrot. And... Carrot. And... Eggs. And... Eggs. And... <laughs> Rabot. And Dandelion Puff. You may be wondering, why Dandelion Puff? Why are, why are you why are you gathering spring water? This will be vital later. You wouldn't understand. You could never understand. You can get a lot of things just by like walking around. Like this castle bloom. <laughs> this game is a little bit silly goofy. And that's okay. Here we go. That's a life thing. That you may think that's my landlord. Do not be fooled. We'll get on to that. We'll get on to that. Eh. You want some? Speak up, you. Want some carrots? Do you want me to call your friendly food? I'll spend your money on my trouble. Oh, I'm going to just across the same belly pack. They're horrible. These may be your friends, guys. I'm just trying to read them, baby. You know where we come from? I'm fixing them. You know where we come Dang, thanks, bro. Whee! Oh, wait. <laughs> Already got the thing for you've been playing for an hour half of that was the character maker <laughs> so normal we can walk around in a few different ways it's not just like a to b it's all kind of interconnected Whee! he's literally an easter island head <laughs> we're so normal ikea i can become ikea i'll become ikea later we'll get there You're probably gonna 
might notice this theme if you're not a Fancy Life fan, by the way, and that is that every time a Fancy Life player comes in, they're like, holy shit, underappreciated gem. Can't believe you're playing this. We are so back. <laughs> Where are my Fancy Life girlies at? <laughs> oh, it's going grumpy. It's not possible reason why. He gave me the cards. He's a kind of soul, although he's got no tail. You make out the soup now. Flush, flush, get cooking. And then I learned how to cook! You can tell that's me because it's an egg. Egg and veg cuisine learned! We're so back. So basically, cooking is a fun little mini game where you go crazy, go stupid. Oh, all of the crafting in this game is you go crazy, go stupid. <laughs> you know what? I, I can just show you. You don't need to know the controls. You're not playing the fucking. Play the video game yourself if you're so goddamn smart. Stand behind the <laughs> kitchen and counter when you're waiting. Plus, and don't forget to equip your frying pan. Ah oh, yes, time to equip frying pan. Go! Gear! Pretend frying pan! <laughs> yeah! Dang, bro. That's crazy. ba 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 dee boo ba 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 Right then. This is the cook's workbench. Let me show you how this works. Let me show you how it be. I love how disinterested Sunny is right now. She doesn't care. <laughs> Carrot soup. Restores HP, de raises dexterity and focus. And that's why I drink so much of it. Whee! Let me just show you how it be. Begin! I'm gonna also show you just how fucking good I am at fancy life. It's a little mini game. You hold buttons. You go crazy. Later, you will unlock better ways to go crazy. Wee! But for now. Woo! That is the carrot soup ever. She's so happy. I got five experience. I'm so experienced. Is the carrot soup ready? Oh yeah. Let's see what you cook up. Handed over carrot soup. This color, the fragrance, the taste is crucial though. <laughs> Some better go well with it. Hushy mate, bread is safe. Sonny, when Mr. Alfredo says he wants bread, it means that the food's plush and delicious. Dang, this, this soup goes plush. <laughs> Has Mr. Alfredo finally found a worthy people? Now, in the next challenge, That smell, that lovely smell making my mouth water. It's carrot soup, isn't it? My nose can't be wrong. Hey, Mr. Customer, please don't enter the kitchen. Take a seat and patiently wait. Don't mind me, I'll just have a sip. Yeah, it's the soup. Mr. Customer, make this sizzle a little bit angry. <laughs> He's gonna go fucking crazy. <laughs> well, this served to the king. One dish could follow and compliment the deliciousness of this soup. This town is weirdly hyped about carrot soup. <laughs> Let me borrow your kitchen counter for a moment. No, that is not allowed. <laughs> Let, it do it, says Let us see what it can about. Only use this. I had a spoonful of that. Plush, look at all the ingredients in his pocket. Meat and a sprinkle of this fine spice. Sauce bubbling nicely on the medium heat. Me making pasta. Not too shabby. A little bit of this and that. There, I made it. You show some skill from there. Why, yeah. Lovely and hot royal hamburger. I'd be, d be delighted if you try some. Royal well, hamburger, you'd say. My, my, it looks appetizing. Can't say no to that. I'm sure afraid of letting you up. Skill <laughs> stomach doing the talking. That must obey his hungry belly. I'm just a hungry little guy. Mm. I'll give some bread with this. Oh, of course, how could I not realize? I should have bread in this pocket. Why do you just keep bread in your pocket, sir? <laughs> now I want soup with bread! <laughs> soup propaganda game. No, no, it's fine. Just means he plushy likes the food. Ah, I see, it's your lingo. Fascinating. Um, can Sizzle ask you something? That <laughs> emblem on your outfit. Good eye, it's the royal emblem. Okay, and? Hard on the late intrusion, I'm Alan, a humble chef serving the demanding Castellian nobility. 
that explains how you can make that royal handbag so quickly and skillfully. Oh, but I am still honing my craft as a mere student of the culinary arts. What brings you here all the way from the castle? People have been talking about your bistro. What? Who? Where? The crown? The wall? No, in the royal chambers. The royals are talking about my bistro! We're just... Sonny's just there! <laughs> Sonny's just like, oh, I'm still here. I'm fine. I just want to get my license and go. Blushy Strange. We've never delivered food to the castle. Some members of the nobility come to your bistro in disguise. D disguise I do that, that's when I go to McDonald's! I'm very obvious. Look <laughs> at me! Don't tell me! The king obviously is too! No, his majesty does not frequent these premises in person, but... But! But the person who expressed the most interest in your bistro is... Who is it?! Tell me! I can't stand the suspense! Mr. Alfredo, please calm down. I was just about to tell you. Spit it out, young man! Strangles you! You're saving my torment, aren't you? It is the king indeed. Oh, my omelette! And then I learned how to make an omelette. This game is so normal. <laughs> and then he died. Um, Mr. Alfredo, are you okay? Mr. Alfredo has fainted from shock. No worries though. He faints occasionally. Just needs a plushy bit of rest. That's unfortunate. I was hoping he would teach me how to cook some of his specialties. I guess I'll have to come again some other day. Plush, no. Sizzle won't have you leave empty-handed. But I would need to ask Mr. Alfredo about his recipes. Try to recall what Mr. Alfredo said before he passed out. It wasn't oh my souffle, was it? I know he said oh, oh my omelet! I'm still here! I'm just coping! I'm just trying my best! <laughs> Most sane game- Why did you kill him?! <laughs> He's gone. Yes, yeah, so Sizzle thinks that's a recommendation. He must have meant the finest fluffy omelet. Sonny here has the recipe and will gladly cook for you. Will I?! Will I really?! Oh really? Thank you so, so much. When the master is away or <laughs> passed out, it's his pupil's duty to cover for him. So you've got to do it, okay? Sizzle will help you find the ingredients. We'll need eggs, cow's milk, and plushiness. Vine ripened tomatoes. The tomatoes are hard to get. <laughs> Let's get the other stuff first. Let's have a word with the local chicken. <laughs> I forgot about this part. <laughs> Let's have a word with the chicken and <laughs> dairy cow. Check the map to see where to go. Let's see the chicken first. Sizzle can talk to fowl. Sizzle sure will get eggs without any trouble. And then he joined my party. And then he started following. Look at his run cycle. Look at this dude. Sir. <laughs> We're going to go talk to the chicken and ask for egg. <laughs> oh no. This game is so no. Young man. By the way. There's a silly goofy quest for every single one of these lives. I can't wait to get to the one about to divorce. I'm not joking. It's... it's good. <laughs> Hello, sir! I'm back at it again! The <laughs> hatchlings come to see me, it seems. Ahem. Bok, 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 sunny clock. Plushiness. That's not what this meant to say. He got fucking jumped! Ah, Sizzle is being attacked by chickens! We're just not showing it because we don't have the animations! Oh no! An egg fell out of him! Question mark? <laughs> Plushy me. Sizzle was so scared. The cow's milk is next on our list. This may be difficult. Cows don't pay much attention to what plushings or people have to say to them. Better present himself for the worst. This game is so normal. <laughs> is that how chickens work? Don't worry about it. 
but he's a rooster. Anything is possible. Believe in the magic of fantasy life. We've got this girl. Anyway, it's time to go negotiate with a cow. <laughs> Anything is possible. Believe in your dreams. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna be fine. We can do this. We haven't even asked yet. <laughs> anyway! Plush. Next to the tomatoes. Let's see if the vegetable has any. <laughs> anyway, moving on! <laughs> oh no. This is fine. Wait, I think it might be faster if I... No, I can't fast travel to my... My master yet. Sad. Tragedy has struck. Wee! Moving on. You're all banned. You're all banned for pun crimes. Only the butterfly gets to do pun crimes. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. 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 It's good. What game is this? I'm so confused. It's the 3DS game ever. Fantasy Life for the 3DS. And it's getting a sequel on Switch. Welcome. How about some fresh fruit or vegetables? I just don't think you have any, but I would, uh, would still like to ask. Do you have vine ripened tomatoes? Sure. Wait, no, no, we don't. I'm very sorry, but we don't sell tomatoes. Importing them all the way from Port Porto is expensive and goods often get damaged in transit. Port Porto, my beloved. <laughs> Carry them wrapped in soft cloth. Shipping them in the crates is totally out of the question. We haven't invented refrigerators yet. <laughs> so you see, it's it's really not cost effective for us. Fancy life is a game about bureaucracy and economics. If you really crave them and nothing else will do, why don't you go to Port Porto and eat them fresh? Says it doesn't want to eat them. That's the restaurant. Also, we haven't unlocked that area yet. <laughs> That's right, you're from Alfredo's Biz I completely forgot. You're out of stock, eh? Oh, I know. What is it? I saw this guy earlier say he was traveling. He said he was coming from Port Porto and his pockets look stuffed full of something. I asked him about it and he said coastal folk can't go three days without eating tomatoes. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> Flush, that's true. <laughs> We're so normal! <laughs> oh god, uh, uh, they eat tomatoes, it's true. I, I confer this. Wonderful. So he wasn't kidding, huh? That's so because of all those tomatoes. We need to find him. You know, he was dressed like a cook. He even had a pot on his head. Kinda like the guy right in front of me. <laughs> Pretty plushy, thank you. Oh, hell yeah. Speak to the wandering chef. Chefs do be wandering. I see. A fellow man of the fry pan. Oh boy. What a lovely smell! Mm, the bouquet of fragrant spices. Marvelioso! This scent is unmistakable. You must be the local cooks. See? Flush powers of deduction. I can't. I have no idea how you told it. The sizzle thinks you knew because of scissors cutting it. Cooking apron. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's true. You wanted them so much, don't you? The contents of my pockets. What the fuck is your accent? No need to tell me, no, no, no. It's a plain to see that you're having a tomato craving, I see. Plush, this is not how people talk. You get down to business as fast as a cow. That's a sentence he just said. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, I want tomatoes. So you've got to give me something in exchange, I see. Of course, we're not as rude as to <laughs> demand you hand over your plush tomatoes for free. I came here to have a meal at an obscure little restaurant. Walked all the way from Port Porto just to try their food, I see. Alas, the restaurant was closed even though business hours weren't over. Hush me, that's bad business practice. Is there any really any place here that'd do that? Oh yes, there is, I see. Plushingness. Restaurant closed during business hours. Wait a second, that was us! <laughs> My rich tomato and a bezel sauce. This man doesn't have a real accent. He, 
He's definitely just putting it on for the clout. <laughs> Silver's closed because you two were out on a tomato request. That's perfectly understandable to see. Sizzler's happy you're so understanding. Forget that I called your restaurant to obscure, por favor, and it was a joke, see? It's called cool, Alfredo's Bistro. Please remember the name. See. Plush me. Sizzler starts to talk by you, mister. It's over. Plushingness. <laughs> me and the plushingness. Ha 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 ha. That's funny. So you two are taking care of the Bistro in the absence of the main chef. You're the only cooks in training, and it's a huge responsibility, you see. It may be too difficult for you. But your spirit is admirable, and a foodie like me has got to applaud you, you see. You definitely deserve some vine ripened tomatoes. I'll share some of mine with you, you see. Ah, yeah, I love vine ripened tomatoes! <laughs> you could use them for omelettes, castel, and potato fusion cuisine. Exquisito! Where am I from? <laughs> oh, plush me. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, but he's a plush little dude. <laughs> if you're making a finest a fluffy omelette, to make one for me too, okay? Oh, I can't wait any longer. I'm off to Alfredo's Bistro. Let's go back to the bistro and cook the finest fluffy omelette. So that we'll go get everything ready. And then he laughed. It's plush in raw! <laughs> Oh no, Gordon Plushy. <laughs> Gordon Plushy. <gasps> He's still fucking dead. It's time. I'm gonna make an omelette and you're gonna like it. Cracks knuckles. Here we go. Here we go. It's time. Rarity three. Vine rap ripened tomatoes. Go! Okay. It's time! Mini game! Shit! I messed it up! Give up. Give up. Give up! Give up, button go! You gave up! <laughs> you are a failure. No, I'm gonna do it good this time, trust me. Begin omelette! We've got this, we've got this. We've got this omelette, girlies. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. It takes more button presses and stuff to do it if the recipe is more advanced. But I did it! I made an omelette. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 ba. Looks plushy. Let's see if customers like it. Hello? What do you think of my omelette, sir? Hand it over, finest fluffy omelette. Oh, that's a finest fluffy omelette. Even the steam arising from it seems fluffy. Oh, yes, a fine omelette it is. Uh, see, see, see. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is superb. Magnificent. Outstanding. Dear for dad. And sure it is. Where are you from? The eggs seem to be no more than a half a day old. Uh, the milk must be from a, a three-year-old cow, see? The frying pan was held above the fire just right to ensure the eggs remain soft and light, see? Wahoo! The sweetness of the sauce isn't sugar. It was naturally brought out through the simmering, see? A dish like this can only be made with the top quality ingredients following a refined recipe, see? I've never met anyone who would go into such depth within their evaluation of a meal. Could you be? A chef. The last bite of a dish is either what throws people into the abyss of despair or fills them with a delight to see. <laughs> Delicioso! It's ex exquisito! Thank you for a wonderful meal. I'm not convinced you speak Spanish as a first language. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget this obscure little. Perdoname! I meant to say Alfredo's bistro. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Hell yeah! Money! He has done exactly four lessons in du Duolingo, and he thinks now he is speaking Duolingo. <laughs> Dosh! You're a very promising cook in training, Sunny, and the food was magnifico. 
I'd like to try your cooking again someday. For example, a seafood dish, see. So he's speaking Spanish, but it's, his accent is wrong Italian. <laughs> your masters are still arresting, so let's not disturb him. I'll teach you the basics of seafood myself, see. And then I learned how to cook fish. If you ever visit Port Porto, be sure to drop by my kitchen to say hi. I shall be on my way. See you later. Adios. <laughs> I think I knew who that guy was. He could be Pedro, an accomplished cook from Port Porto. Plushy me from that famous restaurant, Cocino Rica. Yes. He's said to talk with a strange accent and has a habit of adding C to almost everything he says. I'm not convinced he's either Spanish or Italian. <laughs> I think he's from Denmark. It's really confusing. <laughs> I wanted to ask him about it, but I chicken out in the end. But you weren't stressing out at all. It looks like you were in your element behind the kitchen counter. Your chopping sounded so enthusiastic it was music to my ears. I'm also normal. Thanks to you, I realize that I must not rest in my laurels, but aim for new heights of gourmet cooking. I will. Become a Pokemon me- I mean, I will aim to become the top chef in the castle. Thank you for being my source of inspiration. I feel like doing something for you. Do you know any meat dishes yet? How about I show you the ropes? And then I learned how to... Meat! Yes, that! You are sort of my rival, but they call me the salt of the earth for a reason. No one has said that, Alan. I'll be going back to the castle kitchens. I've got to share my excitement with everyone. I'll come back again when Mr. Alfredo is around to share some of my treasured recipes with you. See you later! And then he faded out of existence. It was a bit oh, chaotic, but everything ended plush. You've done plushy well. Sizzle thinks we both deserve some rest. Wait a second! I just woke up on the slightly greasy kitchen floor and set up my soft bed. What's with the, what's the meaning of this? Oh, uh, Mr. Oh. Alfredo. It's plushy. Good to see you back on your feet. He's fine. He's fine. No one got him a medical. He's just been lying on the floor for half an hour. <laughs> Oh my G! Oh, oh my G! Oh I love this game. Never saw other fans before. We are real and we are strong. Fancy life, girlies, rise up! What happened? What I was passing on the floor? A, a plushy royal cook came round and ordered an omelet. Right, I remember now. He said to the king himself, "Is interested in my bistro." Uh, hearing of such an order made my blush run to my head, making me dizzy like too much barley juice. Uh, I screamed and well, what happened then? More importantly, we've got to make that omelet for the cut for the castle cook. No worries, everything's plush. Sunny already made it. You must be joking. It's easy enough to get them vibrating tomatoes or another in the blimmer. I am especially delivered here by the courier. How can you put it? Can you get them? <laughs> well, in a nutshell, we... <laughs> See, you've been quite busy while I was out cold. That's not all the news. <laughs> the demoted guy seemed to have been Mr. Pedro. P Pedro! From... From... From Coquino Rica! No one knows how to pronounce it. It's in-universe, I've decided. <laughs> Excited for the sequel, I really like this game. I have to play this now because I don't know when the next one's coming out. 2023, alleged. It's already October, we don't have a release date. Fancy life I, we're counting on you. To top it off, Mr. Pedro was taken with Sonny's cooking skills. Really, I only had time to explain the basics, what with how busy I am and the fact I collapsed. But despite that, you managed to well, I'm pleasantly surprised. And then I got my stars and the boots and the cats and the boots and the cats. And then I did it. And I was the real big... What do you mean, bring? No! You know what that means. It says the letter F now. We did it. We are so fantasy back. <laughs> Wee! And then I learned how to cook more. Yeah. Yeah. Since you pressed me and that's not easy, I recognize you as a proper cook. You're my new sous chef and with your help I can make up this piece for a three star, wait no, a five star restaurant, yes, I'm counting on you. And if you have any achievements to tell me about, tell me, speak to me anytime, night or day. I'm very busy and sometimes unconscious, but I'll always have time for you. Also, isn't there DLC? I'm gonna play the DLC too. Aha. <laughs> yes, I have the DLC. I'm gonna get those Lunara's coins. We're gonna go crazy. 
And then I was level two. <laughs> well, well done, Sunny. I've been silent this entire time. It was mainly out of fear. Now you're a fully fledged cook. There's something different about you. Maybe it's those stars from the master? A kind of sparkling and shiny in its really cool way. You get stars! Level up! Grind! Be on that, that life grind! Learn new techniques! Learn, use new weapons! Get, unlock skills! Go crazy! Go crazy! Uh, talk to people with a question mark over the head! Go crazy! Let's go home and rest! I want to see where you live! Don't be shy. <laughs> also, level up. You get stats. You can put stats into different things. Poor example. Yeah. So. I can choose what to put my stats. I can put them all into luck. I can put literally everything into luck. You get two points of stat boosty thing when you level up, except sometimes you get three. I think it's every five levels. Maybe it's every ten. Bold of you to assume I remember. I'm not going to be a cook for much longer, I'm going to be honest. I think for cook, it's focus on dexterity. I don't know which life I'm going to do next, so let's put it into strength and luck. <laughs> there we are. I'm going to I'm gonna do it pretty evenly. There we go. There is a way to redo your stats once you assign them to your funny self. Uh, that is not until a later area in the game, though. But for now, we should be good. Whee! What do you want? So busy, so much to cook. Oh, it's you, Sunny. Want something? Yes. My ingredients is fine, but get on yourself's good, too. What, do you, what, what will you cook? What will you serve? So many decisions, I tell you. Excellent. Sometimes you talk to people, they give you funny missions. We slay. For example, this is Flapjack. He also works here. He's also just here. Uh, I never thought we'd get a chance for a proper chat. Let me introduce myself. My name's Flapjack. I'm a waiter here at Alfredo's Bistro. I saw what you did there earlier, my friend. The delicacies you cooked. How sad to be but a bystander. I wanted to take part in the action too to help with eating the omelette. Oh well, maybe some other time. What I really want to say is you can count on me. Do you breathe, sir? <laughs> Hi, Flapjack. <laughs> Wondrous. We need mutton for a start. Fish and meat are sold in the shopping district. Stock up on them and get cooking. And then he just gave me some mutton. Yeah! What do you have? No, one of the staff at Alfredo's. Bistro. Get cooking and then get to eating. No ceiling nibbles while you're cooking though. And then he made me carrot soup. Cool, good for you. Cool and neat. First, learn how to make all the dishes at Alfredo's Bistro regular menu. This will give you the carrot soup recipe earlier. It's the most commonly served soup. If you want to become a plush cook, you've got to plushly learn the basics. Them's words for life. If you want to become plush, you got to learn the plush basics. Yeah. If you talk to them, they will give you challenges. You can accidentally complete the challenges before somebody gives you them. I, I will just say that. It's quite funny. It's quite. I like doing that. <laughs> What else do you have to say? I just want to get through all of this. Learning the culinary art takes time! You can't expect to do it, be able to do several things simultaneously like me from the start. Stay calm and assess the situation. What do you need? What needs to be done? Get the hang of that first and you'll be whipping up some fine cuisine soon enough. The better the quality, the higher the price. That's the motivation for you right there! It's all about money. It's all about money. I love money. <laughs> I literally just stopped playing this game to check YouTube. What the fuck? Fancy Life fans are still strong. We're still here. We're still real. But you know what? Fine. Hello, Sunny. That dish. I was completely defeated. How it crushed me. How it made me despair. I am not giving up, though. Having a worthy rival in your person only make... In, in your person? Don't worry about him. He's normal. <laughs> Having a worthy rival in your person only motivates me to try harder. Cool. What is your accent? Sunny, I have a question for you. Do you think the dexterity is the most vital thing for us cooks? You're a rookie, so you may think so. I'd say it's wrong to think dexterity is all you need. It is important, certainly, but so is intelligence. Cooks need to be smart. 
Still, something else is even more necessary to us. It's the ability to concentrate. In other words, it's focus. Ah, uh, yes, I love my stats. It's not like attack, defense. You get attack and defense, but that's more like putting on clothes. No, my stats are I have a, I have a five in intelligence and a seven in focus. I'm winning. Yep, we exist. Can't wait for the sequel. I'm gonna finish Fancy Life before Fancy Life I comes out, and then I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Fancy Life I. You can't stop me. I'd like to see you try to stop me. I'd like to see you. I like the fantasy. Okay, time to go home. Also, I'm gonna take this off because you look ridiculous, girl. No, not that. No, get rid of your potluck helm, girl. You don't need this. <laughs> Let me in. I do just live in the attic. It's great. She's been gone for a while now. I can't help but threat. Unless... Oh my, you're home! I was just checking if you were back yet. How did it go? It's been a hectic day. We're both quite tired to tell the truth. Well now, who's this? Nice to meet you. I'm Flutter. Sunny has really helped me out today. Ignore the fact I'm a butterfly. Oh, how nice to meet you. I'm the landlady, Pam. First ever new job and already bring out no home another mouth to feed. It's not easy taking care of someone else. Well, at least you won't eat much. I'm sorry. I'll do my best not to be a virgin. Please let me stay. I oh, don't mind me, dear. There's no need to apologize. I'm not so mean, old landlady. I charge a reasonable amount of rent. Besides, I do find you quite curious. I've never met a butterfly with such lovely manners. Come and pay me a, a visit sometime. Oh. I'll reconnect you to the USB, and then I'll treat you to some nice sugared water. Oh wow, the USB connection! Oh, thank you kindly. Anyway, it looks like you're well on your way in your chosen life, Sunny. <laughs> USB sounds. <laughs> By the way, I've got a present for you. I was thinking that this room is a little bare, so I got you this. Woo! Chair time! Chair time! Chair time! A little decoration makes all the difference. Now, why don't you put it on display somewhere? Boys, there are room decoration elements in this game. We are fucking winning. My room. Go crazy! Go crazy! It's time. Okay, first of all, move my wardrobe. Second of all, move my wardrobe. Uh, third of all, move my wardrobe. Fourth, rotate my bed. Uh, fuck it. Bed can go over here. Next step again, we move my wardrobe. Gonna put my wardrobe a bit closer to the door, but also still in an aesthetically pleasing place. And then give me my chair. A chair for people to sit at when I'm dying. Nice. Wondrous. Now, doesn't that look nice? Now that you've started your life, you can work hard and earn lots of dosh. Then you can pay me back for everything you owe me. I am going bankrupt, Sunny. <laughs> Once you've saved up enough dosh, I can show you some larger properties. I run the real estate agency just downstairs, remember? If you're interested, come chat, come down and chat about it. Yes, dosh and stars are certainly important, but the key to a, to a happy life is bliss. These are all game mechanics. Wow, isn't that nice? With enough bliss, you can enjoy all sorts of perks at home and away. Make sure to come home and rest well after an eventful day of adventuring. That's the secret to a blissful life, you know. Well, I'll be off now, dearies. Be sure to get some rest, Sunny. And good night to you too, Flutter. Good night. I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Wait, I swear that animation is the exact same as something from a Zelda game. What do you mean? People move like this all the time. What do you want? This sounds great. You should try to get some ASAP. I can't wait to see how blissful your life becomes, Sunny. Oh, I'm all of a flutter. Incidentally. <laughs> Listen to this, Sunny. You'll never guess what I can do. Actually, I can perform bliss checks for you. I don't know if I was expecting. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> well, no matter. Whenever you want to know how much bliss you've got, just ask me and I'll tally it up for you. Would you like to try it now? Nah. Oh, how aloof! I'll just pretend I didn't hear you. <laughs> Father doesn't give a shit. <laughs> kind of iconic. 
I did it. I went to the castle and met the king. I started the new life as a cook. I leveled up for the first time. I spent an hour in Bavaria. Woohoo! She really said she can check how miserable you are. <laughs> yes, but if you're happy, you can get bonuses. Just like in real life. <laughs> oh my god, bliss checks were the original vibe check. Yeah, this game came out in like 2014. <laughs> the vibe check! Right. There are all kinds of funny things you can unlock. Also, this track is very good. Anyway, you unlock one of these, it unlocks the next one. You unlock big bag, you get bigger bag. You unlock bigger bag, you, you unlock even bigger bag. You unlock even bigger bag, you get biggest bag. It works like that. We can also get a cat. Yeah. 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 Who's that creepy Cupid in the corner? Not even a character, it's just ornamentation. What the fuck are you, actually? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Hmm. It does have to be a cat, doesn't it? Whee! I did it! I can choose from cats, dogs, what else is there in this game? Birds! There's birds in this game, you can get a bird. You can get a horse, but that's different. <laughs> that's a different category. Great job, Sunny! If you keep gathering bliss at this rate, then you'll be able to really enhance your life with fun perks! Bliss is collected while enjoying daily life. There are various ways to collect bliss, such as performing life work, making friends, and more. Report into Flutter to your room to see how much bliss you have. Bliss bonuses can be gained after retaining a certain amount of bliss. One of the bliss bonuses is tied to Street Pass. So, we're gone! Bliss bonuses can be done. You can do stuff. You can you can get a bigger bag. You can get more storage. Wee! Let me know whenever you want me to perform a bliss check for you. I'll try to keep quiet when we're out and about so as not to bother you, Sonny. But I'll take the chance to stretch my wings whenever in we're in here or in your room. I do not care about your boundaries! So if you'd like to talk to me, just come back here and I'll be happy to help. Today has been so eventful, hasn't it? Oh boy. I'm so glad I chose you, Sonny. Oh, wait, no, forgot, forget I said anything. I'm not suspicious. I'm not suspicious. I'm not suspicious. Sonny, I can't wait to see what Reveria's got in store for us. Also, you can do quests. They're real. They make you happy. I hope that you and I will become the best of friends. Well, we should call it a day. I know that the sun hasn't even started to set yet, but it's important. I'm nocturnal. I'm very sleepy. Good night, Sonny. And sweet dreams. Ooh. Theme of going to sleep. To me when I tuck myself up all snug in bed. Thank you for today. I had so much fun. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. I'm so excited I can't sleep. I hope that you and I will achieve great things together. There's a secret I need to know. A great secret hidden in this world. It may already be too late, but with your help, maybe. Nocturnal means they should stay up at night, though. Don't worry about it! I Everyone shut the fuck up! I will not hold down a just skip. Fuck you. I'm gonna turn on the 3D. You can't see it. I can... Is it shifting? I'm gonna turn on the 3D because this cutscene goes hard. You have not lived until you've seen this cutscene in 3D. It's fucking gorgeous. I'm ruining it. <laughs> you can carpent! You can chop the wood for carpeting! There's a frog! Frog's a cannon! Look at him, the little guy! Wow, you know what would make the little guy even better? If you could see him in 3D with depth perception. I'm looking at him. This frog is perceiving depth. Lizard. You can kill small creatures. You can do that. You cannot become a mailman. That might be in the next game. I don't know. You can be a knight. And then you can go to the blacksmith. And also you are the blacksmith. That's me! That's 
It's not me! You can be a funny wizard. Property damage not included. Fish? You can fish in this game? It's over. For you, maybe. You can kill the things that steal your fish, then. Murder! Nice! Physics! Woo! You can play Minecraft. We are so back. You can play Minecraft in the Funny Fantasy game. Don't worry about that. It's a bit of a weird close-up. You can make- you can break clothes and then mend them. D this cutscene just fucking slaps in 3D. I'm not even kidding. I wish. YouTube, support 3DS 3D. We're begging you. You can do even more property damage! It's just nice. It just looks nice. The name of the game you're playing. Actually God Tier. Actually God Tier. There we go, turn the 3D off. <laughs> I think YouTube literally cannot. If YouTube can support 360 video, it can fucking do this. I don't care. My god. <laughs> Roll credits! <laughs> oh, it's over. Dang, bro, that's crazy. Good morning, Sunny. Gave your head quite a whack. How did you fall out of bed again? I, I mean, what? I have no idea that you fell out of bed the first time. I mean, what? <laughs> does she know? What does she know? Didn't even sleep on the bed. I just slept on the floor. I was so fucking tired. The cutscene killed me. You really scared me rolling out of bed like that. You rolled really far. Perhaps I shouldn't have tickled your nose like that. Uh, I mean, nothing. I heard what sounded like a letter being chucked in the mailbox earlier. Um, Sunny? I really want to know more about Riveria, Teehee. Poke Spotterfly hands together. I mean, I want to go out there and try all sorts of things. Hmm? New Flutter's requests have been added! Take a look at the quest screen! She has quests. Go crazy. She is a butterfly. We will not stop reminding you of this. Go out and explore Riveria. We're so back. We're so fucking back. It appears you've got a new letter. Let me out! Very demanding for a butterfly. <laughs> Such a diva. <laughs> right then. Letter from the king. What the fuck did- wh which fucking voice did I give him? It's been like five hours. <laughs> or two. Dear Sunny, I offer you my congratulations on starting your new life, but the adventure has only just begun. New discoveries await those who are willing to explore. Good luck on your travels. King Eric of Castel. Wow, thanks, pen pal. Thanks, bestie. Right then, head to the goddess statue in the square. Are we ready, boys? God is canon. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, the goddess statue. That's not what I think this is. You sound like you ain't too sure there. Oh, jump scared again! Oh, um, well, I'm new in Castel, but this is the goddess statue, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're a curious little butterfly, aren't you? Well, you're right. This is a statue of the life, goddess. Is there something you'd like to know about her? Well, um, what was the deal? It's said that in ancient times she descended to Riveria and saved the world from destruction. What do you mean? Well, I ain't sure exactly what happened. But it seems Riveria was under great threat and its people pleaded for salvation. The goddess heard their wishes and used her power to save Riveria. She could hear their wishes? Nope, they just talk to her. Yup, in fact, she's sometimes known as the Goddess of Wishes. After she saved Riveria, lots of people went to visit the Goddess. 
She granted each of their wishes one by one, but there were so many of them she couldn't help all. Then it struck her. Well, if instead of granting all their wishes by herself, she gave the people the power to fulfill each other's wishes instead, and thus employment was born. And so she created a variety of jobs so people could help each other, which of each of which we now call a life. Damn, she really is the goddess of employment. Do we have a goddess of unemployment? Is that how this works? Is that me? <laughs> I'm unemployed. <laughs> exactly. She enabled people to fulfill each other's needs through their work. That's what we call a life. And that's why she's called the life goddess, right? You are very intelligent. But perhaps nowadays there are fewer wishes being granted than before. Dang. In this economy? Because recently fewer and fewer youngsters are taking up a life. Damn! Down with the government! It's their fault! <laughs> Whoa! In that case, I'm going to travel the world and hear people's wishes. Maybe that way everyone will understand the true wonder of each and every life. <laughs> you sound just like the great goddess herself. Maybe I am god. <laughs> mm, but then again... <laughs> I do wonder what sort of wishes everyone out there has. What would your wish be, Sonny? The best part in the game! I want to be rich! <laughs> Does this choice matter? No. You do not get a theme park by saying that you want to have a theme park. Let's look through some of them now. I want to eat a five-star dish one time. I want a cake. I want a PC. I want clothes. I want clothes, but smaller. Give me a fucking horse. It's my life's dream. I want a horse. How the fuck is a fisherman meant to give me a horse? Goddess has failed me. I want a smartphone. Happy 2014. I want... I just want affordable housing. Please. Pam is charging the absorbent rent. <laughs> I want more money than I had before. Uh, one party, one time. Me? <laughs> I, I want to go shopping one time. I want a tree. I want to buy everyone dinner. I'm just a hungry little guy. I always want to look my best. <laughs> Although, you could say that I already... I'm hungry. I want to learn. I want to lay in a bed of gold. I like to imagine they just went through like the, the level 5 office and just asked all the employees making the game what they wanted out of life. <laughs> like, I want to help those in need. I want to live abroad. I want to buy things. I want to go into space. I want to shop. I want to be a small business owner. I want a boat. It's different from a yacht. <laughs> I want a car. <laughs> I want to do charitable acts. Give me a fucking Lambo. <laughs> You realize a theme park could house live Blahage. True. But anyway, let's see. I feel like a Blahage would be listed under Bliss. I want to- Ew. I want a dog. I want a cat. I want a bird. I want friends from other lands. Arguably, all of my friends are from other lands. Unless you count my brother. <laughs> I want to have a happy family. Ah! Oh, I want to meet my soulmate. I want to go see Taylor Swift. <laughs> How do they know what a car is? True! There are... There are no cars in this game. The closest you get to a car in this game is a fucking airship. Don't worry about it. I want to watch Batman v Superman again. I want to meet my idol! It's fun. I'm the idol. I've already met my idol, Corp. I want to have muscle. I want more friends, but not from different lands. It's different. I want to- Shit. Fuck. Shit. There we go. Fixed. <laughs> I did it. I want to time travel. I just want to be me. I just want to be a special boy. I just, I just want to be cool, man. I want to make my family proud. I want to fall in love. I want to be real fucking attractive. 
I want men to literally drop dead when they see me. <laughs> and women. You know what? No one can, can look upon my visage and live to tell the tale. That's how attractive I want to be. I want to adopt. I want to live a long, happy life. I want Jason from third grade to notice me. <laughs> I just need a therapist. I want to be selfless. I want to be content as I am. Beach house. <laughs> this the fucking whip lash between like the <laughs> between some of these god mountains. I want to be in a Hollywood blockbuster. So basically Medusa. Yes! I'm sure there was going to be no issues with any of that. Man, I'm... I'm fucking tired. <laughs> you can't change this, by the way. This choice affects nothing in the game. And it... And you can't change it. And I'm thinking about it so hard. I want to be with my family. I haven't seen them in hours. I want to... I've already got my one sorted. I want to watch the sunset. I did that earlier. I was outside. Hits the woe. Okay, and then stars. These are more my thing. I want to be a sports star. I want to cook real good. I want to make clothes. I want to use magic for real. I think this is presuming it's like your actual human real life outside of the game hopes. Oh no, buddy. I want to be popular. I want 500 subscribers. <laughs> I want to be a teacher. I want to be an artist. I want to be a musician. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be an entertainer. Why have I already got some of these? I want to be creative. I keep trying. It's so difficult. I want to break the news. I want to be a writer. I want to make a master. I, I did initially read that as I want to be a masterpiece. I think we've already covered that one. I want to win a quiz show. <laughs> I want a car. <laughs> I want to make a film of my life. Just stream. It's that easy. I want to be good at fishing. I want to make a thing real good. I want to sing. I want to show off my skills. That's all of them. I want to be independent. I, I, I want to move out. I want my own company. I did it. I found a Dial Corp. <laughs> I want to beat my rivals into the fucking dust. I want to be helpful. <laughs> I want to use magic for real. <laughs> I want to be a great performer. I want to be a politician. Arguably, these are the same thing. <laughs> I want world domination. I just want to go outside. I want to have a friend of me. <laughs> Who wishes for this? It's fine. I want to be respected. That's the last one. And you know what? I feel like that's me. Wait, but what would Sunny want? What would Sunny want? Hmm. Hmm. What would Sunny want? I feel like Sunny might want I just want to sleep. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. She fell out of bed twice. That is true. I'm sunny side up, Greg's Benedict. Come back and I just want to sleep. So that's what you'd wish for. Well, I know my wish already. Oh, what'd that be? It's a secret. <laughs> I'm sure your wish will come true someday, Sunny. One of these days. One of these months. <laughs> Even the old man's like, Jesus Christ, what happened here? <laughs> Sunny wants to... Me, 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 me. Like a pig, Ben. I want to hear wishes from all sorts of people. Is that so? Well, I'm sure there are plenty of wishes out here around town. You're a wish you think you can outweigh, you can do what you can. Requests? Go on requests. Do quests. Good. Talk to people, but only 30 at a time. Sunny, let's help whoever we can! <laughs> well, that's all I can teach you for now. I 
Thank you very much, mister. You need a starting point? Feel free to ask my wish, mum in the square here. Helping others will always reap rewards eventually. Here, yeah, this is a gift from me. Yay! May the great goddess watch over you. I hope you lead a great life. Oh, got me bones. I did it. I did a quest one time. Thank you so much for bringing me here, Sunny. I actually have some other places I'd, I'd like to visit. How about we go together? Place your bets now. What she's gonna? What is she gonna say? Oh, how bitch ass of you! Oh, she didn't. She didn't actually repeat herself. I'm impressed. Please don't say that. Let's go together. Please, you. Pretty please with a butter tie on top. <laughs> I'm desperate. I I barely have legs. <laughs> It's either this or I become a hat brooch. <laughs> These grassy plains road is now open. We're so back. We're so back. We're so back. We're... What do you want? Hello, whippersnapper. I was hoping you'd say all right. Now then, now then. Do you think you could toddle off to the grassy plains and fetch me back a nice big egg? Finally, Sunny gets to do an egg quest. Them things are so big you won't believe your eyes. I only need one of them. That's enough for anyone. You should be able to find one somewhere if you have a little search of the grassy plains. In return, I'll give you 500 dosh and a knife. What do you say? Okay. That's the spirit, lassie. You'll find the lost of townsfolk will ask you favours like this. Shows you they trust you. Yeah, they'll give you a quest. Bring me this item. Defeat this beast for me. That kind of thing, you know. Your job is to fulfil these requests. I mean, it's not your your part-time chef, but <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, it's your job should you choose to accept it. No one's forcing your mind. Request you've accepted get automatically added to the other requests on the quest menu. That way, if you forget what they've asked you to do, you can just look it up. Handy, eh? Well then, now that I've explained all that... Leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big egg for Gramps. I'll do it. I'll do it. And while I'm here. Hey, lady, do you know anything about bugs? You know, there's a lot of bugs in Bavaria. There's about five and there's grasshoppers. And, and, uh. Oh, I know. I'll tell you lots more about bugs. You can get me one raw grasshopper. Oh, I'll give you tons of dust and ten cash apples. I'll sell them for a snack, but. But I hate my bones. Really? You'll bring me one raw grasshopper? You know they're pretty hard to catch, right? But I'll do it anyway. So true, Timmy. So true. I'm just gonna accept a few requests. So then if I get the things that I need, we'll slay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Rin. Just talking about to say you have insanely good taste. Okay, have a good trip. <laughs> the fancy life fans out in full force tonight, and I am enabling them. Right then, and then I think there's one more quest down here for an old woman who wants food for her birds. Oh, dearie. I just love my sweet chicks. I give them food, and they grow into chickens, and then they reward my care with eggs. You know, I'd love to give them something really nutritious to make them grow big and strong. Yeah, something like forest mushrooms from East Castell. You know, just you can bring me five of them, dearie. I'll give you 200 dosh and three kiwis in return. Egg. Thank you. The chicks will be so excited. Anything for the tiny little birds. Let's go. Anything for the chickies. We're so back. We're so back. Me when I give food to bird it is happy and full right then what have i got letter from latina get presents through passwords you can now use passwords in the post office if you happen to know any be sure to drop by latina i have some passwords 
<laughs> Dearest Sonny, some exciting news. The exchange clerk has opened up a counter in my office. Although she's done nothing but sleep ever since she got here. Hm. You don't have to go out of a war with her, dearie. That is post-game content. I will get back to the exchange clerk. For now. For now. Just tell your Gmail password to the local pa to the local postman. This is fine. Good day, Possible. I'm glad you came along. Actually, I have a request. I was going to ask that gatekeeper, but maybe I shouldn't. Ah, I just caught his eye again. But anyway, my request is sleep powder. The kind you use to make sleep bombs. Yes, five inches of sleep powder. That's what I need. In return, I'll give you 800 dosh and three sleep antidotes. This man doesn't seem shady in the slightest. And that's three pinches of sleep powder. And don't forget now. Mm, why does that gate fellow keep looking at me? Perhaps I have something on my robes. It's so rude to stare. Even the game's like, yeah, this guy's suspicion. <laughs> this guy should not be trusted. <laughs> I have opened the lid on the fan base. You know what? I'm absolutely fine with that. Right then, before I go start another life. What? Woohoo! Gathering ingredients. I pressed the wrong button. I, I've been playing Animal Crossing lately. So I thought that Y was the pickup button. I keep having this problem. I love Fancy Life, and the problem I have is not its fault. And it's not Animal Crossing's fault. But in in Animal Crossing, the pick things up button is Y. And in Fancy Life, the pick things up button is A. And when I go back and forth between them, because I, I tend to have periods where I'm playing both of them. Um... Yeah, I will. Whoops! Anyway, kidnapped a butterfly. Let's go. <laughs> the grassy plains are up ahead. The place is full of dangerous monsters, so please prepare yourself and be careful. I'll be the judge of that! Whee! <laughs> Rin, this isn't what we meant when we asked you to get a life. Well, uh, check this shit out. I will not hold down a to skip! This shit is great and good and very nice and I like it. If you don't, then you are blocked. Pikmin! <laughs> fucked up looking Pikmin. This game has fucked up looking Pikmin. Anyway, look at this. My phone just went off. I'm going to put it on silent now. It was my symptom tracker. Funny big boy. Funny big boy. Funny big boy. Funny sleep. He just he does just do a sleep obeeper. <laughs> yeah, me too. Man singing. That's the good the cutscenes in this game are the good shit. <laughs> Big head, tiny body. The nap dragon. We love the nap dragon. I will probably have to murder him at some point. Oh well. <laughs> so these are the East Grassy Plains. They really are big, aren't they? And what a pleasant breeze. Look, there's a paladin over there. Let's ask him some more about the place. Huh? What's he doing signing off? That's doing some skill. Um. Good, good morning! <clears throat> good morning! Ah, ah, Nothing to rustle! He's fine. God, even I have better security. Incredible. Ah, oh, you're not Captain Mustang. Oh, don't scare me like that. Um, we were wondering if you might tell us about, about the grassy plains. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! A talking butterfly! Oh yeah, she's not normal. <laughs> tell me that you can talk before going opening your mouth like that! Oh, you could have given me a heart attack. Um, sorry. I think. <laughs> sorry about it. The writing in this game is quite nice. <laughs> well, anyway, is this your first time visiting the Grassy Plains? In that case, I, I, pass, I gave you a brief explanation. Fight! 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 Pick flowers. That's the basics of it. You can gather all sorts of things on the plains. Here's something I found earlier. Blue P. 
pizza looking ass. <laughs> Healweed! Are you sure it's okay for us to take these, mister? It's no problem at all. I can just go out and find some more. So I've got anything else to do to be in there. That's not a good sign for the security of this nation. It's always peaceful around here. There aren't any particularly violent monsters. It's a great place for beginners to gain experience, be it gathering materials or in battle. How convenient you live here. Ah, uh, but you should be careful after dark. Other more aggressive monsters appear at night. Any questions? Um, are any monsters that might eat butterflies out there? Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, yeah, there's one important thing I forgot to tell you. You come across a nap dragon, do not fuck with it. Do not fuck with the nap dragon. He will mess you up. He looks a little bit sleepy, and he looks a little bit beepy. But you know what? He has a mean jaw, and he's got a mean left hook, and he's gonna fuck your shit right up if you're coming in the wrong way. Pack some fucking revives. That's all I'm saying. As long as you don't bother it, it won't trouble you. But if you anger it, you're fucked. A northern will come to Mount Snow Peak. If you feel confident enough, it's worth a visit. If you want to return to Castell, feel free to talk to me and I'll escort you back in an instant. And that's it. Take care. Damn, that's crazy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Boop the snoot. <laughs> Please do not the dragon. Right then. Time for babies for- oh, there he is. There he is. Anyway. Your life is forfeit now. Hey! I forgot I gave her this voice. Hey! Hey! Oi! Hey! Hey! Yeah, she is just going to say, hey! <laughs> My mutton now. My health points now. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up this nasty bee. These bees are nasty because they attack you on sight, even if you don't have a weapon drawn. Very rude. Oi. In this account. Nope, not right now. Okay. So the Also you can fight bandits. You don't wanna fight bandits right now. You don't wanna fight bandits until you've got like a so we got a good thing going. Anyway, you're not uh, you're knockoff Pikmin, so I'm gonna mess you up. Hup! See, a real Pikmin would never say hey. A real Pikmin would say Pikmin. You're not Pikmin. You could never be Pikmin. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's a good idea to ha murder everyone a little bit. Hey! Because caterpillars give you straw thread. Wondrous. Hey! Eh? What do you want? Huh. See, you can fight. You can have strategy. You can go like this. Yep. You can go. Yep. But would you? And you can do other things like accidentally drawing your weapon when you're just trying to shake a fucking tree. <laughs> could they be pick pick carrots? Pick pick carrots wouldn't do this to me. <laughs> they would stun my enemies, not be my enemies. There are birds over there. I'm not going to fuck with them because they've got more HP than me. <laughs> also, we will come back at night. Because like the guy said, at night, uh, the spookies come out. Yeah, you see the way I just went whoop immediately. Oi, I'll fuck you up. I, I just dodged right into that. That's incredible. Whee! Mine now. Yeah, spooko, sp spooky little things come out at night. There we go. Let me see. Actually, do I have any? I have food. I have the t the carrot soup I made earlier. Wee! <laughs> Hoorah! Do do do! If I go over here, I can find grasshoppers, and sometimes they will be- No, that's a common grasshopper. This is so sad. Dodge the wolves. They'll fuck you up and- Roll grasshopper! Okay. That's good. So now I can run away! And then I can say to this guy, Hello! No, I do not want to go to the Elderwood! 
Okay, he's not going to take me there anyway. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> okay. We've gathered a... Oh, yeah. There's the big egg. Let me go get the big egg. I went the wrong fucking way. You gotta go across the bridge and then go left and go right and go down. I didn't even realize Sunny Narity runs. Oh yeah, everyone does. It's beautiful. Anyway, there are wolves here. There will be more wolves at night and also worse wolves and also more scary wolves. You don't want to run into a scary wolf. You want something to Oh, hello, treasure chest. I love free things. Hello? A stun antidote. I probably won't use that. I'm going to be real. <laughs> By the way, I forgot. I can put on my funny charm. It increases things. And I'll put this on to increase my defense as well. Wonderful. Stats increased. Now then. <laughs> Square up. I will collect my egg. And then the fun thing you can do is press the wrong button. Then I like how... <laughs> If you go into the menu too fast, it's just like, no. No, I'm not about this. If you go zoom, you can fast travel back to your house. Ignore the fact there are six house slots. We'll get to the real estate part of the game later. <laughs> Here we go. Ba, 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 da, ba. Right then. <coughs> I spy one big egg. Is it for me? I'll just be taking it if you don't mind. Okay. Hand it over, big egg. Now that's what you call a fine egg, lassie. I could cook that off a brekkie and still be eating it come tea time. Here's a knife. Okay. Okay. But I made a thousand dash. Yippee! We are so back. We're so back. And that's how you do it. You'll find there are loads of other requests. Sometimes people will ask you to make them weapons and furniture as well. Oh, and some will ask you to catch them a fish. Depends on your life whether you can do it or not. Don't worry too much if you can't do something. You can cancel a request anytime you like. Just go and go in the menu and no need to feel bad. Just get out of there. And what else? Let's see. I've still got dialogue. Oh, yeah. Still want to ask you for a certain item. You can bring them a high quality version. So if they say, give me an HP potion. And you bring them a super HP potion. Well, that's just dandy. Everything clear, young witness snapper. Jolly good. Off you go, then. I'm going to start calling you people whipper snappers. All over our grasshopper. Give. Okay. Handed over royal grasshopper. Yay, thanks. Okay, time for Timmy's bug awesome. Caterpillar's going to butterflies. Cool, huh? Actually, butterflies kind of just look like caterpillars over wings. Dang, Timmy! That's crazy! <laughs> He's so real for this. Maybe. He's definitely something. Yahoo! Yeah. I love caterpillars too. I want a big one. Can you find grassy plains? I don't actually think there's a caterpillar item. <laughs> it's over for little Timmy. Two quests down out of several hundred. Yeah! Right then. <sighs> Doing that old man voice is actually killing me. I need to never speak to him again. Right then. So... Let me show you how it be. And the boots and the cats. We're gonna go. And we're gonna do a funny little bit. Of cooking. I can cook. Actually, no. What I'm gonna do first, I need to check my quests. Let's see. Because this will tell you what I need to do to rank up in my life. So we have... Make a boiled egg! It's that easy to get a promotion. Make a boiled egg. Make some things with mutton. 
Make some things with grilled fish. Make soup? Make seafood soup? Make high one high quality roast mutton dish. Egg roll. Roll those eggs. Make one cup of apple juice. Make something. Go crazy. Oh, go crazy, I will. A lot of egg in here. It's a staple of the Castellian diet. You said apple, I say juice. When I say apple, you say juice. Apple, juice! Okay, okay. Woo, 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 woo. This gets easier when you have better equipment. We will attain better equipment pretty soon. Hope, relatively soon. Juice! I did it! And if you make it, and if you're just really fucking good at the mini game, you can make more than one apple juice out of two apples. And you, you know what? You're having a good time. I did it! I saved my job security! We'll be a Michelin star chef by midnight. We've got like two more hours. We can do this. What do I need for an egg roll? More eggs. Okay, let's see. I need bird meat. I need cow's milk. I need carrot. Fish? I can get by buying it right now. The fun part of this game is you'll see like, oh, you need elderwood trout. Why do I get elderwood trout? We could buy it. Or you could become a fish man and you could and you could fish it. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Just to save on time now, though, I am just going to buy the bird meat because I don't want to have to go and kill some ostriches. They'll fuck me up. Oh, I don't have that much money. I should be careful. Okay, four of these. Ten of these. Uh, ten of these. There we go. That'll that'll do me for a while. Also, you can sell funny things. For example, I pr I'm pretty sure that common grasshoppers only exist to be sold. I d I really do not hope that there are things that require. I already have low top shoes. What about two? I came with my chef outfit. Yeah, I'm really hoping that's not a cooking recipe that, the recipe that involves butterflies. Oh dear. There we go. Wah. Right then. Okay, okay. It's gonna be fun when we get to start filling out the bingo board of life progress. Right now, I'm just F. <laughs> ah. Select an item to craft. You know damn well I will. Egg roll! Roll that egg, baby girl! Boys, we are so back. Boys, we are so back. And we are slaying. We are gaming. We are so fucking back. <laughs> go, 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 go. It is a little bit funny how, like in the cooking life, so your equipment is a frying pan, but if you get a better frying pan, you can also stir things better. Show, so, sure. Super egg roll! God, I love that video game. And then I leveled up. Ex exquisite. Sunny is living her truth. That's beautiful. Right then. Let's put my points. I put one in luck, I put one in strength. Guy said that intelligence and focus were important. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of cooking for the for the near future. Let her cook. Let me cook. I want to cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. And let me cook. You will get food poisoning. Time for salmonella, boys. <laughs> Remove the bones first. Okay, I need to roast some high-quality mutton. And then... I need to make a winter stew. I can make a winter stew. You fucking watch me make a winter stew. You see if I don't. And the boots and the cat. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'll keep doing it. This one's high level, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But I am going to gum body my mass. You can tell it's difficult because the music changed. Whee! There 
There we go. You can get grates on the cooking on the on the like the the A pressing one and the side side one if you're fast enough. The hold one can't be sped up though. Yeah. I did it. We'll warm you up. That's a threat. <laughs> How does the health department allow a snail to access the kitchen? Can someone tell me? It's okay. He has a he has a hair net on. He has a snail net. He's on the snail net. Okay, and then a high quality mutton. Girlies, I've got this. Woo! It's only gonna be high quality if it says great on all the stuff. Probably. Maybe. A bit. Well, I'm I'm in the clear. It's partially time based and partially based on what uh kind of grade it gives you, I think. Doesn't matter, I made a super roast mutton. God, I love that game. So good. You were able to make it better than usual, so you got one extra making two. That's how numbers work. Yay! Muss and mayhem! <laughs> Is it now? Right, how many? I need 400 stars to get to the next rank. I do need to make a boiled egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's boiled egg o'clock. Okay, we've got this. We've got this, boys. It's egg time. Whether you liked it or not. Whether yolk. Whether you are yoking about it or not. She's so good. She's so fucking good at puns. <laughs> Egg time. Egg time, go. Hey. 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 Here we go. I have mastered the art of getting carpal tunnel over the years. You can't stop me. I'd like to- I'd like to see you fucking try. Hmm? Hmm? Is it an egg? Yes, it's definitely an egg. It's... Egg... Ugh, no, don't even try. Stop trying. <laughs> egg basics! The basics of egg. What else do I need to do? How many stars have I got so far? Okay, counting. 50 plus 100 plus 200 plus... Oh, I've got more than enough. I have more than enough to become an apprentice. Right then. Shall I... Should I just finish the rest of them? I could probably finish the rest of them. Let's see. Well, they're all like, make three soups. I can make more mutton. I can make more fucking mutton. You want to see me try? You want to see me go? You do need to end up doing all the quests at one point. If you're me. It's not necessary for game, <laughs> like for game completion or whatever. You can get through the main story while still being like a fucking apprentice, I think. I don't actually think you need to... Yeah, no, to get to like the end of the story or whatever, I think the only prerequisite is like, go through the story, man. Beat the bosses, we don't care. <laughs> it's fine. There we go. Super shish kebab. Dang. Extra good. Blocked. <laughs> then again, this... I can't block anyone for puns when this game is full of them, can I? Right. I do not have any fish. Because I'm not a fish boy. Because I'm not fishing for real, for real. I'm going to go and buy some fish. And hopefully this will be the last time I do this. Here I go. Fish! Shopkeeper! Here we go. I need... I'll take two of those. And I'll take two of those. And I'll take two of those. Wondrous! Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so that's why it's good to just generally... You know, scrounge around on the ground looking for things. That's why I picked up so much, uh, so much of the dandelions or whatever they were earlier. Because those are just gonna come in useful when you don't want to collect things and you don't want to go to the fucking marketplace or whatever. Amazon? I don't need to make fish soup right now, which is good, because I, I... I'm not even sure I know where to get a daikon radish at this point. Okay. Krilled fish! Can you speedrun fancy life? I want to watch speedruns of this game. I've never got around to it. Here we go. I wonder what the categories are. There's probably like any percent which just get to the end of the story. 
Which I don't imagine would be too interesting. I'd be interested to see what the routing is for like which life you go to. Hmm. Fish! There we are. Can't wait for the inevitable rare fish grinding stream. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> right then. Here we go. One more. I might also need to make another one after this. I want to get all my uh, my fledgling quests done, so that I can start my apprenticeship with a with a clean chopping board, not a clean slate. Who do you think I am? Some sort of artisan? No, I. Shit! I was looking at the. I wasn't looking at the game capture. I was looking at the game capture. <laughs> oh well, I still made a fish. And it was a pretty good fish. I don't even need to be that good. Rumored to be healthy. <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay, and then one more, I think. Nope, two more. Seafood soup. So I do need to make the fish soup. You know what? I take it back. I take it all back. I'm just gonna talk to my boss and be done with it. So busy, so much to cook. Oh, it's you. So you want something? Yes. What? Evaluation of your achievements. If you want to go, if you want to do it, quickly. Dang, you would know, would you not? Ring. Cha ching. The money sound. I've overperformed. Flick's hair. What do you mean, bring? No. Silence. Boys, I am apprentice. Whee! <laughs> I've updated my Clip Studio paint thing. And then I did it. Woohoo! Nicely done. You've reached the, you the apprentice round. Uh, not a big surprise there. I knew you were good enough. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Categories include touch grass percent, pipe percent, and big egg percent. Beautiful. What do you have for me now, huh? You should have perfected at least one dish by now. No, the more you, you, the more you cook a dish, the better you get at it. Once you matter a recipe, you'll be able to cook more servings in one go. You won't be able to make it out next week for the if it's out there. It's the best thing you've been doing them. Still, if you need Yeah, I get that. So little hard about your achievements. And postulations on becoming an apprentice. Dang, bro. That's crazy. Sizzle will accompany you the next time you go out to look for <laughs> ingredients. Going alone is very, very dangerous. Especially if you're after meat. If you're not careful, you may become meat. <laughs> That's fucking threatening. I never realized how threatening that was. If you're not careful, you may become the meat. <laughs> it's fine. But hey! Sizzle's here! Sizzle's going to fucking cook us. Metaphorically and physically. You can invite people to your party. Yeah, go crazy. Woo! Go stupid. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, invite party members and then you can also friendship is real. Friendship. Become friends with people. Or your dog. That's great. Flapjack, what have you got to say about it? I've got a present for you, fresh fish. No need to people go. Consider a little gift. What part is famous for fish like this, you know? Say if you'd like to try your hand at new dishes, it's time you must have your courage and set out and discover what ingredients other lands have to offer. Great. Thanks, bud. What can I make? Let me just check what it's what it's given me the option to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegetable stew. Tomato stew. Can I make any of these right now? I could make grilled tuna head, but it would probably kill me. I can make fucking sashimi. It's time to make some fucking sa Unless I need to. No, I can make both. Raises intelligence, I could use that. Here we go. Here we go! Whee! Yeah, it, when it when you're doing harder recipes, it is just gonna take a longer time to do this, and you're not gonna get those funny greats. Cause you know what? You're not great. You're a dweeb. Yeah, this isn't gonna be good, but it's gonna be serviceable, and that's what I want. Ah! No! Stop looking at the wrong game capture, you buffoon! I'm fine. But I still made it better than usual, so I got one extra making two. That's how it works. 
My favorite part of sashimi is the constant heating of the fish. You haven't seen nothing yet. You haven't seen nothing yet. Okay, go crazy. Go crazy. Where is all of this garbage that I'm just throwing out coming from? Whee! Okay, we've got this. We can do this. This will be easier when I have better equipment. Yeah. Take the break time on the hold activity to scratch your nose. Whee! Okay, okay. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. We've... It's not even saying great. It's just like... Oh, okay. What did that fish eat? <laughs> it's not even good. I'm just like... Yeah, I did that. But it is full of omega-3. How many stars do I need to get to the the next rank then? 250, I'm slaying. I could slay more. No, apprentice, there are so many challenges ahead of you. You won't have time to come here. Look, whatever you and you get hold of. Man really said, grind until you're dead, huh? You know what? This line of work doesn't suit me. I think I'll be off. Thank you. The sashimi is going to make whoever eats it explode. Anything is possible. I heard about you becoming an apprentice cook. News of your progress keeps me on my toes. But Sonny, you're not the creme de la creme yet. You know Pedro from Port Porto. He does sleep cooking. You'd have to master... Uh, master? <laughs> You'd have to master automatic cooking before you could manage such a feat. Pedro's restaurant, Coquita Rica, is a place every cook should visit at least once. Man cooks in his fucking sleep. Me? Me dreaming of my schemes. When you're on YouTube long enough, you start having YouTube dreams. That's me cooking in my sleep. But you know what? I've had enough of this. Flips hair. I've... I'm... I'm sickened. Alright there, Sonny. Oh, congrats on getting your life sorted. Yay! <laughs> Sonny's dream is to sleep and now they want her to cook through it? actually save her. Well then, I better give you a tour of the different cows here. I'm also part of this conversation! Whoa, it looks like we've got a pest problem. Hold on a sec, I'll just fetch the pest aside. Oh, I've got a pest, mister! My name's Potter! Uh, do you have that voice too, Sonny? It was me, mister! Please don't spray me! Whoa, it was you! Never seen me talk about a fight before. Well, I'm sure I've heard your voice somewhere. Sonny was nice enough to save me from a bit of a scary situation earlier. Oh yeah, he definitely just had a scream. <laughs> oh, so it was you making all that noise out in the square before her. I'm very sorry about that. Well, I don't know what went on, but I'm glad to see her alive and flapping. If I hadn't been for Sonny here, you might have been made into a pretty little brooch or something. Well, I was a bow tie for a while. Ah, oh, Amida, never mind. Well, anyway, it looks like I don't need that pesticide. Let me show you what you can do here. He was fully ready to just kill her. You can talk to me if you want to change your life. Over there is the bounty clerk. So, yes, the, ba the bandit dude you saw earlier. He's worth a lot of money. He is a criminal. Fuck him up. Get, get money. Get money. Make fish quick. Big man. <laughs> they come in boxes that you must drag all the way back to the bounty, uh, the bounty clerk. There are some bounty clerks out in the wild. They are few and far between. Cash money. Also, they'll give you a nice item. And if you talk to the potty plant on the death there, it'll make a print of any fish bounty you bring it. I don't know why this is in the game. I don't know why a talking plant that looks like lips can... I don't know why. Make money, get fishes. Sure, why not? It's kind of the other way around. Where the back there are the communications counters. On the left counter is our street pass clerk. No idea what the fuck that is. I live in 22 the year. On the right, you can try out multiplayer mode with other players. And in the middle counter, you'll be able to hear all about link mode, snapshots, and multiplayer. If you're interested, you can ask more. You can find out more by asking each of the counters. Is there a life I might be good at? Mm, a life for a butterfly, eh? Ah, but a sugared water kind of serious. Is it really life like that? No. Ugh. 
But hey, them's the breaks. Sometimes I wish, wish I was a butterfly. But life's not fair like that. Anyway, Sonny, please do make good use of the guild office. Now, where did I put that? Pe where did that pesticide go anyway? Ah! Ah, here we are. This might come in handy for you. Bombs? <laughs> he was ready to fucking bomb her! <laughs> Such a nice dude. Um, are you sure this is the right thing, mister? Of course I am! There's no better pesticide around! <laughs> It'll make short work of any bees out on the grassy plains. Yikes! Anyway, that's just about everything. Oh yeah, if you your map, you can instantly return here at any time. Take a look when you get the chance. Best of luck in your new life! Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> a bomb would kill a bee. This is true. The link mode and snapshot features will be made available after talking to the link clerk at the back. Speak to her to find out more. I'm not gonna do that because that would require having friends. ba ba da ba 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 da ba da ba 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 da ba I don't want to connect to Nintendo Network ID for a fifth time in a row. I don't need that. Oh yeah, no, I gotta change my life. <laughs> Welcome to the guild office. Now have you come to change your life? Hello. <laughs> I like how Flutter is the most normal person in this game. Yeah, the stalker butterfly who turns into a bow tie is like... Dang, these bitches crazy. <laughs> so. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. We have 11 funny lives to choose from. Which one do I go with next? Hmm. Honestly, if I can do uh, the tutorials for six lives, maybe. And we can do some, some quests in between each one. So, there are, there are four combat lives. There are... Let's see. There are three gathering lives and there are five crafting lives. Two. I need to do two combat lives. Mm. Let's do one gathering life. And three of these. Three of these funny things. Okay. Free money to incentivize people to, pray, to play fantasy life to acquire free money. Yes! This is how the economy works! We can do this! <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Seamstress. You know what? I'm okay. I'm gonna skip over the the crafting lives for this next one just because we just did a crafting life and they all function relatively similarly. Fuck it, we mine. Fuck it, we mine. It's okay to mine. Do 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 do. It's me. I'm crafting. Oh, hell yeah. And this means... Oh, boy. Congratulations, Sonny. Welcome to the minor life. I'm sure you already know this, but your first port of call should be your new master. I've already marked their location on your map, just in case you're not sure where to find them. Now, off you go. Best of luck. I've forgotten. Did I give you the license immediately? Yes, I am a novice. Which means... There we go. <laughs> I've got him like a document. There we are. Right. We've got this. I'm very close to leveling up. We're so back. We're so back. N. N. It's for novice. Novice is ratio. This. The minor life is one of my favorites. A, because it's just very easy to slot into the rest of your activities. Like, you'll be in a cave and you'll be like, Oh, oh, I can mine that. Hmm. <laughs> or, or, haha. <laughs> also, the reason I like it is because this quest, this quest, the introductory quest is quite silly. <laughs> Okay, then. What's up, boys? There you are! The guild office told me a kid would be swinging, boy! Your name's Sonny, isn't it? Name's Douglas. This guy is here, my, 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 my rock! It's rock, bro. Rock. Oh, yeah, right. My bad. Anyway, I'm itching to learn all about the most rockin' life in Riveria! 
teach me the ways of taking a pickaxe to the rich deposits. Uh, other way around, bro. What? Sunny is learn is is it to learn all about the most rocking life from Bavaria? You're gonna show her, bro. Huh? Wow. You wanna be a miner, don't you? Of course you do. Bro, you could at least give her a chance to decide on her own. <laughs> is this the divorce one? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> How about we give her the lowdown? Oh yeah, you're right. Anyone worth their all will tell you, kid. The being a miner rocks. <laughs> This one is very silly. Also, he just he did just like pull out the pickaxe and go straight for my cranium. Dig! 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 And when you're done digging, dig some more! What you think? That was very passionate, bro. You didn't like actually explain anything. Fine, fine. If you think it's so simple, then you explain it to the kid. Well, alright, guess I'll give it a shot. Miners live life, one ore deposit at a time. Our job is to dig up ore and precious stones. The ore goes to the blacksmiths and precious stones go to the alchemists, you dig? Our services are always in demand. Money ain't a thing without mining. Seriously, mining is pay dirt! Brock, when do you get so good at ex giving explanations? While well, living with you and your wife, it leaves me a lot of time on my hands, bro. Oh, what I want to do to find that special someone. Can't relate, buddy. Book up, you'll find that special someone. Plenty of diamonds in the rough, as they say. Are they exactly? <laughs> All right, Sonny, get ready to rock! You can skip the introduction if you don't want to deal with these weirdos. Continue with the quest? Fuck yeah. First thing we'll do is hook you up with your very own brand new pickaxe. Yeah, your pick axe. Huh. It uh, looks like I left that all important pickaxe at home. That's the second time this week, bro. <clears throat> rock. I'm all over it like the dirt on my boots. Just leave it to me, bro. Okay, Sonny, we're gonna take a little a little field trip and get in that pickaxe. My place is in the artisan's district. My wife Mary should be in. I owe you one, Rick. Uh, it's Rock, bro. He keeps fucking forgetting his name. That's not sane. That's not normal. <laughs> he has a wife. <laughs> Why is like the wife jump scare such a big deal to you people? First, it's Olimar has a wife, and now it's. Douglas has a wife? He said it before! <laughs> That's crazy! <laughs> By the way, now that um, Brick is in my party, we can have a look at their... You could just have a look at their funny faces. You can rotate them. You can rotate your party members. It's great. Let's see. <laughs> he has stats. He has 60 HP. It is quickly dwindling. Okay then. There is also just a mole you can talk to. We'll get back to him. <laughs> oh boy. Is Douglas okay? I don't think I have the ability to answer that. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Sometimes you think he's not and then he is. And sometimes you think he is and then he's not. He's so normal. By the way, we can get a dog from here later. Or a cat. We can slay. Right then. Hello, woman! Oh, hello, Jock. It's a rock. And who's this? One of my husband's little two-timers in training? What? No, N Mary. This here is our, new uh, our newest miner. Her name's Sonny. Goddess knows why anyone would want to work with that man! He says he's out mining, but what he's, I know what he's really doing out there. I went to the crown, and what did I see? Douglas in the wicked embrace of another woman! And all the, and all the days, it just had to be our anniversary! B bro did that? He's cheating on his wife! <laughs> you're still wrong. You're, you're still young, Brock. Don't you dare follow in his example, you hear me? <laughs> all right. You're a good boy, Rock. Now, what can I help you with? Uh, uh, I probably forgot the, uh, the, the pickaxe. Did we get this pickaxe? Yes, he did leave it here. Here you go. <laughs> this shit's crazy. But I can mine now. Uh huh, I see. So that's the two-timer's wife, and that rambunctious little miner must be his little brother. That means the other person there must be the miner I'm looking for. 
they're so normal. It's actually just about a man who's maybe cheating on his wife, maybe. <laughs> Shit is crazy. <laughs> At least it isn't a pretend frying pan. Oh yeah, I'm still equipped with a pretend frying pan. The frying pan I've been using this time isn't even real. <laughs> it's not even, it's made of fucking plastic, I think. Oh no. Divorce arc. <laughs> yeah! We've got this. We've got this. Mine as well as a freaking telenovela. <laughs> there's the old pickaxe. That, that, there's for you to keep. All right, let me show you how to probably use a pickaxe. Hey, what gives? Why are you looking at me like that? You say some guy got caught on another woman of the crown and his wife found out. Ha, ha. Oh, boy. I'd be dumb enough to do that. You, bro. Ha! Huh? Me? Did Mary tell you that? Yep, and she said you were Castell's number one two timer. Wait, really? She said that, huh? I don't know where she got that idea from. <laughs> the plot thickens. Is he cheating? We don't know. I know. I know the truth. Chat, you just get to go on a magical experience right now. <laughs> Forget all of that. I meant to show you how to mine. Mine diamonds. <laughs> Uh, mine diamonds. Press the A button. Press the A button again. Press the A button a third time. No funny business, understand? Uh, <coughs> let's get to the mining basics. Mine copper! I started learning on Castle Copper myself, although I wasn't very good at it. There's a good number. Should be able to get into the swing of things. Literally. Sonny, I want you to start off by getting out there and mining three pieces of Castell Copper. Get to it, kid! If you're on our mining spots, just give a rock holler. He'll go ahead and find some more spots to mine. Boy, that doesn't make for a very good test. All right, bring me back a piece of ore by the time I finish counting and you pass. You are me. Get to it, kid. One, two, three. Hold up, bro. Six, seven, eight. Come on, bro, stop, stop it already, will you? Oh, well, ready to go, Sonny. Oh, yeah, if you run out of stamina in the middle of training, take a swig of this. Drink water! Fancy life said, stay hydrated! Okay, get that pickaxe of yours equipped and get ready. Good luck. You're gonna need it in this line of work. 19, 20, 21! He's just counting up. Oh, shit, no, pickaxe is not equipped. He's so sane and normal, like me. Beginner's pickaxe. Oh, yeah, this isn't... The fuck is this made of? Also used by kids when playing house. It's definitely made of plastic. <laughs> right then. The way mining works is you go... You want to walk around because there is a sweet spot in the funny ore. And if you hit the sweet spot, you can go like, Woo! Yeah! yeah! Nice. I'm gonna level up for this if it all gives me one XP. Bing! 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 Bing. Yeah. yeah! Nice. Link, is that you? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Come on. Nice shit. Oh, you can just give it a nice whack. There we go. Let's put my remaining stats in. I think for mine is it's vitality, strength, and something else you want. Luck isn't the main stat that you want to worry about for anything. You just want to increase it so you can get rid of drops. <laughs> Whee! I did it. I'm well-rounded. Nice. Okay, are you done now? 678! 679! It hasn't been that long. Ah! What? Oh, who's that? Just Sunny, bro. I knew be, be minor. She's been here the whole time. Oh, oh, yeah. Your initiation test, right? He forgot why he was counting. Brilliant. He's just like me. Humorous. <laughs> Got a little carried away there with the counting. Plum forgot to set the time limit for your test. <laughs> well, looks like you passed first time with the flying collars. Now you can go sell what you mind and officially become my rocking pupil. Ours and mine is the best shop in town for selling that copper. You'll be all right alone, won't you, Sonny? I've got a few loose ends to tie up here, you see. 
You know where Rose and mine is, don't you? It's just west of my bro's house. You can't miss it. Doing stuff by yourself builds confidence. Think of yourself as a lone wolf of mining. This will be your first earnings to reward your toiling. Ah, oh, hell yeah. I love the economy. He is negotiating with this mole. Let us not disturb him. <laughs> so there are shops for the chef near the chef. And there are shops for the crafting stuff near where you will do the crafting stuff and the crafting lives that aren't the chef. Oh, okay. Crafting lives except for the alchemist. The alchemist is in a different building. It's fine. It's fine. Divorce! Are you okay? You doing okay, Mary? Sometimes I can't help but wonder what that other woman is like. They all have issues, I've decided. That's not the mining store. This is the mining store. Oh god, it's you. It must be Douglas's new people, eh? <gasps> Douglas gave word you were coming. Let's see what you got for me. Here you go. Here is rocks. Mm, cast out copper egg. Good size. Fine luster. Impressive. I'd be happy to take it off your hands. 60 bucks! Thank you kindly. Come back anytime, Miss Miner. Sell the ore and put it in your wallet. Melt it down into coins and fake the economy. Dosh. Hey you, hold it right there. Been looking for you. They say you're the best miner in Castell. Never would have guessed it. Looks like a swing of the pickaxe would send you spinning. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to be so rude. Name's Angela. I'm a travel from Almagic. Actually, I really need your help. I'm trying to get my hands on a topaz. There are rather than rain down in Almagic. I've been trying to... I'm, I've been looking for the best miner for the job. That's why I dug up some info on you. I love gems. Gems can't treat you badly or stab you in the back. Uh, sorry about that. Just some personal stuff. That's about it. They all have issues. Everyone in this story has issues. It is a fucking telenovela. I'm confident if anyone can get a topaz for me, it'll be you! Come on, give a girl a hand! I'll be waiting for you at the crown! <laughs> Mom, it is my first day. <laughs> Everyone in the minor story be like, Damn! Crazy week! Douglas, it's Monday. <laughs> oh no. It's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Me when it's peaceful. Me when the song is peaceful. Wait a second, I just remembered. Me when I steal. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Theft isn't a crime if you don't get caught. Is what this game is saying, not me. Hey, you're back! Uh, uh, whatever your name is! Did you sell that copper? I hope you got a decent price for it. 20 bucks or something. Yeah, definitely sure. You did? Good going, kid! What's that? You're looking for a gem! <laughs> a novice hunting for a gem is like an ant trying to move a mountain, kid! Uh, Mr. Douglas, have you played the, the, the hit Nintendo on franchise Pikmin? Still, you got Moxie, kid. What do you think? Something awfully alluring about finding gems, huh? Actually, I managed to stumble upon a, a gem very recently. Here, check it out. It's gone! D did it fall out of my pocket or something? Mary's uh, not gonna be a happy camper. I don't think she's a happy camper already, buddy. She wants a divorce. <laughs> Uh, uh, my bad. Uh, so you're looking for a gem too, eh? Uh, if it's a gem you'll want, it's a gem you'll get! I've got a mole on the inside that can help you. What's with that look? I'm serious, kid. I've got the hookup. Wait, don't tell me you've never heard of mole net! Mole net, my beloved. It's one of those communication networks we miners rely on. The moles are just over there. They'll help you find that gem you're looking for. I managed to find my gem thanks to their help. Still, I just wish I could remember where I put that thing. Ah! I tore about that. Oh, I shouldn't take out my frustration on you. I love you, Mole Net. 
Damn, can't believe the moles have a union. Hey, Rock. I don't know why, but I get the feeling someone's gonna ask us a favor, you dig? Oh, hey, Sonny. Yo, Rock, you know this dudette? What is the setting for this game? <laughs> sure do. She's bro's newest pupil, Sonny. Trying to be a miner? Then consider yourself mined. <laughs> Then consider yourself an honorary mole member. Dig that. See, we moles and new miners share a special kind of connection, you dig? Those gems you dig up in our underground network share more than just dirt, you dig? So what are you looking for? Hmm, a topaz, huh? Topaz? I got super rare. Maybe for you it is, but not for us moles. We'll have your info on a little topaz lickety split, you dig? Word on mole net is there's something shiny out near the choir hall. Might be a topaz. I can dig it, I can dig it, mm, if it's your first time, so this one's on the house. We're more than happy to, to, to dig up some info. Boy, you're lucky, Sonny. Finding a topaz here in Castell is quite rare, you dig? Ain't that the truth. But why a topaz anyway? It's a favour for a girl. Ah! Did you hear from where? I'm a jig! She made the trick here just to hunt down that, ju just to hunt down a topaz. Now that's dedication, you dig? Cross mine is Armor G because it's as alluring as it gets when it comes to gems. You haven't been in the endgame areas. I have several. T he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the endgame area. With the. And you can mine all sorts of pressure. It's crazy. It's crazy. And don't even get me started on. <laughs> Spoilers. You dig? Do you excavate? <laughs> Ancient ore's older than dirt, gems darker than night sky. I've always wanted to go. Okay, let's get this top out. This top hasn't started. Although I'll let you take the lead, Sonny. Head on over to the day of the choir hall and check it out. Good luck. I'm gonna need more than luck. We're gonna need legal counsel. Going to the choir hall. It's a hall near the choir. I don't know about the end game areas. Clearly, you haven't played Origin Island. <laughs> it's not a spoiler, it's what the DLC is called. It was on the title screen. La, 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 la. See, there it is. It's been here this whole time. Hey, is this the place? Molden said it should be around here, right? This is a good quality deposit, but it looks, more, it looks rock solid more than usual. Alright, I'll show you a sweet move that should help you tackle this. Rare ore! You get more good things here, statistically. I've been doing this this whole time. Sweet spot is real. Crack it open! Crack it open! Got it? Well, get to digging. Take this! Boing! 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 Sweet spot, hello? Hi! Oh, wait, no, oh, sorry. Yeah! Oh my god, it's a special topaz! Oh my god, I got the special topaz! You did it, Sonny! Uh, that there is a huge topaz. We should find that Alma Jeep girl and give it to her right away! Okay, she seems normal. By the way, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna walk over here. Oh wow, what is that? Is that a fucking blimp? <laughs> we are so back, bros. There we go. All the character voices are really taking it out on me. I can do this. Anything for fancy life, my beloved. I will sacrifice my vocal cords for this game. Ideally, I wouldn't have to, but you know what? You need the experience. Oh boy, a car! <laughs> Dang, bro, that is crazy. I'll come back to you. Huh? Wait, is that... Is that the topaz? You got it? Well, let me have a look! This is it! 
This is the gem I've been searching for. The size is so so, but the color and clarity is superb. Ah, oh, here's something else. I had my doubts, but you're the real deal. Boy, they weren't lying when they said you were the best miner in Castell, huh? You're a whole lot different than the kind of miner than the one I met here the other day. Can you believe it? <laughs> I asked him if he could help me out, and then the guy grabbed me in this sweaty hug. <laughs> I don't know if he thought I was someone else or what, but he kept saying, Oh, my dear Mary, but you know you? You're tough as diamonds. That other guy isn't worth the dirt on your pickaxe. Whatever, it all worked out in the end, huh? So you think you can dispose of this for me? Think of it as a reward for helping me out. How about it? Wanna trade? Getting my hands on this gem was no joke, you know. Well, actually, after that monstrous bell, I'm gonna find the thing calling my ponytail. Oh, so gross. <laughs> no, anyway, never mind about that. Please, will you trade with me? I'm worried about what will happen if she says yes. I mean, no. I have just said yes. It's over. I'm doomed. <laughs> Thanks a bunch! Hand it over. Special topaz. Obtained, found, amethyst. That's one way to put it. This was totally worth the trip here. Thank you so much, Miss Douglas. Wait a second. Huh? You're, you're not the ma the great miner, Miss Douglas? Wait, your name is Sunny! What kind of name is that? It sounds like an egg. <coughs> Wait, don't tell me I got the wrong person. No, well, I'm heading back to Elba G. Feel free to visit your favorite driver. See you later, toodles! Fuck did she mean by toodles? <laughs> no, no, not, no, the, not the topaz. I, I mean her, I think. I think I love. Okay, well, you've lost my respect. <laughs> Sitcom, plot twist, tell a novella! Oh no. Do you believe in, in love at first sight, Sonny? I think suddenly I'm a believer. No, um, that's that's called a heart attack. <laughs> you should seek medical assistance. Well, there isn't a doctor life, so he might be screwed. Okay, I've made up my mind, and I owe it all to you, Sonny. Oh, and uh, uh sorry about that for myself, really. All right, let's have back a report to my bro. You said he'd be adding home. Let's try, let's try this place. We'll tell bro all about what happened once you meet, meet up with him back in his place. And me? Well, I'll just have to break the news to him. Oh yeah, so the topaz became an amethyst, huh? <laughs> we really made that girl's day. Talk about job done right. They're so normal. They're so normal. Oh god. This is fine. You're in love, you crit. Okay, but why fall in love when you can fall down the stairs? <laughs> oh no. Wee! What about the alchemist life? Is that close to me uh, medical stuff? I guess the alchemy life, yeah. It would probably be the closest thing to a doctor that we have. Which, which one was your house? This one. There we go. I mean, it's not close, let's be real. Uh, you, you've got the wrong idea! The wrong idea! I don't think so! I think that idea is right on point! It, it's all a big misunderstanding! I, I, I swear, you've got it all wrong. I, uh, I hugged the wrong lady! Stop lying, Mr. Lying McLying Pants! And to think, I had something really great I wanted to give you too. <laughs> Trauma. Something you wanted to give me? And what, pray tell, would that be? Well, well, I uh, see. The uh, uh, truth is, I, I, I sort of kind of lost it, just like everyone else in this entire. Don't worry about it. Huh. Huh. That was an award for being the biggest liar you'd win the Reveria World Record. You're not only dishonest, you're a cheat and, and a coward. Huh. You really ain't gonna believe me, are you? And to make matters worse, I ended up losing the gem I wanted to give you for our anniversary. We are history. I'm off to the castle to get divorce papers. It's- I didn't lie! I did not lie! Divorce is canon. Divorce is canon in fancy life. <laughs> Fucking love this game. <laughs> Wait! Brock! Sonny! What? When did you get here? Did you find the gem? Hey, Sonny. Show bro what we managed to find. I got this purple rock. <laughs> Whoa! Now that's a rock! Size, color, clarity. It's exactly the same as the one I dug up. Okay, even the number engraver on the back is the same. Uh, 
uh, um, uh, mm, bro, don't you think it is the gem you lost? Don't worry about it. What do you say? You've been real quiet there. But nah, that 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 is impossible. Although now you say it. <laughs> yeah, let me see. It's yours now. Ain't a doubt in my mind. This is the amethyst I dug up. Whew, saved by the pupil. That was a close call. Here, yeah, token of thanks. It's 500 quid. <laughs> my wife wants to divorce me. <laughs> Just what are you so excited about? This isn't exactly a party, you know. Oh, oh, Mary, listen, listen. I've got something important to tell you. Look, I ain't the smartest guy, but marrying you was the smartest decision of my life. Thanks, Mary, for sticking by this dusty old fool. It's a little late, but here's your present. For me? Oh my, it's so beautiful. Oh, what's this? An engraving? Why, it's the exact date and year we were married. That's right, and I'm hoping for plenty more years to come. So all that was true? Hmm, of course. The most important to me is your smiling face. I'm so sorry, I doubted you, dear. Come on, Mary, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Thank you, honey. This big thing was one, 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 this whole thing was one big understanding. Misunderstanding. I bit my tongue again. <laughs> That's right. No need to worry about me, dear. No one, we've got a fine example like Rock here. Bro. What's that, Rock? I, I'm leaving for Almajit. What? I've made up my mind. I'm heading to Almajit to live out my dream. And to chase this sick, hot, nasty babe I found on the street. What the fuck? <laughs> this is pretty sudden. When did you decide on this? Been thinking about it for a bit, but uh, today's when I finally decided to act. There's the girl. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows this man has problems. This is about the whole not being married thing, isn't it? It wasn't that, but... No, it absolutely was. <laughs> Here's a gem, now I'm leaving you. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> well, you're an adult. Oh, you don't got the right to say to either way, you know. But if you do decide to go rock, me and Mary plan on sticking around here together. Guess that means there'll be no one here to help me with my forgetfulness, eh? Y your wife? Your wife? Well, you could find a younger, brighter pupil if I won, couldn't you? Go! So, uh, what do you say, Sonny? Think you can fill that spot? Be sure to drop in from time to time. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah, of course. I'll drop by. Definitely. I, I think they were talking about me. <laughs> Rock is not wanted in this family. <laughs> by the way, don't you have something you need to tell, Sonny? Uh, right, right. I ain't the most articulate, but... You're hopeless, dear. But you try and that's all that matters. She really... <laughs> She really just did a 180 on her attitude to this guy, huh? <laughs> oh, dear God. Let's take a look at your results. Duh, 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 duh. Rocks, 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 rocks. Wahoo! You know what this means? I get to update my funny PNG. Gorgeous. Perfect. All right, now you're a real life miner. Complete challenges to earn stars so you can become the mining master. Get to a high enough license rank and I'll even give you a little something. Rank up your license to, lo to learn new mining techniques. The more stars you collect, the better you'll get. You're a miner now, kid. Be proud of it. I'm a what? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> when you're done mining, don't forget to come back and report in. What do you think, Mary? Pretty good, huh? Not just good, it was positively perfect, Douglas, dear. Hey, Sonny. Look after these two while I'm gone, okay? They're not normal. And neither am I. Let me up if you're ever in Malmajik, yeah? And then he left my party. And then uh, and then I was employed. Woohoo! <laughs> oh boy! I wasn't joking about the divorce. I was not joking about the divorce. I would never joke about the divorce. Unless it was my own parents' divorce, in which case, yeah, no, I, I need a reason to celebrate. Come on, mum. <laughs> chop chop! <laughs> Bro, Mary almost loved, left Douglas's party! 
It's actually over. Society is doomed. <laughs> Divorce was not in the North American release! <laughs> I'm not actually very familiar with the North American release of Fantasy Life, so this is quite amusing. <laughs> Oh no. I feel- I have- I mean between that and them censoring like the word God. You know what? I'm interested. I'm interested. Let's see just how off the rails this shit can get. So the thing about the minor life- <laughs> is this game okay? No. The thing about the minor life, you can basically just do all of this while you're off doing other things. I'm already working on that one. So I'm gonna start a uh, combat life. So I can go and do silly goofies. And when I get to some mine, I'll mine it. Hmm. Ain't that just a... Just a mine in the craft. Let me in. I know I've been a miner for all of five minutes, but it's time. Okay, fledgling miner, apprentice chef. Which... I'm trying to think which... Combat life is going to take me into the cave with all the ore. There are spells and the, and the cobalt frogs. I don't think Paladin's gonna take me in. I'm gonna choose Mercy. Give me a second. <laughs> Wait one second then. Limited inventory, my bel- Actually, if I talk to Flutter now, I might have enough funny bliss. I might have enough happiness in my heart and soul. Link mode is available! Let us in, let us in, let us in, let us in. Sunny, how can I help you? Am I happy? I- I- I don't know! <laughs> yeah, and the boots, and the cats, and the boots, and the- Sorry, I'm just- I'm in my boots and cats era. I did some stuff. I went to the East Grassy Plains. I did go to see the goddess statue. I'm a little bit happy. I'm kind of okay. My mental health is baseline. Bigger bag, bigger bag, bigger bag. I did it. I got a bigger bag. Hey girl, never mind. As for dialogue, I have no dialogue. Store things. Here we go. Storage, my beloved. Uh, what do I not need right now? I think I can access- Yeah, I can access crafting materials from my storage. So I'm gonna put all of these away. I'm going to have to equip that at some point. I... No, I took off my charm for silly reasons. Let's see. I don't want to deposit too much then. Actually, if it's crafting materials, I can put all this raw stuff inside. There we go. Woohoo! Store that. There we go. Wait, no, there's no point in getting uh, in getting change right now because it's just gonna change my clothes again. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the weapons, the bat wing is the bat wing stuff is the batastic wand in North America. So there's that. Actually, you've reminded me. Fantasy life passwords. Let me show you what the, the, the funny post office was about earlier. Because it does actually hold a purpose. You would not think that it does. Woohoo! Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. So... The thing about passwords in this game. I have plushy rare items for the taking. But first, the thick password, if you please. Yeah! You can enter funny codes to get you some funny items. Let's see, I'm looking for the UK Australian version. So, you can get, for example... I'll do the first one. The first one is rare Beria. And if you go ha ha he he hoo password correct. 
Here you go, plush. Yeah! I get a nice snack. But you can get better stuff. For example, what would be silly goofy? What would be silly goofy? There's an outfit called the princely outfit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it. Despite the name, it can be worn by both genders. We're so back. Okay. Fancy life, I love you, but uh, gender locking your clothes was not the right option because I just want to be alive, please, man. Prince. How did you spell princely? Because I believe that there's at least one password with like a weird spelling. And I need to be careful about that. Princely. Give me those threads. And not the Facebook kind. Laugh track. Give. Password correct. Here you go. Push. It kind of looks like mine. It kind of looks like mine. Don't look at me. I wouldn't be found dead wearing that. <laughs> and some funny shoes. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba. Wonderful. Now the only issue is I believe they are also level capped. Yeah. N wait, no, that's not it. No. But it does give me more battle experience. Level twenty. I am like level six right now. <laughs> Where am I? I'm level four. Got a little bit of work to do, boys. Luckily, once I get out on the field, I should be okay. The gender lock wasn't a thing in Fantasy Life Online, so hopefully it'll be like that for Fantasy Life I. I didn't actually get a chance to play online, but that's good to hear. Okay. Please let me in. The recent trend of video games, like, ending their weird gender locking nonsense is beautiful and brilliant, because now I can make my original character do not steal. <laughs> Whee! sun is setting and yet I must go crazy did this game have a physical release yes it did I am look at this funny game card I'm playing it on Aha! <laughs> squid sister jump scare so you can probably you won't be able to play the DLC because the DLC was online only I don't believe it was ever bundled with the original game but you will, if you want to try out, for, like, the base game, you're not, okay, there's a good, con like, there's a good chunk of content in the DLC, but the base game is, like, still its own full thing. You can try, you can probably find it on eBay. Whee! Right then. Here we go. Here we go. Mercenary. Sunny is ready to kill. Ring! Yeah. <laughs> right then. Congratulations, Sonny. Welcome to the mercenary life. Uh, go do thing. Do stuff. Talk to your boss. Uh, don't skip school. Don't do drugs. Nice. <laughs> Time for the worst life. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not too much of a fan of combat lives that aren't Paladin, but I'll fucking play them. I'm gonna say Paladin for last because it's it's one of my faves. Also, knife. <laughs> Let's see. Give me this, it gives me one more thing of defense. <laughs> this outfit doesn't look very safe. This outfit looks like you could easily just get your arm lopped off. Anyway, off I go. They have no idea it's me. The same guy who was cooking two minutes ago. <laughs> right then. Me when I load. Okay then. Hello, sir. Well, well, well. Who's this young whippersnapper? Ah, so you want to be a mercenary, eh? You've got guts less, that's for sure. But life as a mercenary is tough. Are you ready to fight tooth and nail against fearsome beasts? You can stop here. It's okay to stop here. You really want to keep going? Why the fuck did you say yes? Uh oh, excellent! The one thing you must know is that in battle you can rely on nobody but yourself. A mercenary depends on only their blade and the strength of their arm. But that's not all there is to it. When a mercenary accepts a request, they must always see it through. They must laugh in the face of danger and throw fear to the wind, no matter how fearsome a foe they may face. This is my big sword! Even if that foe is an enormous crimson fire-breathing dragon! 
A true mercenary stands tall, a blade in hand, gallantly facing down their foe. Even the strongest of monsters are no match. If you are ready to face down anything that comes your way. And of course, a mercenary carries no shield other than their might in battle. If you're still set on taking up this life after hearing what is required, then you might just have what it takes to become the truly great. Perhaps you've got the guts to become a legend among mercenaries. Advantage. Hmm? Perhaps you'd be better leave it there. Your chats do tend to go on and on. You don't want to scare the poor ass away. Hmm, now just getting a best bit. Very well, don't want to scare the young and off. Mm, I'll give you the chance to be my student. First, you'll need something no mercenary can do without. Take this big sword! Go! A big sword? Woohoo! True strength lies in honing your own skills without training, even the greatest talent withers. With a blade in hand, explore the world and test your metal against mighty foes! <laughs> Just kidding. Perhaps it's a bit soon for that yet. Maybe you'd be better off helping quell the local disturbances to start with. Perhaps the fine chap behind the counter over there might have some work for you. Yay! It's time to be employed for less than minimum wage! Woo! Here we go. You know what that bring means? Oh, baby boy, it's time. The letter N. We can do this. We can do this. Woohoo! Oh, I, oh, I see. Oh, Smiley's just gave you first great soul. Congratulations, Master Smiley's can drone on a bit. But he really is a great man. He'll look out for you. Anyhow, if it's a low problem, you're looking after a four. And that guy seems to be having a bit of monster trouble over his farm. But I'm afraid that's all I know about. He didn't really say what sort of monsters they were. I'm sure it's nothing too dangerous. It's just a bit of trouble on the farm after all. This is all part of being a mercenary. People hire you to defeat monsters all the time. You have to weigh out their needs with your capabilities to decide if you're really up to the challenge. It's a simple life, but it's definitely a one one. A most worthy calling. Indeed! Seems like you've picked up a pearl of wisdom or two from my many tales, Bard! Oh, you may want to get on before he starts talking. I'm pretty sure you'll do fine. Oh, one more thing. Why, son actually ended over there a while ago. Check how bad the damage was, but he hasn't come back. His name's June, and he's a novice mercenary just like you. Why? No, not really. Probably just got scared and run off to hide somewhere. <gasps> If you run into him, would you talk to him, would you? Excellent idea! You can learn some basics of swordplay from young Jude while you're at it. Great swords are big and heavy. Wield them is all about your grip. That is to say, the best swordsman is not necessarily the strongest. You better go on, lass. You got to turn like sure I that's right. That's so normal. <laughs> that's so normal. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not good. I just moved everything. He looks like he's having a normal day. Ah, ah, oh, I thought you were my father. Don't scare me like that. Huh? Trouble at the farm. How do you know about that? Ah, uh, so father asked you to look for me. I mean, it's your mercenary too, right? Oh, I just fulfilled my life dreams of becoming a mercenary as well. They haven't since I was a kid. My father has told me stories of great mercenaries. Well, actually, it was usually Cervantes. He's a regular over the crown. He's got a drinking problem! He told me all sorts of tales about mercenaries. Trusty bridge in hand, fear of thirst and down, fear some beasts. I'm in truth through the forest. Over the desert, so across the ocean, even to great islands in the sky. I'm sure he made some of it up, of course, but everyone first knows from me. I never thought I'd want to be a great mercenary like that while. <laughs> Savanti's told you how Savanti can use a great sword from me. Oh man, he must have taken off master use of them already. Oh, but they're so heavy, I can barely lift one, let alone swing one. Oh, but wait, perhaps we could go there. Uh, sorry, what was your name again? Sunny, was it? Alright then, Sunny, follow me. Oh, I know the perfect place to practice. He is so normal, he's not doing okay. Rin, you have to breathe while talking. Make me. Wee. They're so normal. They are so normal. <laughs> Here we go. Off I am. Yes, it is. None of the quests actually take you out further than the um. They don't take you to the grassy plains or whatever. It's you're just stuck in here. Because it wants to show you the grassy plains in a cutscene first. This stone is known as the Proving Stone. Many, many mercenaries have used it to uh, hone their skills. So 
Svante has told me once that by breaking the stone with your blade, uh, you take the first step toward becoming a great mercenary. Uh, this sounds impossible, right? Well, he said there's a secret to breaking it. What was it he said again? Uh, I'm sure you just have to hold your sword out and go, yeah, or something like that. Why is his sword so much smaller than my big sword? It's no use. I can't remember it all. Oh, because he's just got the wrong one. Oh, the would held my hand, so I never actually tried to break it. Oh, no, be a real mercenary. So I'm glad to I am. I can't even teach you how to use your blade. What's all the... Oh, wait, no. This isn't me talking. Oh, I need medical attention. What's all the fuss? Who are you? Never mind who I am. You were making such a racket, I couldn't take my nap. Ah, the old proving stone. Still here, I see. You know about the stone? Mm, you could say so, I suppose. How about I show you two kids a little trick? First of all, your stance is wrong. Great swords require more technique than power. I also have a sword! Yeah! Great swords are slow but cause higher damage. You can attack pressing A in various ways. As you ranked up, you can trigger different kinds of attacks such as charging and sexual strikes. You need both hands, so no shields. That's how it's done! There's no way I can do that. You over there! The quiet one. Why don't you give it a go? You don't need that much power to wield a great sword effectively. The most important thing is your grip. Equip your blade, then come speak to me. <laughs> Dude ran off. He's very scared. Poor unfortunate soul. Sword. It's time for sword time. I! What do you want from me? You've equipped your blade. Good. Hold the sword as I showed you before, then try swinging it at that stone. You don't need to swing it that hard, but let the sword do the work. Okay. I wonder if she's gonna say, Yeah! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Hey! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Not bad! Oh, you broke it! That's incredible! Uh, oh, the quiet one's not too shabby with a blade. Not too shabby at all. Right, now I'm going to try and get some shut eye before anything else comes to disturb me. <laughs> anyway, bye. Huh. What's that about? Huh. Tara Vary was an old plushling. Well, anyway, I can't believe you actually broke that stone. I know. Why don't you come along and help me sort out the farm? What's up? What else you to do though already? Well, in that case, I don't need to explain. Oh, I took the job, but now I'm not sure I'm up to it. But I'm sure we'll be fine if we go together. Come on, Sonny, let's go over to Girl's Farm. He'll be okay, maybe, not really. Give me the dandelion puffs, please. It's mine now. Also, I'm stealing your eggs. I will make another egg roll. You can't escape. My level two dash! Here we go. He's just a little guy living in a big old world. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> it was just a carrot. The carrots that have somehow mutated and come to life. They're nothing but little pranksters. Pinkman would never pull a prank on you. Unless it was a really funny prank. Pikmin would only pull a prank on you if they knew you were going to laugh as well. They're kind-hearted. Fuck carroties. Maybe even I can do with one of these. I'M A CARROT! Yee! <laughs> <laughs> That's what... <laughs> Actually, perhaps I could... What did you do with them after all? Oh, oh, you'll get rid of them, sorry! Great idea! You can already use this one anyway, I'll just go to the start of the safe one over there and then give you a touch of the I'm sure we've heard something that's so much of him. I'm gonna go lie down. He's fine. Ah, Karen, kill it! I'm gonna fuck you up. Hey! Hey! Yeah! It's me, Link, from the Legend of Link. Ha! Get messed up. I got experience. <sighs> you did it. You're really something else, Sonny. A fight between man and veg. Ain't something you see every day. Oh, guys. I take that problem solved. Oh, yeah, everything I like to rise, Ryan. Oh, Ryan.
Okay, let's go to the I'm going to feel fucking like headed. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I need therapy. I need therapy. I need therapy. He's gonna be fine, maybe. Leave. There we go. Stay hydrated so you can do silly character voices for five hours in a row. This might just be about to become my new Pikmin, where it's like, aha! Scratches back of head. Aha, <laughs> what if? <laughs> do, 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 uh, do, do. Right. Time to go back to Alcoholics Anonymous. What do you want from me? Well, well, not bad for your first job. And I hear you broke the proving stone. Impressive. Uh, <coughs> I'm fine. I'm also a chain smoker. Don't worry about it. An old plushling showed us a trick doing it. An old plushling, you say? Yeah. Should seem to know about a lot of girls with greystones. Is he a friend of yours? Hmm. I wonder if it was him. He's come to drink! <laughs> uh, uh, it's horrible! He doesn't look sober! Basically! Oh yeah, okay, so thanks. Uh, yeah, I forgot to say before, but I'm right grateful for all your help. Um, no, no problem. Did you say something was awful? You're right! I oh, know I came over for something else. Tell me what that rise of me, so it's a fail of my friends, right? Oh, it's the West Castell! Is that so? Big game. B big game! Big game! Oh, very well, I shot right here. Why are you guys and yourself? No, it's right, I'm filling me to my bases. Hold on just a minute, Giles. Don't look at me, Mr. Francis. I'll be no use at all. Well, then, I guess this task falls to you, Sonny. Right. To be able to confront such a challenge on your first day as a mercenary, quite the achievement. What? You say so it's your first day as a mercenary? It's too dangerous, Francis. This is just a bunch of trust cast. This is a mean beast. It's gonna pay your fucking eyes out! Ah, oh, yes, but this young lass doesn't know the taste of fear. <laughs> She'll be perfect for the job! You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Go fight her, an ostrich! Oh no. Oh no, a royal is harassing the peasantry again. I'll go and get my guillotine again! What? <laughs> Listen up, sonny! Sometimes a mercenary must stick their very pride on defeating a monster. Especially vicious monsters like that that attack people. Indeed, they provide us with our own our very own raison d'etre. We mercenaries train every day, preparing to face such foes, and before you ask, that is the only French I know! So, what would you say a mercenary's greatest enemy is? Uh, do I go? Oh, oh I know. I got a vicious enemy to time for us. And our survey says Wrong answer! But this isn't a quiz show. I don't even think we have those yet. The year is 1066. You in particular should know the answer rather well, Jude. What are you feeling right now, lad? No, um, I guess... <laughs> fear? Ding dong! That's correct! Sonny, you still don't know true fear, which is why you are perfect for this task. When you stand tall and throw down your foe, or will you succumb to the depths of fear? <laughs> it really could go either way, but that's how I like to train my students. Just as an eagle may push her young out of the nest, so I shall set you on your way. Oh, so very much. However, I won't just push you out the door with no help at all. I have a special technique to teach you. Swing your sword more this time! Okay, this game definitely mistranslated knight as mercenary. No, because the paladin is a knight. I think we're just confused. Charge sword attack, that's great. Now, Sonny, take your blade and go and carve your own path in life! Like how it says on the box. It doesn't say that. Do I even have the box with me? I know I own the box for fantasy life! <laughs> it's here somewhere, surely. Jude ran off again. Good for him. Time to kill. Can I path- can I carve a path back to bed? <laughs> He's just a sleepy little beeper, Your Honor. I'm running into a hedge. Whee! Bah, 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 b
バラバーバーバー Right then. Oh boy, it's where that chicken I conversed with earlier lives. He is being attacked, but it's the same guy. It's just, it just ends up being the same guy. Oh, oh, please don't come any closer. Okay. Very threatening. This field is everything to me. Uh. Oh! The car sent you to help. Please protect my fields. I'm begging you. Uh, uh, oh, quite the responsibility you've been given. Oh, no, it's you again. What? I thought I'd come and help out this poor fellow, but perhaps I'll leave it to the younger generation this time. The life of a mercenary is full of great pressures like this. Can you overcome this foe? Wait! Ah, oh, another young hatchling. Sonny, let me help you. Two young hatchlings, one wanted rooster. An intriguing encounter. I shall watch with great interest. Yeah, I suppose I ought to offer some help. Here, take this. One HP potion. That's the wanted beast. I was just not ready for this after all. No, I am a mercenary. It says on my driver's license. I'm not running the way this time, sonny. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna fight. He needs to go on anti-anxiety medication. <laughs> this is not healthy. Ah! It's gonna <laughs> I'm a chicken and I've noticed your presence. Time to die. Um, actually. Yeah! I'll fuck you up. Get fucked up! Yeah! Hey! I'll leave the killing blow to you. I'm not helping. Nice. See, buddy, you did it. I win. I was shot mostly. Hmm. So you two young mercenaries managed to take down that razor beak. You did it! You saved my field! By the way, who is training you two youngsters? Ah, Cervantes, eh? Oh, looks like he's got his hands on a couple of promising talents. <laughs> you know Cervantes? You could say that. We were former lovers. Wait a second. <laughs> oh god, it's a sitcom again. Anyway, my name is Miguel. No relation to that other guy. I look forward to seeing how you progress. Once you've honed your skills, you can find me down in Almagic. God, everyone lives there, don't they? Port Porto this, Almagic that. That was great. You must know, sure are amazing. Thank you so much. My field is safe and it's all thanks to you. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. It's 500 bucks. Are you seeing a trend now? Are you seeing a trend in the rewards? Here we go. Jude is like a Pikmin. He is an unpaid, unpaid slave that would die for you. I live in fear. <laughs> He's not okay. And now it's night time. The music's good. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're back. You don't have to say a word. I can tell how it went just by the look on your faces. No, oh, I'm a prosy. You're still pulling yourself to help out. I oh, was so scared, but I was thinking all the tell the great mercenaries gave me courage. Speaking of the great mercenaries, that old plushling showed up again. Said his name was Miguel. What? That old beanbag is still alive? <laughs> but I already remarried! <laughs> oh no! You know, I thought I recognized his name when he told us. He's Miguel, the legendary swordsman. You know, friends, why I was supposed to find these. All like Jude and young Sonny here walking together to be him the strongest of foes. Eh, yeah, not, not quite. You know, a bit of rivals. Or maybe something more than that. Oh, really? Well, I'm sure it was more than free rivalry between two fellow mercenaries. <sighs> Let's move on, shall we? I don't know, discussing my ex. <laughs> Why is the only romance subplot I'm interested in the divorce subplot? Because <laughs> it's the most dramatic one. And to tell the truth, so I was actually thinking of giving up on being a mercenary. Is that so? Seeing Sonny fight so bravely reminded me of why I became a mercenary. 
This part also quite funny. It sounds great, must I have? Anyway, I've decided to give another shot. Well, of course you have. You are my student, after all. You may not be legend material, but I'm sure you can become a hero in your own right. that. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone sucks here. Of course you can. Even though I sound a little bit more confident than before. Don't be too soft on him. He's got a long way to go yet. You should use young Sunny as an example. Watch her tackle her first and you'll learn well. Sometimes a mercenary just has to be bold and take actions that seem reckless to others. But while it may look reckless, that must never be the reality of it. Hmm. She reminds me of myself when I was but a young whippersnapper. Mm, that's not true. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me for now. There's nothing left for me to tell you. Please? Oh, Mr. Vice. What is it? Ah, oh, yes, I completely forgot. Sunny! Let me evaluate how you got on today. Yeah. 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 We are so back. We are so back. We are so back. Wing. <laughs> Woohoo! Excellent. You should be proud. Looks like my instincts are still as sharp as ever. Mm, I can't fault your efforts today. I can happily certify you as a fully fledged mercenary. From now on, if you complete any quests, be sure to report back to me. If you earn enough stars, your rank as a mercenary might just increase. Anyway, fight me! Sunny, Jude! Both of you should aim to become the various greatest mercenaries! <laughs> and then he left my party. The start! <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. You don't need to use this. You don't need strength to use a, a great sword plus two strength class bonus. <laughs> don't worry about it. They're just confused. What do the game designers know? Ba, 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 ba. Do, 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 do. Spin, spin, spin. There we go. Na, 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 na. What do you want from me? Here we go. He's just asking me to drink. As a mercenary, you must always continue to fight bravely where others may falter. Never underestimate the importance of thorough preparations. If you're unprepared on the battlefield, you'll be sliced into dragon shell before you can do a thing. That is a threat! Okay. <laughs> yeah. We mercenaries take on tough enemies that those from another life dare not face. Unless you're paladin. A hunter? No, a wizard. Don't worry about it! Huge reptiles, gargantuan beasts, not anything about the souls! Are you quaking with fear yet, young'un? I'm pretty sure I've already fought them in past playthroughs. I'm not that scared. Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> young lady. Yeah, they look scared. We only wear it's one of the specials at this establishment. It provides a little boost of your strength. I it is worth use to you. Now go out and bring pride in the name of Oh boy! Roast Martin I could have made myself! Does he know? The most important stats for anyone using a great sword to strength them. <laughs> you don't need strength to wield a great sword. So it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we strike a good balance between them. Then again, I'm sure Master Nines will tell you something like it's all about the fighting spirit or something. It's okay. What does Juliet over here want? Um, excuse me, could I trouble you to, um, oh, what I mean is, uh, could I ask a favor? If you get me some meat, then chop some mutton would be great. You can get them on the grassy plains. I'm like, I'll pay you. That's 100 dosh sound. Okay. Buying meat from the meat shop is expensive, so I'd rather pay you to get it for me. Please just make sure to get the very freshest chops. Getting meat from the meat store is expensive. I will pay you to do it instead. Okay. Sure, why not? The meat shop is gonna go out of business. I feel like we have a word for that. Oh no. Right then. I've start okay, I've started mercenary, minor, and cook. I wanna do one more. Okay, I I Hmm. I'm cooking. Haha. -ha. I'm gonna do two more gathering lives and one more combat life. So let's do a gathering life now. It's time for me to change my life! <laughs> and the boots and the cats 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 and the boots and the... What do we want to do? 
We can do... Okay. Crafting life. We can do alchemist, tailor, carpenter, or blacksmith. I would rather get on blacksmith sooner rather than later, but it's your choice. Let's see. Spoon. <laughs> We've already been spoon. Yeah. Let's see. I'm sticking with Taylor. Taylor's... Hmm. Taylor's interesting. Hmm. Taylor is definitely an interesting one. You, you, it's, it's just kind of like the... Taylor is here for the people who really just want to do character customization. And I'm here for that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Blacksmith. Blacksmith... Blacksmith would be really good for me now, actually. Because if I'm a, if I'm a miner, a cook, and a mercenary, then blacksmith is going to be the, the life that's going to get me better tools. So you know what? Tee hee, ha ha hee hoo. Wahoo! Da -da -da, we're so back! Yup. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> right then. Congratulations, Sonny. Welcome to the blacksmith life. Uh, do stuff. Go crazy. Go stupid. Whee! By the way, also, I can do this. What do I mean I can do this? I can just, like, <laughs> I can just put on my normal clothes again. No one's gonna mind. No one's gonna care. I'll keep the hat on. Fuck it. I'll put my, my little pinafore apron back on. <laughs> my apron. There we go. Ah, right. Poing, 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 poing. Yes, I say bring. Computer also said poing because you know what? I'm, I'm keeping this damn thing updated if it's the last thing I do. It's like playing bingo. <laughs> oh boy. Right then. This is where the carpenter life, the tailor life, oh god, there's another one of you, and the blacksmith life are. Woohoo! Get ready for family drama! It's been a long time since anyone's come down to visit the old forge. The name's Vulcan, blacksmith and blacksmith master. Uh, but you can ignore him if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We forge everything here from regular everyday tools to battle armaments and deadly weapons. But you can't forge so much to fork without materials. I'm talking all ass. I also don't know where my accent's from. Once you've got that, it's only a matter of tampering into a finely crafted item. BAM! That's about the gist of it. What do you think? Sounds like a clanging good time, eh? You want to make a weapon? You want to make some armor? Hammer away! Boom! Bang! Crash! Sheesh, quiet down already. I knew I thought you were starting to sound like a real master. I know you're excited, but remember to turn down the volume knob a few notches. Honestly, your yelling makes me smith makes a smithy sound quieter than a library. Hammer away! Hammer away! Just like the legendary Iron Smith. Clang! Bang! Bam! Clang! Bang! Blam! It's all about channeling that inner fire into your work. It's the spirit that makes a smithy. Bang! Boom! Crash! Let's go! <laughs> of course, all that spirit isn't worth much without any order to forge. Ha ha ha! Here you go, lass. Your first tool of the trade. Treat it well. My toy hammer! It's also made of plastic. <laughs> With that hammer, you can bang any piece of ore into a useful ingot. No need to worry. This will only be the beginner's exercise. It's natural to be a little nervous. Don't worry. I'm not expecting much. <laughs> <laughs> I am prepared for you to disappoint me. Fyra will fill you in in the specifics. Fyra, you heard what he said. It's okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. Um, I'm getting worried actually it's someone normal in this game. <laughs> oh dear god. What do you want? Do it, Mom Pops. I would recommend wearing earplugs, trust me. He's passionate, but rough around the edges doesn't exactly inspire greatness, does he? I'm Farah, by the way, and uh, you're Sunnier. Nice to meet you, fellow armor sister. Boy, I can't believe he just gets your armor and expects you to make an ingot. Funny Pops was more master blacksmith and less master of embarrassment. Hammer away! Hammer away! Just like the legendary Iron Smith! Oh, brother, there he goes again. He's not even on the fucking anvil! <laughs> He's nowhere near it! 
He's just air blacksmithing. He's really putting his back into it. Bang! Boom! Clang! Bam! Boom! Clang! So he gets like this whenever he's really, really happy about something. I oh, bet he's just really pumped to have a new pupil after so long. Ugh, definitely. Hey, Pops! Mind saving it for after the tutorial? Aye, aye. Just hurry it up there, lass. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. All right, Sonny. Here, this is, is a, repi a recipe for bronze ingot. Bronze ingot. <laughs> Metal pipe falling sound effect every time he strikes the fucking anvil. <laughs> We're doomed. Think of an ingot as an ore that's ready to be turned into something. We in the Smith and Biz like to call this the metallic building blocks of earth. Stuff. If you ever need Castell Copper to make ingots, I think you can buy some in town. You might not like to pay the miners a visit too. They can give you the lowdown on finding ore. Mom, I think you don't realize that I am. Mining mines in my mine. Oh yeah, I was supposed to go talk down to Daniel at the mines about something important. But I'm sort of stuck helping Pop send things here. But say, why don't you go say I swim? You should find him down in East Castell near the mines. Yeah, da okay, Daniel. Damn, da Daniel is a an NPC associated with the minor life so is he going to pretend to recognize me even though i haven't spoken to him <laughs> here we go please tell me you still have the metal pipe falling sound effect button <laughs> tragically i did just load it up from youtube but i'll get it next time i'll get it for the next time it actually tuesday which is something i've committed to now like a madman Right then, is he going to pretend to know who I am? Now, see, the, the good thing about the minor life is you can just be going about your business and then you can be like, ooh, uh, oh. Oh, uh, hey. Castell Copper. I'm gonna need this. Oh, hey, Tumba. Hey, wait. Oh, you might be, might you be the legendary Ironsmith we've met. Ah, ah, I'm just messing around. The legendary Ironsmith is just an old tale. I've seen you running around, Castell. You're all Vulcan snow people, ain't you? Didn't think anyone would willingly be as people. I mean, you can scare the sun right out of the sky. Between Vulcan and Douglas, I don't know who scares me more. So true, bestie. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not shy, Daddy boy. What you just say about me? Vulcan and me are what now? We're uh, uh, talking about uh, how scary popular you two are. Is that right? Now that's one rock solid topic of conversation. <laughs> oh, but seriously, Douglas and Vulcan are one main team. There's a reason. There's a reason we call them the terrible twosome. Douglas minds the all, Vulcan tempers it. The result is all the tools and weapons everyone loves. Uh, anyway, what brings you here? What's up? It needs some more to make ingots. That sounds like Vulcan. Never order him before he runs out. Uh, no worries, it's fine. We don't mind helping out old Vulcan. I could have gathered this myself. <laughs> you ever need any more? Oh, there's plenty more around here. Nice chat with your old legendary ironsmith. Tell no, Vulcan we said hello, you eh? Ah, oh, hell yeah. What do you want? He's tired. Let's see. Yeah, just because I'm not in the in the minor life doesn't mean I can't talk work with him. <laughs> there are mining spots centered all over Rivaria. Want to know where? The moles could tell you. You can find moles just about anywhere too. Pop bottle, old Majik, anywhere. Go see him if you ever need any mining advice. Say true, bestie. Let's see. You can't report in when you're in the wrong life, but apart from that. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. There's one other thing you got to keep in mind when mining. Hit it just in the right spot and you can break apart even the hardest rock. And you know you've hit the right spot. You'll hear a louder clang like the normal, like, clang! Might be kind of tough to do it first, but a rock solid mine like you can pull it off. So, true, bestie? Okay. Bling! 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 I want to get my funny copper now. Because... See? See, that's not a that's not a blacksmith quest. That's a minor quest. And yet... Gestures vaguely. Here we go. It's about multi -t It's about Dandori. It's about Dandori. It's about... Uh, 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 we stay Dandori. We Dandori. Yes. <sighs> Delicious. Nutritious. Nectar. Nectar club card points. 
Here we go. Blacksmith is a good life because, yeah, it blacksmith and carpenter help a lot when you're trying to get new gear for other lives. Because you can just make it instead of buying it. Whee! Right then. Here we go. Welcome back, Sunny. Mission accomplished, I see. Oh, now let me see. Uh, that's great. It looks like we can make that ingot now. So, first we gotta melt down the ore. That gets, that gets rid of those nasty little impurities. The ore is then flexible enough to mold. We call this process smelting. With enough skill, you can make some serious quality stuff. Now, let me show you the basics of smithing. Yahoo! And then I learned how to use a hammer. It's basically cooking with metal. It's crazy. It's crazy. You can go ahead and make the and use the forgener and then use a forgener to make the ingot. Don't forget to equip your hammer. Oh hell yeah! Right then, me when I equip my hammer. Go! Ring. Now then, choose a recipe. Yeah, also high quality stuff just goes crazy. Oh yeah, you can make better stuff than they sell in the shops, basically, which is very nice. Here we go. Can't do it just yet, but I'll I'll make an iron ingot. Whee! Whee! Clang 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 clang. Whee! Oh god, I keep looking at the the screen on my OBS and not the screen on my 3DS because I'm a fool. There we go. That's why there's no uh, substitute for playing on the real hardware. I am pretentious. Bronze ingot complete. Nice. It really is just like cooking. <laughs> you put it in the water anyway. Hmm. You did it. I know the sound of success anywhere. And on your first try too. Bobs will probably call it so so. Oh, don't sweat it. So so is about as good as his evaluations get, so it's a compliment. He's got a weird way of expressing himself, as you've no doubt noticed. Anywho, that's how you make an ingot. Make enough ingots, and you'll be able to sell these bad boys in town and make some real dosh. Then again, using these ingots to make something else will make you buckets of dosh. But hey, you're your own blacksmith now. Sell what you want to sell, keep what you're going to keep. Yeah, accept that ingot. Don't sell it, Dread the box. <laughs> Why did you start by cooling it down and end with heating it up? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Game mechanics are storytelling. Oh, oh, finished. Let me have a look. Mm. So, so. Woohoo! You did it, Sonny! Didn't you hear me say it was so, so? What are Vario so happy about? That was a bit of wee ingot. The most basic of smithy basics. Oh, well, yeah. There are three kinds of smitten. Weapons, armor, and tools. I'll show you how, to, how you go about forging those. So, think you have the fire it takes to become a blacksmith? Didn't worry, it's simple. Even fire managed to get you the first time. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, uh, seriously, Pops? What was that, Farah? I said seri- I seriously can't wait for the next lesson, Dad! Oh, of course you did! So, shall we start with that? We weapons? Armor? Weapons. No, no, armor first. No, 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 definitely weapons. Ugh, Pops. What do you think, Fyra? Weapons? Armor? Oh, boy. Pops is never gonna decide on your training at this, right? Weapons! No! Armor! Uh, hey, Pop, I uh, uh, just remembered something. Well, you're supposed to help out Magnio with something today. Oh! Uh, blazing blazes, I completely forgot. Magnio asked us for a favor. She said she needed something special made. I promised out the last, but Fire and I are up to our next in customer orders. Say, uh, Pops, uh, in spite of my eyes, someone's got plenty of free time. Uh, you could lend us a hand, eh, Sonny? All you have to do is head to Magnus house and decline her offer. Ah! What? Decline it? Or, if you're feeling up to it, you could take on a request yourself. Do this for us and I'll call your fledging training done and dusted. Whoa. Hey, Sonny. This is quite the opportunity, you know. The client's lady named Magnia. I'll steal as her grandpa. Be careful, he's as stubborn as they come. I'm talking tungsten, t not the fucking tungsten. D Ma Fire, do not talk to me about tungsten. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I do not want to hear it. Why am I here? I do not want to hear this. Oh, no! <laughs> I fucking hate it here. I've got faith in Sunny Pops. She can totally handle the request. I don't care if it does get, if it gets done or not, but the sooner you get over there, the better. 
You won't want to start making all steel blowies top. <laughs> I can't do this. I swear to. By the way, secret red gloves. I can't believe this. I can't believe the fuck the. Everyone is so mean to me. <laughs> Everyone is a cyber bully. Name of game. Fantasy Life 3DS. <laughs> Where am I? I'm at Fantasy Life. I'm in the Fantastic Life. Dang, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, here we go. This is the house I came here for. Right then, what do you want? Hey! How are you? What do you want? Grandpa, stop! Don't be rude to our guest! I'm very sorry about that! Oh, he does it to everyone who comes in! Huh? What's that? Oh, you're Vulcan's pupil! Oh, thank the goddess! I'm so relieved! Vulcan did remember his promise! We hadn't heard from him in quite some time! I'd all but given up hope anyone would come! Say, Grandpa, why don't you get ready for your nap? <laughs> Sorry about it. What are you saying, girl? I ain't even close to being tired. I've got enough fire in my furnace to forge all armies worth of weapons. Oh my, where are my manners? I'm Magmia and this is my grandfather, Steel. That's so normal. Ah! Why would I be so bold as to ask you for a favor? You see, my older brother, Ignatius, has been a member of the Paladin Order for a hundred days. The poor dear has had to endure such strict training, so we wanted to send him a present. Specifically, a custom-made sword, so we paid old Vulcan a visit. Sadly, Grandpa was quite opposed to sending him any sort of present. If you were to make it, Grandpa would probably sh would be sure to come around by the time it's made. Ah, you with the face. Don't bother with this job. I'll never forgive that boy for just having to leave and... He was supposed to inherit the forge, not to be on some goody-goody tin can. Family drama. Family drama. Family drama. I'm getting involved in your personal life! I'll tell you this much. No, she is going to consider himself disowned. But Grandpa, we should really show him how proud we are of him. A hundred days is a lot. A hundred is a lot. I worked my beard off for over 20,000 days as a blacksmith. The boy abandoned his responsibility and ran off to the castle. Clear as day. And how many days have you been in a blacksmith? What? One day? Bah, you're as worthless as the boy. Grandpa. Can't disown this one, but I sure as cat can disown this for a hundred days. Now that's too far, Grandpa. That's not the Grandpa I know and love. Uh, is that right now? Then you're also disowned. I don't have any granddaughters. <laughs> what the fuck? Then make the stupid sword. You obviously care more about that than your old Grandpa. Say if I care. I'm going. If anyone needs me, I'll be at Harmony's. Oh, no. Oh, Grandpa. Ugh. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see that. He always gets like that. He, he always gets like that when we have, whenever we're at my brother. Here's the sword I'd like you to work on. Red sword. Dang, that's crazy. I was really hoping to send out the sword with Grandpa's forgiveness. I guess not. So, would you be able to help? It's not any ordinary recipe, so I'll go with you and help you find the materials. You're an up-and-coming blacksmith. It might help to it help me. me, me, me. I bit my tongue, ow! It might help to get to, to meet the shopkeepers. Sonny, how about we first try checking the material shops? We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Let me in! Huh? Iggy? Oh, hey sis. I thought I heard you in there. I was just about to knock when Grandpa came busting through the door. I haven't seen him start since I started paladin training a hundred days ago. I figured Grandpa would have gone to the crown, so I tried catching up, catching them there. And he wasn't there when you went? No surprise there. He always runs off in a half any time he sees you, Iggy. Uh, seems that way. Uh, sorry, sis. Oh, that's right. Th this is Sunny. She's a blacksmith. You wouldn't happen to be Grandpa's pupil, would you? No, no, she's not. Don't worry. Oh, no. I'm not jealous or anything. In fact, I'd be happy if Grandpa had a pupil. He hasn't taken on another pupil. No, because I ran off to be a paladin. Family drama! Family drama! Family drama on the Lifetime Channel! It's alright. Grandpa has me, so it's fine. So, so are you still on duty? Oh, no, no. 
I was actually coming to drop off a letter I wrote to Grandpa. Oh, so you gave it to him? Uh, not, not really. I, I tried to give it to him, but he just wouldn't take it. Finally, he snatched it from me angrily and went off saying he'd throw it away. Oh, no. Dang, bro, that's crazy. He went off to the crown, mumbling to himself. Who knows if I'll even read it. Oh, look at the time. You know, if I'm late getting back to my post, Captain Mustang's gonna have my head. See you later, sis. Okay, bye. Hey, yay, yay! Congratulations! Oh, I'm so sorry to have dragged you into our family squabble. I know Iggy might look tough, but he's carrying quite the heavy burden on his shoulders. That's why I thought it'd be appropriate to make him a sword that was extra light. Not to mention he's always complaining about how heavy a sword is. And then I remembered the recipe. It's actually one of Grandpa's special recipes. It's a very lightweight sword. Worth the feat of weaponsmithing. Grandpa says that the ironsmith himself showed him that special recipe. That's why I just have it made. Let's hurry to the shops. Oh, me oh my. Me when I hurry to the shops. Why do all of these people have drama? It's brilliant. Step right up, step right up. We've got all the ore for your smithing needs. Oh, there we are. Good ages. I'm trying to make a sword for my brother as a present and I need some materials. Do you have any, any high quality ingots? Of course, of course. Let's have a look at this recipe here. Mmm, says you need red, red ingots. Never heard of those. Oh, really? Huh? There's something scribbled in the margin here. Oh, it doesn't really make any sense, though. Oh, yes, I noticed that too when I saw it. A red ingot is just a bronze ingot after a temperament adjustment. A temperament adjustment? Well, I don't get it. But I suppose it sounds super important. Shrugs. This will never come up again. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, how much is that? I can possibly accept anything for this. I'll be more than happy to help out old steel. Just make sure your blacksmith friend there sh makes me her number one shop. My, well, that's very sweet of you and slightly manipulative. The only payment I ask is that this young blacksmith here comes back to my shop. I will bankrupt you, sir. Nice. Well, we didn't come what we found. We didn't find what we came here for, but at least we got a clue. Next, we'll need some animal hide. I just need a little bit more of your time. Let's go see the hunters. Ah, oh, hell yeah! I love destruction. Time to go speak to the hunter, Pete. Wee! Honestly, I'm just gonna say I've been waiting to play this goddamn game for so long on stream. I'm having a great time. Uh, imagine trying to stop me. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. I am but the littlest of dudes. I'm just a teeny tiny little guy who's living in a big, big, crazy world. Here we go. Hello, you. Well, howdy there, Magnia. Reckon you came to go on that picnic, girl? Hey, Pete. Uh, well, actually, I just came up to pick up that hide I asked for. Of course you did. Why would anyone have it at all, Pete? <laughs> Y'all are so mean to me. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> and your accent is whack. Yes, yes, that's it. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Ah, shucks. It ain't nothing. So, uh, about that picnic, Magamia. Oh, yes, that's just perfect. Hooey, I'm happy that they're, they're picking a slop. Why are you not talking about the date, are you? Hey, y'all over there. It ain't funny, bow brain. <laughs> Imagine getting laughed at for being singled by a sheep. He's got it rough. He's got it quite rough. <laughs> now don't make me get shears. Say. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Maria? Say, Sonny. <laughs> this man can't fucking win. Good. I've been thinking about the recipe. You know the writing? A red ingot is just a bronze ingot of... Yeah. What? I can't read. I might have dyslexia. A red ingot is just a bronze ingot after a temperament adjustment. Yeah, I think I got that one right. The handwriting looks an awful lot like Grandpa's. Maybe we should try asking him about this. He's probably at the Crown enjoying one of Harmony's shows right about now. I'd be grateful if you could join me in going to see him. Yeah, because he's getting fucking pipped. Don't worry about it. He's fine. Sanest old man. <laughs> oh no. From what I vaguely remember, Hunt and Pete was kind of pathetic. <laughs> 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 
You know, from what I remember, this guy fucking blows. <laughs> oh no. He's fine. He's not gonna be fine. He's fine. He's not okay. He's fa- Shh. He's gonna be okay. Here we go. Right then. Thank you! You're too sweet! That was a little song I like to call the Iron Smith of My Heart! Afraid that about does it for me, folks! You'll make sure to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your stay! Oh god, there are idols in this game. It's actually over. I can't. Don't look at me. Don't perceive me. I'm more famous than you, Harmony. <laughs> That's strange. I don't see Grandpa anywhere. Harmony's platoon? <laughs> well, no, if it doesn't make me a sorry, but the old man isn't here. Oh, really? Was this always what I sounded like? It's a darnest thing. So I'm right in the middle of Harmony's set. I wonder why. He's our number one fan. She's his Oshi. <laughs> Tell me about it. It doesn't look like the other stage is one. Just came in somewhere. Grandpa. Sonny, do you think that letter might have been Iggy's? Okay. It's literally a wild goose chase. There's probably a goose in this game. You know, Sonny, I got the feeling Grandpa isn't going home anytime soon. Still I worry about where he went. I have no clue where he could be. Plus, there's no way to ask him about the red ingots. Ugh, look at this. Where did this thing come from? It's like it's going close to death. A fine blade. A fine blade continues to burn with power even away from the furnace. Legendary Ironsmith saying number 42. Pattern pending. Ugh. Got a problem getting a sword made, eh? I can tell. I've got a sixth cent about these things. Um, you wouldn't happen to be the legendary Ironsmith, would you? Is what Sunny is probably wondering. That is correct. I am indeed the legendary Ironsmith in the flesh. You're older than I thought you'd be. Is what Sunny is probably thinking. What? A legend ain't defined by his age. <laughs> It would appear you two both seek the knowledge to create a red ingot. Yeah. I can give you that knowledge, however, it will take about a year to master. You two are in a rush, are you not? Yes, we are. Today's my brother's 100 pairs of pals, and you see. Hmm, in truth, I possess a faster method of creating a red ingot. Hand me those ingots you have in your bag there. Here you go. I'm gonna throw them into the sea! Mm, yes. Good thickness. Now, be careful. There's going to be a lot of sparks. One must listen to the metal and understand the, the shape it wishes to become. Legendary Ironsmith number 17. Pattern pending. Now, witnesses, I pour my ferocious rage into pure smithing mastery! Neither of us are standing back at all. Behold, these bronze ingots are now red ingots! Dang, bro, that's crazy. Who is this guy? What? Amazing. Still doing amazing. Size was amazing. Campaign. Here you are, take them. Now away with you. With that you will be able to forge a custom sword lighter than the air itself. Oh there it won't be easy, especially for a one on one day on the job greenhorn blacksmith. So, scared yet? That was probably morbidly specific. How do you know that's sunny? Wait a minute. Well, I'm the legendary Ironsmith. I just know these things. Right, of course. I'm off, Ironsmith. Away! Dang, bro, that's crazy. How in the world do you forge on the floor? What's this? You dropped something. It looks like a letter. Must have dropped it away. Was ever away like a million. I'm a costume competition I've come from. Oh, sick. Now I'm all the way around. Yes, you was a guy. I knew it. This letter. It's, it's, it's Ignatius's letter. Why would the Ironsmith have this letter? Is what I'm thinking, Sonny. Anyway, let's see what it says. Dear Grandpa, I'm really sorry about not becoming a blacksmith like you wanted me to. Even now, I can't help but think about all the things you've said. What did you tell me? Fear of failure leads to failure, wasn't it? Not a day goes by when I'm not thinking about how I might fail. 
Still, whenever I think about what you said, for some reason, I just feel like I can keep going. You're really angry that I quit in the middle of my blacksmith training. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I'm not quite sure myself why I did it. But I'm a paladin now, and I'm going to give it all my got. I won't stop at 100 days. I'll keep going all the way to 20,000 days. I see how much you've achieved as a blacksmith, and I want to do the same for myself as a paladin. Grandpa, those are my honest-to-goodness feelings. I do hope you've read this letter. Your grandson, Ignatius. I can't read, though. I'm illiterate. <laughs> Reading this letter must have changed Grandpa's mind. He's so stubborn, he couldn't just be upfront about it. That's why just now... No, never no mind. <laughs> Denial! Denial! This <laughs> what's out of the words. Oh, God. Well, we weren't talking to you, Bill! Well, it looks like you've got some work to do. Shall back some Vulcan's Vulcan workshop. I don't want to get in the way, so I'll be waiting back at my place. Why do all of you have family drama? Or divorce drama? Chef didn't have family drama, he just had drama. Oh, no, actually, I think he just had a medical condition now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, God. I love that everyone and everything in this name has topical names. You are, like, destined for life based on what your name is. It's incredible. Oh god. I honestly never heard of this game, but it has piqued my interest. A fantasy life sequel when is it and is it coming out on the Switch? By the way, the character voices are so excited to make <laughs> me lose brain cells, thanks a lot. You're next. You're next. <laughs> fantasy Life I is the name of the funny sequel to this. It's meant to be coming out by the end of the year. But we don't have a release date and it's the beginning of October, so I'm I'm thinking early 2024, personally. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be on the Switch, and I'm going to cry. Nice. Well, well, how did it go? Got the recipe you got there. Why was this commissioned again? Something about 100... Uh, something? Anyway, this one's not as simple as a bronze ingot. Didn't you forget... Uh, yeah. Didn't you get your forge in a fervor if you mess it up? Before you start, though, you need to learn how to forge weapons. And then I learned how to make a sword. Fyra, explain it to the lass. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, all right, allow me to explain. Well, consider this part of your blacksmith qualification test. There is a written portion as well. This will be on the exam. I know you're probably nervous, but don't sweat input you back into it. Don't worry, Sonny, just relax. I can do it if I try. Maybe. Right then. I have my funny bronze ingots. It's time to begin. Go crazy, go stupid. Boo, 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 boo. Here we go. Sometimes the button presses get a little bit confused, and that's okay. Boy, 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 boy. Ah, yes, it was so difficult for a novice blacksmith like myself. Da, 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 da. Slay. You did it! Let me have a look. This is better than so-so. It's okay. Whoa, you made an okay sword. Congrats, Sonny. I'm sorry, I was driving myself mad with worry. So how's it coming along, Sonny? How's it coming along? Well, why not have a look for yourself, lass? You mean, you did it? That's right. The first custom bronze sword ever made in this workshop. It's yours now. Thank you so much, Sonny. I bet Iggy will be more motivated to keep up with his training than ever. Who were you again? Wait. <laughs> oh, God, I'm tired. <laughs> it's midnight. <laughs> yeah, you mind if an old man butts in real quick? Grandpa! I think Iggy will love this okay sword. <laughs> well, well. Oh, man, steal himself. Come to complain at a storm, have you? Let me have a look at that sword. Oh, Grandpa, you do care a little bit after all. Oh! Oh! Oh, Grandpa, what are you doing? We went through all that trouble. Stop that right now. Knock that off, you nutty old man. Ah, there we go. 
adjusted to the hilt for better grip and narrowed the blade for better balance. Now that's the Grandpa Iggy and I know of love. Reminds me of when you used to show Iggy how to use a hammer. So, Grandpa, I bet you forgive Ignatius, don't you? What? Who said anything about that? I won't forgive him until he makes it today. 200,000. 200,000. Do humans even live that long? <laughs> the family reputation rests on it. That's about as close as a yes you'll ever get out of him. Hmm, still, this here is quite the hot little sword. Listen here, Sonny. Fear of failure leads to failure. Remember that. You've still got a long way to go, but I like the cut of your jib, kid. You can't just make weapons all day. Let me show you how to make some armor. Yeah! That would be 50... That would be like 550 years. <laughs> He's still going at it. Don't worry. If you need me, I'll be at the crown. And with that, away! <laughs> me ending all of my streams with, and with that, away! Away? Sounds a lot like the Ironsmith. That's probably what Sonny's thinking, I bet. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. My brother is going to be so happy. Oh, before I forget, here's your payment. Can you guess what this is going to be? Can you guess how much this sword was worth? <gasps> it's a 500 dosh. Damn, bro, that's crazy. I'm off to the castle to give him his present. We'll be able to celebrate his 100th day in the order. And it's all thanks to you all. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know. Kind of why the important day is some... Uh, but I'm happy it worked out all. Thank you, accent man. Very cool. Okay, come here and let's see how you fared. Yeah! Yeah! Here we go! New music! We are so back! We are so back, boys! Oh ha ha! Oh ha ha! Oh ha ha! What's that? Am I ring? Yes, I am. It's me, the funny letter F. Woo! And now I can make other things as well. From this day forward, you're a fully fledged blacksmith. Complete laugh challenges, and you will receive these things called stars. I think you've already been through this tutorial, but I don't care. You'll rack up quite the amount of stars as you continue to grow as a blacksmith. Those stars are the case of improving your smithing skills. Keep on earning stars and your blacksmith license will rank up. As you rank up, you'll also learn lots of new recipes and perhaps a few techniques as well. Keep aiming to fill up that license. You can come and check in at any time. If you think you've earned enough stars, come on back and talk to me. I'll take a look and decide if you have enough to rank up. That's the basic game mechanic in this entire game. Oh, one last thing. Won't be much of a blacksmith you can make your own tools. And then I learned how to make a needle. Good morning, Rin. Ignore me. Ignore the time. It's definitely not accurate. 200 play coins! You might be my pupil, but you're definitely a so-so kind of lass. Don't go giving up that armor. What do I mean? What? Yeah. I think I swallowed an inger. Oh, Jesus, shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, hell yeah. Saving your previous game while well, I, oh, yeah, will. Do, 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 <laughs> Oh, dear lord. Now that you're a blacksmith, I'd like to commission some divorce papers in the shape of a hammer. Let me know your rates. <laughs> oh, good god. <laughs> oh, no. Would you happen to be a Minecrafter by any chance? What do you want? Wahoo, you did it! Congrats on getting your license! From here on out, you can count on me to give you the best smith and support in Castell! Well, best in this forge, anyway. Huh. Oh, Pops is the kind of person that thinks I do nothing but goof off and doesn't take me seriously. Hmm? Pops? He's over there by the forge. <coughs> Correction, the, uh, Lao guy by the forge. Seriously, you didn't know he was with Pops? I've been calling him Pops this entire time! That's just, like, I think that's dialogue for people who skipped the tutorial. 
I know in the uh, the tutorial for the mercenary life, if you uh, just decide to skip it, then Savanti will just keep talking at you for like several hours. It's beautiful. Let's get let's start off with some of the basics, shall we? You can't forge anything without ingots, and you can't make ingots without ore. Ingots are a blacksmith's best friend, so it pays to have a lot of them around. Yahoo! I can make something. I can make a funny ingot. Fantasy life through the 3DS port. <laughs> then if you make enough ingots, you can eventually slay. By which I mean you can eventually make them without having to do the funny mini game. Which gets you that experience, but uh, fuck it. Sometimes you just need to save the time and you're a hundred hour let's play a fancy life for the 3DS. Oh god. I did it! Wah! Miraculous. And then I did it. Nice. Hello Rin, I think this might be my first time chatting. And what a good time it is to be chatting in the- <laughs> Right, let's actually get started and do some actual any progress whatsoever. I can make a needle, that's it. That's why I was important to get those straw threads, baby! Blacksmith makes tools for the... Okay. The blacksmith life. The miner. The sewing guy, the tailor. Oh god, I'm so good at this. Whee! Oh my bad, oh my bad! Paladin, yeah. Paladin, mercenary. Not the woodcutter. Pi... Paladin, mercenary, miner, blacksmith, and, and and tailor, and chef. There we go. So I think it's the most useful life if you're doing other stuff. Carpenter makes stuff for the carpenter, obviously. The hunter, the magician, the yeah, the wood cutting dude. Doesn't make it for the alchemist. Alchemist makes their own thing because uh. A, a damn bro, that is crazy. I'm learning in my fantasy life. Wow. Welcome to my 55 part video tutorial on fantasy life. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Listen, man, I'm just the biggest fantasy life stand this side of Idle Corp. You need to just let me, just let me have this. God, I've just come off of one enormous let's play and I'm immediately going on to the next one. Here we go. Bronze ingot! We're so back. <laughs> Hope you're ready for leveling in commentary once you get high enough in smithing. Oh, yeah. But I did memorize the recipe. I do know that you just gotta put ingots in and you get ingots out. It's incredible. What else can I make? Nothing! Also, for some unknown reason, the blacksmiths are the one who make leather armor. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, buddy. Yeah, for this I'll need some other stuff. I can just go and get that now. Hello? Level up? Ahahaha. Uh, I like putting my stuff into luck first, just so I have the most... The most chances to get lucky. Because I am, in fact, up all night. I'm incredibly sleep deprived. Oh! This might be... One situation where I do some stuff off screen for this funny game. Wood shop. <laughs> Just because a lot of it is going to be grinding for funny, funny things. I'm gonna do carpenter next time. Leather string. Animal hide. This ratio. Do, do, do. This guy sells animal claws, I believe. Uh, where are they? There they are! Also, you can just buy shit, so uh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Ah! Here we go. I might do some of the, like, leveling up the funny lives progress. In the funny, in the, in the on my funny own. I mean, there are, you know, missions that are just mine 50 things of copper. That's gonna be. I'm literally gonna be mining off screen. We're so back. You got animal hide from my skills. 
Kill him with kindness. Wrong! Bronze Claymore! <laughs> Here we go. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, but I do like Blacksmith because it is one of the lives where you can actually make your own tools. Very fun. Here we go. Here we go. To be fair, a lot of the gameplay I'll be missing out on if I do decide to do that is... It's just this. I'm just going to try and level up Blacksmith at least because I may as well. Don't worry. Kindness is the name of the sword. <laughs> Actually, speaking of swords, I made a good quality sword there. Think about that if I go into my uh, gear. Quality does affect how good a sword is. This would normally be a little bit weaker. I believe it would normally be about 20 attack. But because it's an okay-ish, it's, it's, it's that bronze quality. Bronze! 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 <laughs> I make the tools so I can use the tools. <laughs> yeah. Basically, that's an incentive for you to actually make good things. Because now I'm very cool and good, actually. How many stars am I going to need for... The amount of stars you need for each life isn't the same. I will just say that right away. I will make a bronze pick... No. If I make a bronze hammer right away, it's probably not going to be very good because it's a high level recipe. But fuck it. Whee! Well, shit. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We are so back. We are so back. There we go. Bronze hammer complete! Fantastic, you made a good quality item. There we go. I can equip that now and it's going to upgrade my ability to be cool and awesome and, and, and sick nasty. There you go. Smithing stat upgraded. How many stars do I need? How many do I have? And what am I doing? And where do I live? Oh, it is 400. Okay. 60... I'm halfway th Wait, am I already there? Hold on. 200. 350. 380. Oh, I can already level up! <laughs> that doesn't feel normal. I'll do it anyway, though, for the stat boost. The stat boost? The stat boost. Woohoo! I did it! I know mathematics! Wahey! We're so back. We're so... We're definitely something. Right then, where are my little little things that say that I'm an apprentice and therefore really good at the fancy life? For the Nintendo 3DS! Here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? We're getting... We're doing God's work in here. Pring! Yes! Yes! And now I can make cooler shit. Well done! From now on you'll be known as an apprentice. Starting to get used to the swim arm, alright? I'm trying my best, sir. And now I can make even doper shit. For example, iron ingot that I don't have the ore for. Hmm. Actually. I'm going to make... Snake skin. Dang, bro, that is absurd. Oh, I can't make my pickaxe because I ran out of everything. <laughs> I'm going to make a leather cap because uh, I was really... I was really just not doing very well when I was fighting those monsters earlier. And literally anything will be better than the fucking default hat. The default life hat. I think the only things that really give you a good defense boost in terms of default life gear is... Oh, I did pretty good there is the stuff of combat live, so this isn't going to help. Whee! There we go. Let me in. 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 Look at that. That's a hat. Whee! I could kill a man. And you know what? Maybe I will. Right then. Okay, I said I was going to do two more. I lied. I'm sorry, I don't have time. <laughs> I, I've i been promising myself for the last few days that I'll go to bed at 3am and it's nearly half past 12. 
No, it is. It's it's past half past twelve now. So you know what? Dinner time is at one. Therefore, I have half an hour left. Let's fucking go. Okay. Mercenary, miner, chef. Okay, so I want to do carpenter, tailor, or alchemist, I think. No, I don't. No, I don't. I said I wanted to do a combat life. Okay, combat or magician? I keep calling it wizard. <laughs> it might be that American version. I don't remember. Potion seller. We'll do potion seller next time. There will be a next time, whether you like it or not. Hunter. Okay. I did it! Get ready. Get fucking ready. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. You can like hear the gears in the guild in the guild hall. That's nice. I just remembered that. Here we go. Skablam. Welcome to the thing, you did it. Go see your guy. Or is it? We can do this. You became a frog! <laughs> I'm blending in with the fauna and flora. There we go. Put this back on. Now I am strong. Why does the hunter not have gloves? Please. <laughs> Why does the hunter have a claymore? This won't be the case for long. Okay then. I'll finish up the, 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 the funny thing for this. And then I'm going to eat pasta with fish. I'm evolving. <laughs> so I, yeah, I think next time we're going to focus on getting the rest of the lives started. Because it's better to just have... It's best to have everything at fucking like fledgling or whatever. So you can actually go out in the world and you can chop down trees and you can mine and you can craft whatever you need to. <sighs> it's just good to get these things started. Hello, this is the hunter lady. Also, it's night time. Huh? What do you want, kid? What? You want to be my pupil? Maybe you should skip the introduction cause it's 1am and it is getting late and you are kinda hungry, kinda sleepy. Nuh uh. Huh, <laughs> sorry kid. I don't take, a take on anyone. Not unless I really have to. What? The guild offer sent you? Well, in that case, I suppose I have no choice. Huh. <sighs> Fine. I guess you can have this. It's a piece of- it's a stick. That doesn't even have- Oh my god, she gave me a bow that doesn't even have a, a fucking drawstring on it. That's incredible. <laughs> Thanks, Fern! I'm really appreciating that. Do you know what it is to be a hunter? It's a life of freedom. It means living with nature, but nature is harsh, and sometimes you must fight it. If I take you as my pupil, and that's a big if, first, you'll need to prove yourself using that bow. What? You don't even know how to use one? Do you even play my free mobile game with microtrans- Sheesh. Well, maybe you should go and see Pete- Oh god, this is about hunting Pete, is it? It's over. He's my other pupil, if you can call him that. He should be training at the sheep pen about now. I don't have friends. They disappoint me. That's the vocal direction I'm going with. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. Alternatively, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> nice. Also, I'm just gonna take this guy's quest now. Drop it, show me if you feel hungry. I could go for an apple or two, but I'm real particular about my apples. Could you bring me back 10 Castell apples? They're my very favorite. You shouldn't have to go far. Check the trees around Castell or on the grassy plains. In time, I'll give you 10 oak logs and 200 dosh, okay? Yeah. That's 10 that Castell apples, okay? Much obliged. Pom, that's the default name for the rookie in Pigment 4. I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh god, it's a cowboy! <laughs> what? What are y'all doing? Interrupting my yawning like that. You're looking for a trainee hunter? Well, that'll be yours truly. That you can call me Hunting Pete. 
Oh, Miss Ferns, we're not only hunting partner. Pleased to meet you, buddy. Miss Fern and I ain't on Miss Fern ain't ordinarily on the habit of taking on trainees. Well, something may cost. Yeah, so you're wanna be a new hunter in town. Sorry, Pally, you may as well give up already. So many all of it mess miss me. Well, she's my tough and storm to boot. Folks say she's the best hunter in the kingdom. The king even made her god of the world gardens. She's cool. I don't look her. I mean, folks say she is. I'm definitely not thinking that. But if I was, it wouldn't make it any better. <clears throat> Anyhow, she keeps to herself. She ain't interested in the company of anyone else. Pete, stop that jibber jabber. Uh, yes, Granny. I was just trying to settle this gal's nerves is all. She might be all, but Granny Cotton's got some big ol' ears. <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Anyways, I'm mighty glad to have a fun hunt pal and all. And this front tones away any folk that's looking to become a hunter. Empl unemployment as a, is at a record high. <laughs> For me, I'd, t I'd be taking them all on. Make myself a fortune, I could. Despite the fact that we had to give money and equipment to all of our new trainees. Brilliant. Huh? How'd I get to be a trainee? Well, you see, I got to me some connections. A hunter of the kingdom got a certain ring to it, don't I? So I pulled as many strings as I could. Speaking of pulling strings, y'all don't know how to use a bow yet, right? Brilliant. Well, you came to the right place. I'll show you. I'm bored stiff training anyhow. And then I learned how to hunt! Yay. With a bow, you can kill people. We will not show an image of a, a, an arrow going straight into a, a woolly sheep's brain. But you'll see it soon. We're so back. Press A to perform a regular attack. You can use cool stuff later. We'll teach you. Let's get started. You better, y'all better equip your bow first. I know you're like one person, but I'm gonna say, I'm still gonna say y'all. The royal y'all. Okay. Let me in. Bow! The, the way my attack fucking drops. <laughs> oh no. Why the accent? Cause he's a cowboy from the Texas in the ranch with the horse. Nice, looks like you're all geared up pretty good. Let's start with that there, Tolerant. I thought I was just gonna zoom over to the grandma for a sec. Oh no. You know, hard to believe it now, but I couldn't even hit a target right on my first try. So don't y'all be wanting too much when you miss. Strong wet. So? It's fucking dead! <laughs> My man no longer exists! Oh no. It's okay, I can put you out of your misery. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Gorgeous. Brilliant. This is gameplay. Woo! Woo! And I mean that. <laughs> Whoa! Well, are we darn? Y'all are pretty good, ain't you? I thought y'all would have had some trouble seeing as that was first, your first time and all. I'm really starting to question this man's overuse of the word you all. See that, Pete? Perhaps you ought to be the one practicing. Me? I don't need no practice, Granny. I'm, I'm just here saving it for the right moment. Sure you are. Anyway, whatever happened to that fellow who came staring in a while back? Mm. Oh, yikes. I completely forgotten about him. He said he needed something to drink, so I gave him that old jug there. It's full of salmonella. Seems drank his fill, then he, he drank his fill, then dozed right off. Doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Pete, he's fucking catatonic! Anyway, he seems like he's on a uh, he's a hunter like us. I wonder who he says. Are you okay? <laughs> he's going through a medical emergency. It's happening. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's okay. I have some in my inventory. Please let me in. I could resurrect this man on the spot. And yet. Rip in spaghetti and never forget. <laughs> I don't think they have spaghetti in this world. <laughs> what? It's clapped from hunger. So that's what it was. I thought I was needing something to drink. Why is he asking for honey? Honey's full of energy, Pete. It gets you on your feet again right away. When your belly's not empty, eat honey aplenty. It's an old hunter's rhyme. Surely it's not that film. Anyway, there's no time for this. Go, go and fetch some honey and make it quick. Right, sunny, wasn't it? Come on, let's go and find some honey. I bet y'all are wondering why Honor is looking out for is alive and looking for honey. I'm not surprised, but hunting bees ain't a, ain't a hunter's job, only job, you know. You gotta hunt for all sorts of other things, too. Honey, eggs, wild mushrooms, tax loopholes. It's all part of being a real hunter. Y'all are in the forest looking for something, and sneaking skill comes in real handy. So you can sneak, but statistically, based on all my past playthroughs, I'm not gonna do that! <laughs> I probably won't. You can just walk slow. What? No, Annie is not to steal nothing. So you can sneak by enemies unnoticed. Oh, he's not beating the tax. He's, he's not beating the tax fraud allegations. He's stealing money from the government. And if they do notice you, then y'all use your bow and take him out in one. Right then. I'm sure I saw Ernie coming to tree somewhere on the road to the grassy plains. Let's check it out. I see Fantasy Life 3DS. I sub and member. <laughs> Fantasy Life fans eating eating honey to fill their stomachs, apparently. <laughs> I already have honey. I already have six honey. I've done this before. Please let me in. Please let me in. Oh, no. To be fair, I was expecting less people to know what a fancy life was. So I, I've been pleasantly surprised by this. Did you know? Camera angle change. I didn't find this out for years, by the way. Whee! <laughs> L and R button. Go! Right then, let's see. There it is, just like I thought. Now stand back. Time for hunting Pete to show y'all how it's done. What the? I'm an angry bee. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna. By the way, the um the fun thing about the tutorial is you can just give up and use a knife, <laughs> which statistically is quicker. See, look how fast he fucking died. Woohoo! <laughs> Rin is filling the DS game ne streams niche. You haven't even seen the stack of games that are on my desk right now. Dr. Kawashima's brain training! Soon. You got the funny honey! Woohoo! Y'all weren't expecting that, were ya? Things like that always happen in the wild, you know. Huh? Can take him out in one shot. Well, sometimes that happens and all. Best not I'll be telling this friend about this. Anyways, we got the honey. Let's go- let's hurry back into the sheep pen. I would apologize for- Honey, I didn't even shake it down for the fucking tree. And I pressed the Animal Crossing button. Whee! Going to gather more spring water because it becomes useful. I believe in the alchemy life, and also drinking water is good, and you should do it. Right then. Off we go. Apples for Guy. Dandori is multitasking. You can't stop me if you dreamed. And also, I'll get those for later. Okay, off we go. Hello, sir. It's okay to be alive, real. Here we are. How's this? Handed over grass and honey. Well, I might have tested that myself. Damn, why did he get a straw? It's honey. <laughs> My guy is dying. Mm, much better. Yes, I feel much better now. Thank you both. Uh, no, no problem, mister, but how do y'all end up like this? Y'all is a plural! You're talking to one person! Hmm, why 
while I was hunting something in the forest, then all of a sudden... What? You're hunting something that strong! No, no, I never found the creature. I collapsed for an entirely different reason. My tummy was hungry. I'd been tracking it through the forest for three days. I was so focused, I, uh, well, I forgot to eat. Me, when I play Fantasy Life for the Nintendo 3DS. I ate one yogurt before the stream! What? What sort of hunter does that? And they all had me worrying about monsters. Well, yes. Sometimes I get so absorbed in the hunt, I made these sorts of, uh, misadjustments. You two are both hunters, are you not? Surely you've had similar experiences. <laughs> it's my first day on the job. <laughs> I'm underqualified. Of course we ain't. We got so distracted they forgot think they forget about eating. Pokes fingers together. And besides, this here gal's only just picked up a bow. Oh, is that so? Well, welcome to the life of a hunter. As thanks for fetching me that honey, I'll teach you a useful beginner's hunter's technique. Fuck up your enemies! Do it! Do it! Hold the hold the A button! Do it! Poison them! Poison your enemies! Electric shock your enemies! Sleep your enemies! Mess them up! It's over! Why not try it out on a real hunt? There's a hootwink around here, if I'm not mistaken. A hootwink! It's a type of forest owl. Owl feathers are seen as a sort of trophy among, hun among hunters, you know. I know that, but where can we find it? I'm sure I saw it on my way here. Somewhere around the Castell Forest, I think. I was after a different beast, so I didn't take it on. It Maybe it's a foe for a young novice, but if you're brave enough, it might be worth a shot. Reckon my moment's finally come. Hunting Pete's time to shine! But it'd be a mighty risky to go hunting without telling this friend first. Who else is gonna call the coroners? Ah, <laughs> uh, best go and see her. See y'all later! Okay, bye! Owls are going to go extinct. <laughs> it's over. I am actually gonna re-equip my bow. And the reason for this is I like leveling up my skills like a silly little creature. And also, you need to upgrade your skills to like a certain level before you can use some gear. So I think, yeah, like how I had the iron gear before, I won't be able to use that until my mining skills like level two. Poor example. Hey, Sonny, that guy's okay now, right? Pete told me all about uh, all about what happened, kid. That man you helped, his name is Fletcher. He's an inspiration for many a young hunter. His name is well known throughout Rivaria. Wow, I had no idea. That's because you don't listen to anyone. <laughs> he used to be the guard of the Royal Gardens, always attending the king on his hunting trips. However, nowadays it seems he wanders Rivaria, hunting down fearsome beasts. How do y'all get to know him if I don't mind if y'all don't mind my asking? Well, I uh He's just an acquaintance, really. Anyhow, enough about Fletcher. A hootwink may prov prove a troublesome foe for you two novices. So if you manage to take it down, even I'll have to admit that you have the makings of a decent hunter. Also... Did y'all hear that, Sonny? Let's go see who's got what it takes! The winner will be whichever one of us can bring down the hootwink first. The early bird catches a worm, even though it's midnight! See y'all later! OMG, they were also dating. <laughs> Everyone in this game is either separated or divorced. It's beautiful. <sighs> I really wasn't done talking yet. Same old Pete. He's either too lazy or too hasty. Hi, I teleported in. Granny Cotton, I didn't see you there. Yeah, probably because it's midnight, you dunce. He's a good kid deep down, but sometimes he gets lost among his bumbling foolery. That's a bit harsh, even by my standards. He's got a big mouth too, and he's more than a little big-headed. Um, I'm not sure where you're going with this. <laughs> Holy crap, Granny teleports behind you. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> the point is, that boy's groundless self-assurance is stopping him from furthering himself. It'd be good for him to suffer a setback now and then, and this seems like a good opportunity. Sonny put an arrow through his fucking leg. <laughs> y'all know I used to be a hunter like y'all until I took an arrow to the knee. 
Am I just on my old meme phase as well? My life is colliding on the, in on itself as I speak. It's brilliant. I agree, but no matter how much I shout at him, lately it doesn't seem to bother him at all. I have an idea. Let's go get him a hearing aid. It might be a sign of deafness. <laughs> what if we have young Sonny here by his, be his hunting rival? I know a little technique I could teach you. Fucking tranquilize him. Go off, girl. This seems like a crime. <laughs> it's a useful technique that can help you defeat enemies, even if they seem too powerful for you. Ah, I see. This might just do the trick. So, how about it, Sonny? Think you can defeat the Hootwink before Pete? Oh, and there's one more thing. I want you to promise something, Fern. If Sonny's successful, I want you to officially make her your pupil. What do you say? First the king, now you too, Granny Cotton. I can't very well refuse, can I? <sighs> I guess I'll just have to break my own rule. It's a deal, Sonny. You want to go along too, Lucky? That's not a bad idea. Sonny, you should take Lucky along with you. Hootwinks are very good at hiding themselves, so Lucky will be handy to have around. He'll be able to sniff it out. Dog attained! Dog attained! We're actually so back! We're actually so back! Ah uh, yeah! Ah uh, yeah! Woo! It's time. Hello, important character for later. <laughs> mushroom. Forest mushroom. Right then. Mmm. I was sure I'd find one around here somewhere. Ah, Sonny, take your sweet time. Y'all take your sweet time getting here. I ought to go look around, but there ain't no wings here in, the, in this area forest. Y'all don't believe me, feel free to take a look around with the pooch there. Reckon I'll find one somewhere around the grassy plains before y'all find anything. See y'all around. But actually, I think you'll find Mr. Hunting Pete that Flashbang! You've been hootwinked! And it's time to kill! Yeah! yeah. What if you were asleep? Consider this. Consider yourself sleepy. Oh dear. It's over. Can I have that mushroom, please? Oh, no, I can't. You got a feather! Incredible. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm just gonna go around here and I'm gonna. Whee! And I'm ignore the mysterious leaf creature. Whee! Whee! <laughs> I love free things. Right, that. I love free- I love free things! And you know what? I love free things! This is just gonna stop pain later, mainly. Shoots you with an arrow! Feeling sleepy yet? <laughs> okay, it's time for your surgery! Draws back the bow. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sunny. Welcome back, kid. How did it go? Huh? Isn't that a hootwink feather? So you did it then. Good job. And you too, Lucky. Woof! Ha! Ah, just as I thought. What? Don't tell me y'all already took down that hootwink, Sonny. <laughs> Pokes fingers together. <laughs> you mean I lost? So we're all beginner and all. You're something else, buddy. Pete! Uh, uh, oh, Granny Cotton. You're a fucking disgrace! You've done nothing but laser round instead of training! That's why you lost! Well, maybe, but losing someone who's only just starting out. He- uh, man's actually trying to say it's rigged. Well, what do you expect, dozing over at the sheep pen all day? Uh, but the weather's been so nice and all. Oh, I see. Well, that's fair enough, then. Huh? Who won't want to spend a fine day napping away in the sunshine? Granny. 
Listen up, Pete. From now on, you can doze off whenever it's sunny. In fact, you're not allowed to do a thing until the sun goes down or the sky clouds over. What? what? B b but that's not... That's all I have to say on the matter. She said go to bed. <laughs> right then, Sunny. It's only... I I'll only say this once, so listen carefully. Uh-oh, more trouble's coming. First, I want to thank you for helping me out today. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. It's 500 bucks! Yay. W what? You thought I was going to lecture her, didn't you? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Granny uses sleep arrow on Pete. <laughs> Goodbye forever, child. We'll be on our way now, but I think Fern wants a word with you. I'm not sure what it's about. Granny Cotton. Anyway, Sonny, I wanted to tell you something. Getting that hootwing feather means, well, it means you've taken your first step to becoming a true hunter. To tell you the truth, I never thought you'd make it this far, kid. As the hunter master, I hereby officially name you my pupil. Now, let me check how you did on your first hunt. Oh boy! It's that time again. It's that time again. We're so back. Ba -ba -ba -ba! Yes, yes, absolutely agreed. We're so back. Woo! That is three fledglings and, th and two apprenticeships. We're doing pretty good. Hmm, not bad for your first effort, kid. Not bad at all. I guess now I can now officially call you a fully fledged hunter. A hunter must always live at one with nature, even if sometimes we have to fight it. You must learn to hear nature's voice where others hear nothing. Sunny, I want you to make a promise. Promise that you will always try to improve yourself. Lucky left your party. Bye bye, Lucky. I'm a dog. Yeah, you are lucky. Good for you. Oh boy. I always enjoy watching your streams. Well, you know what? I always enjoy fancy life than internet. <laughs> Well, I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's fine. I keep getting it wrong. I keep getting it wrong. I'm not okay. <gasps> nice. Right then. So, I'm gonna take a look at my funny quests. Because the funny quests are mainly just, um, kill. Actually, now that I see that. Okay, what I'm gonna do- I, I, I know I said I was gonna go to bed at one. I can go to bed at half one, it's fine. Hello, you. Oh no, it's you again. I'm gonna go to bed, because going to bed will make it be the daytime. And I just think that'd be swell. Slay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh no. Record the save screen and replace it for the next loop. <laughs> um, yeah. And replace it for the loop next fancy live stream. I can just have that be the intro. You know? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna ask Flotter yet, just in case I level anything up. I will close this out with asking uh, Flutter for my bliss score or whatever. But now, what I'm gonna do... Okay, there was a slight exception to my rule I said earlier. You can complete missions for another life while you're in a different life. Hello Jude, goodbye Jude. Except for when it's um, combat missions, for whatever reason. It has to be as a hunter I have to go kill these bees. I can't kill them as a mercenary. Like, I can kill them but I'll have to do it again. Right then. I'm out on the field. We don't need sleep, we need five more hours. One of these days, I'll start a little bit earlier. I'll make sure I actually fucking start on time for once. Weep! Hello? Weep! There we go. And I will kill. Get messed up. Sheep, more like it's Shova. There we go. I would say the hunter and the, like the start of the hunter and the mining life 
go pretty well together. Because if I come over here... I'm not going to kill the Karatees because the Karatees are a mercenary thing, not a hunter thing. Here we go. Because there is ore over here. And I can, as the kids say, Dandori. <laughs> Whee! -la 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 -la. Sometimes a sweet spot might just be behind a place you can't get. And you're just going to have to live with that. You don't see shit. You don't see shit. I don't think- I don't think they can actually see me. While I'm mining. Okay, that's beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, off I go. Are the cat- I swear the caterpillars aren't part of this. Yes, I need to go fuck up some wolves. It's pretty simple, I'll be honest. It is pretty simple to do the combat mission because you just got to go kill a guy. It's no, I mean, and also grab honey if you're the guy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. B, I'm coming for you. Woo, 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 woo. Go sleep forever. To be or not to... Is that a Shakespeare and Hathaway reference? It's over. Are oh, killing the ostriches part of mine? I know that for something. Yes, they are. The Roadrunners. Okay. I'm going to show you why I didn't kill them earlier. Because you've got a bit too much health for me to want to worry about right now. There we go. But at least I can get delicious eggs. It's weird playing it on, like, the big screen. When I look up at my OBS, die. <laughs> it's weird playing Fancy Life on a big screen. Hmm. I mean, I will admit, it, it's not the worst thing ever. <laughs> and then I leveled up. Brilliant. Here we go. Vitality and intelligence. That seems important. How many levels are in this game? I've, I've completely forgotten. I want to say 200. I want to say you can level up 200 times. Okay, then... Then I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, yeah, no, don't want to be using that against him. Fuck it. We go in with the Claymore. Whee! With the DLC, you can level up to 200. So 200 it is. Hey! Hey! Well, you need to level up to level 50 to unlock the DLC, I think. Hey! Hey! Yeah! Yeah. Oh, I'd cut down that tree if I had the option to, but I'm not a woodcutter yet. There's probably stuff in the Elderwood. I'm going to show you the Elderwood. Let's see, is there anything in here that needs to die? Probably. Most likely. Actually, one of the other missions... Okay, combat missions aren't that simple. Because one of them is kill a certain amount of things with a certain move. And it needs to be the finishing blow, so we'll see. For example... What are you? You're a gingery. And I'm going to gingerly put you in the grave. Yeah! yeah! I'm gonna be honest, the charge attack isn't that great for a hunter, but uh, we try our best. Yeah. Fucked up looking Pikmin. Orange Pikmin aren't real! Die! Yeah! yeah. Ooh. I don't trust something called a mush face. This is probably a magician thing, actually, but you know what? Fuck it. Mush face, go to hell! It's over for you. You're never gonna work in this town ever again. Pew, pew! Die? Huh? Yeah. Yep, yeah, that was not a hunter mission. There's a panther over here. There's a panther somewhere. There's a panther there. Forest panther. I will kill him another time because I, I don't have the patience. Here we go. Oh! 400 stars. I swear they're not all the same amount. Maybe. 
60, 90, 140, 190. I'm invested. Now I want to get to Apprentice with this. <laughs> it's main. I think it's all just stuff in the East Grassy Plains. Oh well. Okay, off I go. Back home. It'll be easier to do the charge thing with them anyway. Whee! Some enemies respawn when you go into an area and then come back. Some of them don't. I'll kill you, and then you'll be dead. Whee! There is, like, an area that they can't really go out of. And if they do, they'll just, like, run back. So you can kind of take advantage of that. Poi! Yeah! Ow. Get messed up! Shit. <laughs> the way I just missed. Yeah! Dang, I shot all three of them. I'm something of a bee ass to myself. Yeah! Yeah! Here we go. Yeah, they can drop, uh, oh god. They can drop items, they can drop HP, or they can drop, uh, EXP crystals. And I like it when they drop the EXP. Normally a boss will drop a nice one. Maybe. If they're feeling nice. There we go. Pom pom da pom pom Or I could start a new life now. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna finish this. I'm gonna get to apprentice with the hunter life. I'm mess how did you miss? I'm right in front of you. I mean, I would definitely do that. Let's be real. If I was not, if I was an, uh, an ostrich, I would be completely fucked. I would not be good at being an ostrich. Trust me when I say, we can make it if we try. Just the one of us. Just the one of me. It's Terry. Good for you, Terry. I can't go past here. Do not worry about what's over there. I'm sure it's nothing story relevant. Tra la 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 Tra la la going to kill some sheep Tra la 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 Do not worry bro it is not that deep Poi! Two for the price of one Two for the price of a mutton <laughs> Here we go Poi! Oi 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 Double kill! <laughs> there we go. I don't need to use my bow anymore. Brilliant. Until the next time I level up. I'll mess you up. Uh, why am I aiming at this guy? <laughs> you can press Y to switch your aim, but um... Yeah, the button got it right. Why? There we go. Also, if I get rid of these sheep, I will get fleece, hopefully. Nope. Well, it would be nice if I did, because I need that for Taylor things. Oh god, I'm slightly dying and that's okay. These bees are murderous, that's why you gotta get rid of them. I don't need to deal with that last one. Okay. The enemies normally say, uh, spawn in the same kind of location, so that's how I know that there's gonna be three bees over there. 30, 60, uh, 110, 110. 140, 190, uh, 220, 270, 350, 400. I'm so good at math. Mental arithmetic, 1 billion. <laughs> right then. What do you have to say, dog? Woof, woof, woof! Woof! Why did the dog have potions? <laughs> okay! <laughs> what is it, kid? Hi! <laughs> I did a thing, please be proud of me. Our accomplishments make us who we are. Let me see what you've accomplished. She's looking into my fucking soul. Jesus, shit. Pram, pam, pam, pam. Look at that. Gorgeous, beautiful, listen to that sound. 
sound out the song of being real fucking good at video games. <laughs> there we go, 400 on the money. And God, do I love money. Here it comes. Here it comes. I got to cross off another one on my bingo. This is going to be so satisfying to fill in. It already is. Oh. Nice. Woo! Because the dog is a good dog. Pochi would do that. Pochi would give me HP potions. The rest would give me poison. <laughs> I believe in them to poison me. Whee! Scatter shot! Don't you mean splatter shot? I'm fine. I'm normal. I'm normal. Now I can poison a dude. Now I'm the one doing poison. Congratulations on the apprentice rank, kid. But don't get overconfident. Remember, nature gave you what you need to succeed, and she can take it away just as easily. I'm talking car accident. <laughs> Lucky, come to me my time of need. Riff, riff! I see. Damn it, why does the dog have a romance subplot? It's actually over. It's actually over. It's actually over. What the fuck? Dog divorce? Dog divorce? Never mind. Never mind. Dog divorce. We are so back. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I have time to do one more tutorial. I want to get a, I want to get a solid six. I want to get a solid six lives progressed so then I can work on it. I can noodle along off stream. Here we go. Dogs get married? Can fish love? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna do... Carpenter, Taylor, or Alchemist? Which one? Just which one? I have time for one more counter. Let's go. No, because then I'll be an even six, and then I'll have six to do next time. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Become Ikea. Carpenter it is. That's a, that's a thrilling, that's a stunning argument. I'll never be able to argue with this. <laughs> Tra la 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 la! Bling! Bling! There's so many buttons I've got to press to update this thing. There we go! I'm a novice! Congratulations, you did it! Oh, uh, you did it! You're, you, you, you're the best, alright, around. Never gonna ever bring you down. Nice. She's gonna learn how to hold an Allen wrench. It's over for you fuckers. It's so over for you fuckers. Once I put my charm back on, and my leather cap, and my artisan's mitts. I'm gonna breeze through this tutorial. You see if I don't. I could skip all the tutorials. I've played them before. I just don't want to. <laughs> Here we go. Try la 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 la. Fancy life two when? Allegedly before the end of the year. <laughs> We're winning. Ah! What's wrong, Woody? Oh, well, this person is saying they want to become a carpenter. Well, Woody, that's nothing to panic about. Just do your duty as the carpenter master and show them the ropes. Simple. I'll try. Um, let's see. Carpentry. So, carpentry. Well, well, carpentry. So... Woody, calm down! You're going round in circles! Oh, am I? Oh, that's not good. Um, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, you wanna become a carpenter, yeah? Wanna spend all day going squeak, 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 knock, 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 right? Yes, I can see you do. Uh, and you love the smell of wood and a new furniture. Uh, uh, don't you? Keep going, Woody! I may not look like it, but I'm the uh, carpenter master. Yeah, yes, I'm the master, but I, 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 re I really don't feel like I am. Oh, I'm all sweaty. I have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, my throat's so dry. You're not the one who's had to do character voices for seven hours. Get a grip. <laughs> I'm so nice. <laughs> Woody, should I fetch you a glass of water? No, it's just, it's too much. I can't, I can't do this. Just take this. It's yours now. This is also made of plastic. <laughs> yes, now all you need is a recipe and you're a carpenter. 
Okay, Sawyer, take over from here. This again. What if you were dead? Following greatness. Well, we goddamn try. Hello, Sire. What do you want from me? Sorry about the master. I really must apologize on his behalf. May I ask who you are? Sonny, is it? I'm Sawyer. Nice to meet you. Woody is a bit on the timid side. Not good at public speaking, you know. But once he picks up a saw, wow, people are funny like that. He's the grandson of the legendary Marimo. Yes, he had the carpentry schools of a true artisan. Or more. <laughs> he just lacks leadership's qualities. Being a master is pretty hard for him. But at least you admit it. That's very admirable. I must say we're always gone. Where has he run off to? He really should be supervising, but actually, he entrusts most of the work to his students. The other pupils couldn't hack it and quit. You'll probably do the same. I have no confidence in you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Anyway, Woody gave you a tool, right? Might be a waste of time if you just end up quitting, but I'll teach you a basic recipe anyway. You learned how to make- oh, congratulations! Carpentry is all about beams. That's right, I said beams. Wooden beams. And we get beams from logs. You can buy them at the market. Or you could ask a woodcutter directly. Those chipper folks chop logs in the woods and mountains. There's a woodcutter, name of Forest, should be hanging around the woodlands in the east. As your first carpenter task, why not pay him a visit and ask for some materials? I'll be setting up the workshop here ready for the materials you bring back. Okay. When he just fucking dipped, he was not having it. <laughs> oh no. Can we beam the guy across the face? That's violence! Sure thing! <laughs> We're so back! Sorry, I was just drinking my fancy life juice. It's delicious. I was just drinking my H HP potion. Sweet and restorative. Yep, yep, I'll see how it is. So you're one of, no of Woody's nobies, are you? You just went to apply as a carpentry pupil, huh? But did Master run out on you, did he? Am I right? Or am I right? The smell of sawdust on your clothes gives it away. Spend five minutes in that workshop and you'll be smelling of sawdust all day. I'm pretty fond of that sawdust, Dow. Fresh. Woodsy. Sorry, I have allergies. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. It's oat logs you're after, is it? Here you go. Take these. Where are you from? <laughs> what are these people's accents that I've given them? No need to tank me. Woodcutters and carpenters gotta work together. If you need any more materials, there should be some plenty in that there forest. Just help yourself. Oh, by the way, you don't really believe I can tell everything about just about you just by the smell of sawdust on your duds, do you? Ah, ah, ah. Well, never mind. Just do your best. Become a great sawdust setting carpenter. Question mark? <laughs> sniff, sniff. You sound. You smell like a carpenter. <laughs> Threatening. Oh no. <laughs> Who names that child Forest with two R's? It's fucking beautiful. The fancy life localization team, as it turns out. <laughs> oh, good god. This is the taste of a carpenter! <laughs> We're actually doomed. We're actually just fucking doomed. Nice! Ah, welcome back! Did you get some logs? How was Forrest? What? He knew everything about you just from the smell of sawdust on your clothes? I never knew Forrest could do that. Well, never mind that now. It's time I taught you how to use that tool. I did a thumbs up emoji. Unlimited carpentry works. <laughs> we'll be soon. And that's how it's done. Now to put it into practice. Stand in front of the workbench to do carpentry. You can do carpentry. Do this like cooking with wood. Like cooking with wood. I think we've seen this this image like three separate times already. <laughs> 
Brilliant. Genius. So smart. Don't worry if you're a bit nervous. Everyone was a beginner once. Let's try making an oak beam first. Don't forget to equip your soul. Oh, you can't stop me. This is literally me when I equip my soul for the carpentry profession. Here we go. Yeah, this is... You're already probably saying this is going to be helpful for the blacksmith as well. Because the blacksmith needs things to make things. Needs oak beams to make, make pickaxe. Symbiosis. Symbiosis. <laughs> it's symbiosis, baby! Shit, I'm bad. Wait, no, I'm a genius. Wait, no, I'm a fucking god. There we go. There we go! We are so... We are so bad. I, I could do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yippee! We're so back. Hey, you did it. How does that feel? Pretty good, huh? Making beams out of logs is a carpenter's bread and butter. I inhaled some sawdust. You can use beams to make other things, or go ahead and sell them at the marketplace. Naturally, beams cut from high quality trees will sell, <coughs> will sell for more dosh. The more you improve, the more dosh you can rake in. It's a life that really pays off. Seriously, my lungs are not doing okay. Right, time to report to Woody. The fuck did he go? Yeah, he's not here. <laughs> Damn, could have said it better myself. Hmm, that's not good. The master's supposed to do this bit. You're supposed to be given a challenge by the master to qualify as a fledgling carpenter. I think it would be best if you went to Woody's house to look for him. I have to keep an eye on the machines and do stuff, so I can't go with you, I'm afraid. Woody's house is near the middle of the Arsans district, near the southern well east of here. That's not what I said. Okay. Two, 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 three, two, two, two. Tra -la -la -la. I know where you live. 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 Woody and Cherry's house. There we go. Oh yes, the best way to get lessons from your teacher. Just go to the home and announced. It's perfectly fine. Wait, this. This might be family drama again. A large collection of carpentry tools. Only a pro would have such a fine set. I wasn't asking. Ugh. What are you doing here? Look, I beg of you. Don't sneak up on me like that. <sighs> Hold on. Just let me catch my breath. Almost got it. Uh, okay, I think my heart rate's gone back down now. Okay, I'm calm, nothing to worry about. I think I know why you're here. You want to, you want to tell me you made the oak beam, right? Wow, you're pretty good. And Sawyer's teaching is pretty good too. You're both pretty awesome. I'm the one that's pathetic. Dang, it's not family drama, it's emotional drama. Well, as your master, I should teach you about these at the very least. You can't make a boat! Slay. And also, you can make a fishing rod. Dope. It's a lot to remember, huh? Don't worry if it takes a while to sink in. Um, huh, hang on. Uh, what was next? Oh, yes, the fledgling challenge. Hmm, what challenge should I set? Ah, I can't think of anything. I've gone completely blank. Can you hear me, Woody? Huh? Who? What? Listen to me, Woody. Breathe in the center of something woodsy and relax. Fresh sawdust, log piles, new furniture, whatever. Come on, Woody. Take a deep breath of that woodsy scent. A d -d deep breath? Okay, I'll try it. Ha! 
はあはあはあはあ Would he listen closely? You are a strong, confident carpenter. Let the woodsy sense soothe your troubled mind. Ha, ha, ha. I feel much, much better now. How can I ever repay? Huh? That voice just now. Was it all in my head? Sonny's just like, yeah, definitely. Didn't hear anything. <laughs> Sounds like the sawdust is haunted. <laughs> Let me into your lungs. <laughs> oh, I've thought of a challenge for you. On my way back from the forest earlier, I got a request from the proprietor of the furniture shop. But something came up, so I had to decline. Maybe you could do it instead. Yes, that would make for a good challenge. I'm afraid I don't remember the particulars of the request. I had a lot on my mind, you see. Would you mind meeting me with the chap and asking him for yourself? I'll just be waiting here. He's fine. He's gonna be fine. Wait a second! Joke's on you! Joke's on you! Kill him with kindness? Wrong. Fast travel! This is how we shave off our seconds. This is how we do this. Wee! Because I remembered where the furniture shop was. Yes, I'm Goodwood. Oh, you're Woody's pupil. Well, hello, hello. Huh? What? Hey, who's this? What? No way. You're my, bro, my big bro Woody's pupil? I'm his little sister, Cherry. Nice to meet you. Oh, you don't say. You're supposed to do Goodwood's request as your challenge. In other words, my brother didn't feel like doing it himself, hmm? Same old story. Yes, I don't mean any offense, Sonny, but I asked Woody to do it, so I prefer not to be fobbed off with someone else. The slander. It's just he's the grandson of legendary carpenter Marimo. Or more. And you're just, well, you know, some fucking dude. Now hold on just a minute. You should go give her a chance to prove herself. My brother may be afraid of his own shadow, but he's an excellent judge of talent. And he sent his prized pupils to come and help you out. So don't say no! I mean, have you smelled this girl? That sawdust, that is. Mark of a true carpenter. I'm scared. Yes, yes, I was just thinking that. You should always follow your nose. What if you smell a corpse, huh? No reason. I don't care about the smell of sawdust, but, uh, well, I guess you've convinced me, Cherry. I'll let Sonny here help me out with my request. Yeah! I'm afraid it's a rather difficult request, but if I could have it done urgently. What if a chair was blue? Waluigi's cousin is being rude. <laughs> Actual slander. Gorgeous. Wait, this is the custom wooden chair, isn't it? You know of it? Uh, yeah, I'm only the first person ever to have sat on one of these chairs. Is that so? Yup, way back when Grandpa came by with a chair he just finished making. It looked like a normal chair to me, but he told me to hop on and give it a try. So, with trepidation, I sat. And then... And then? It was so comfortable that I went into deep into a dream. I woke up five years later. It was a difficult time for the family. Oh my, how disturbing. I must have been dreaming for years! When Grandpa woke me up, it was time! It was time, alright. What a fantastic piece of furniture! And this kind and this little carpentry pupil here is going to make one of those chairs? Yep! With my Grandpa's recipe, I'm sure it can be done! Hey, Sonny! Let me help you out, okay? Yes, I think that's a good idea. I'd be happier if you were involved as well. People don't respect me! People don't respect me! a good place to get materials. Grandpa used to go there regularly. Let's head there ASAP. I'm sure the shopkeeper will be really helpful. I'm just a bystander in this story, but boy, am I excited. <laughs> Me. You know, I'm just here. And then Connie Confetti joined my party. Brilliant. Right then, here we go. Look at her go. She's got a cereal case of big pant. 
Are you big jacked or big fat? <laughs> right then. Oh no, it's you again. Welcome to Find What You Never. Feel free to browse. Oh, Cherry, isn't it? Long time no see. I'm afraid I don't know what your little carpenter friend. Oh, this is Sunny. She's my brother's star people. My brother is experiencing motivational difficulties. He should see a doctor. Anyway, Sunny here wants me to, wants to make a chair. Oh, yes. Let me see. Let me see the recipe a sec. Oh, this takes me back. Our most custom wooden chair, isn't it? I thought you'd know of it. Do you have the materials for it here? I'm really sorry, but we don't have this beaver beam in stock here. This is an original Marimo recipe, so some of the materials might be quite specialized. However, I do recall that when Marimo made this chair, he would always stock up on oak beams. I'm not really sure how he used them, but if you'd like some oak beams, they're all in the house. Well, are you sure? Of course, considering payback for the little trip down memory lane you probed me on. Okay, sure, why not? If you want to know about the beaver beams, why not ask someone who helped me? Wait a second! I already I already know how to make those! Curses. I, a plague upon your house, lol. If you want to know how to about the beaver beams, why don't I wanna why not Marimo? Someone who used to help grandpa. As for the dandelion cotton, have you considered asking a tailor? Oh right! Yes, we'll do that! Wow, thanks for everything! Someone who used to help grandpa with his work! Is there anyone in Castell who fits that description? Dandelion cotton should be easy enough to get! I think Taylor at the choir hall might be able to get some. Girl, the girl, the girl, the, the, the guy, hold, the sewer. I'm fine. Anyway, good luck, you two. And Sunny, come back anytime. Oh, where on earth will we find the dandelion cotton? Where will we do it? Oh, no! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. The random people joining your party for stuff like this reminds me. I appreciate that the devs went to the trouble of giving each party member a description you can check in the menus. Oh, absolutely. Everyone's got one. I'm like dogs, I think. But you know what a dog is. Woody's little sister. She is a talented carpenter who may one day surpass her brother. Keeps two beavers. Normal pet. Actual Connie confetti doppelganger. Shit, I think we did copyright infringement. <laughs> Nice! EN3, please play Fancy Life beforehand. You, you will be doomed otherwise. Here we go. Pring. Pring, prong, prong, pring, prong. Here we go. Whee! Right. Hello! Taylor the Taylor! Oh my, hello, Cherry. What are you up to today? Huh? Is this a friend of yours, Cherry? We just met. Uh, I don't even know this bitch. She's training to be a carpenter. Actually, we came here to ask your favor, Taylor. You're a pretty good tailor, aren't you, Taylor? Haha, <laughs> -ha, get it? <laughs> Silly, Cherry. Just say what you need. Well, actually, we're trying to reproduce a chair that ch the grandpa invented. And apparently we need some nice soft dandelions or, or something. Ah, you're talking about dandelion cotton. Can't you see the recipe? Hmm, yes. Yes, I see. I can make some from dandelion puffs. You two play a game or something to pass the time. I'll be ready in a jiffy. Okay! Okay, I spy with my little eye something beginning with a C. Oh wait, that's too easy. Okay, it's ready. <laughs> it's me! Connie Confetti! Wow, that was fast. You're the best, Taylor! How much do I owe you? Don't be silly. You're like three years old. You don't have income. Ah, uh, thanks a bunch. Now, to somehow get our hands on beaver beams, we need someone who helped out Grandpa. I'm stumped. Grandpa only ever talked about his work with his pets. Oh, yes. How are Beavy and Beaver doing these days? They're such cuties. They're as cute as ever. Ah, little pups. Well, thanks for the material, Taylor. Okay, bye. Hey Sunny, why not come back to mine? We can plan out our next move. This is fine. That's so normal. That's so normal. Prang, 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 pring, prang. Are there professions always chosen at birth? And if so, do those who don't do the chosen job get executed? 
I mean, the guy from the Blacksmith quest was meant to be a blacksmith, and then he was like, lol, paladin. Maybe we're safe. Because otherwise, Sunny would... Sunny became a chef first. It, she'll be fine. <laughs> Whee! Bum. Ba -ba -da -ba. We've got this. We've got this! Here we... Uh, excuse me. We can do this. Dashing increase to level three. That woman still wants a divorce. Sunny, allow me to introduce you. Me and Grandpa's old pets, Beavy and Bevo. Pretty sweet pups, aren't they? I really wanted a pet dog, so Grandpa bought, bought these combs guys from the forest for me. They always help me with my carpentry tasks. Sunny, will you keep them company for a bit? I'd like to go ask someone about the beaver beams. Really? Bevo! Cherry fucked off. Talk to the beavers. Here we go. Beavy? Sawdust. Bevo? Beavy? Bevo! <laughs> oh, no. They're like fucking Pokemon. Beavy! Bevo! They are dogs. They are dogs. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Beavy? Bevo. Beavy. Bevo. Beavy. Bevo. Ah, yes, they learn how to speak at the big man school of sp speeching. Bevo. Beavy. Bevo. That's so normal. Beavy? Bevo! No, no, no! Snuffle, snuffle, achoo. No, no, no! Snuffle, snuffle, achoo. Nibble, nibble, no! Licky, licky, lick! No, no, no! Nibble, nibble, nibble! They just made it worse. They just ate half of it! I don't want to trust people! Oh no. A beavy. A beavo! Haven't heard a song like that in a while. Beavy! Beavo! We're so beef back? Hello, Beavy and Beavo, my old fairy friends. How have you been? Beavy! Has young Cherry figured out your beavers yet? Beavo! <laughs> good, good. Ah, young lady, are you a carpenter? Why are you goggling at me as if I'd just come tumbling out of the sky? Hmm? 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 Fuck you, goggling at! <laughs> Fuck you, goggling at! I'll see you. I'll see you in hell. Fucking dudes be fucking goggling. I've been away on a long journey, traveling the world, you know. <laughs> Not as exciting as it sounds, believe me. By the way, do you like the sense of woodsy things? Fresh sawdust, log piles, new furniture, whatever. Why are you so obsessed with the smell of sawdust? That's a medical condition. You should get a doctor's appointment. Yes, yes. Let the scent of the trees soothe your troubled mind. I don't grass smells like something. What the fuck does a tree smell like? There's a carpenter. Name of Woody. Not unskilled, but a bit of a weakling. What's that? You know him. What's that? He's your master. I see, I see. So when I was giving him that little pep talk down the chimney. Yes, I thought I spotted you then. I was the ghost the whole time. I see. You're sunny, aren't you? Cherry gets lonely sometimes, so I'd really appreciate if you spent some time with her. She does not have parents. Well, I'll be taking her my leave now. Beavy? Bevo! And this was just a flying visit. No time for family reunion. I got to take a peek at them both, so I'm satisfied they're doing all right. Theme of parental abandonment? 
Dang, this childhood trauma slaps. Jerry and Woody both need to stand on their own two feet. I've decided not to interfere for the time being. When the time is right, I'll meet with them both face to face, but that's in the future. All right, Sonny. You may be a young sapling, but you show promise. When your blisters become calluses, you'll be ready. That's a threat. Well then, everyone. Farewell. Beavy? Beavo. Beavy? Beavo. Hey, hey! Wait, are those. I don't believe it! You've got the beaver beams? But how? Really? Beavy and Beavo made them. My clever little doggies, good boys! Yeah, these pups were always Grandpa Marimo's biggest helpers. And I was always the one choking under pressure and making gran messes Grandpa had to clean up. But you know what? Sometimes I feel like Grandpa is watching over me. Guiding me. Where are your parents? Sometimes I swear I can hear Grandpa's voice coming from the heavens. Anyway, let's stop blabbering and make that chair! Aw, oh, Cherry, I was making a heartfelt speech there. Don't worry about it. Oh no. They're not. They're so normal. Everyone in this game is so normal. <laughs> oh dear. From the heavens, yeah! Don't worry about it. Please do not worry about it. Alright! Let me in. Alright, time to make that requested item. Oh, almost forgot. I'd better teach you this first. Now you can be IKEA! Wow, your voice has stopped shaking. Good going! Now you m make it by. Uh, sorry, I take over, will you? Passing off your responsibility on me again? No way! Not this time! You do the explanation, Woody! What? What? Nothing! Get on with it or I'll tell Cherry! But very well then. I don't want to hear her shrieking at me again. Now, uh, the procedure is quite similar to making beams, just a different. Well, it's a tough recipe, but give it a go. Just try not to panic and go blank. Let the scent of the trees soothe your mind. Beam the trees directly into your Not sarcophagus. Not esophagophagus. Brain. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Subconscious! No. <laughs> oh no. This is fine. Right then. Custom wooden chair. We're so back. We're so back. The back of the chair. Why is it all soaring? Let me out! My favorite kind of this mini game. I love playing this game, but my. My favorite kind of crafting minigame is just press the A button once and hope for the best. It's just whoops all of this. Here we go. Whee! Gorgeous. Apply tree directly to the forehead. Or maybe apply chair. Brilliant. Ayo! Ah, it looks like you pulled it off. Wow, amazing! You really did it! Yes, the level of detail in the carving is excellent. Grandpa Marimo himself would be satisfied. Sonny, how did it go? Look, I'm all, I promised a good wood! Yes, yes, this is it! The custom wooden chair! I'm gonna go fucking catatonic in this thing! This is more than I could have hoped for! You've exceeded my expectations! Oh wow, the memories! Looks exactly the same as the ones Grandpa made! This is a most pleasant surprise. You've got some skills, my friend. I'll buy your wares anytime. Come and see me if you're looking to sell. Here's your payment. You've earned it. And what's it gonna be? And what's that payment going to be? 500 dash, baby! Great job, Sonny! Beavy? Bevo! Oh, I'm canonically injured. That's wonderful. Say, bro! The woodcutter forest told me it's something interesting about you. He said you came running to the forest to ask him in advance to help out the new pupil. Guess I'm busted. You don't have to tell everyone, though. 
Hey, sorry, bro. <laughs> well, anyway, it's about time to tally up Sonny's results. Let's take a look. Oh, you know what that means, boys. You know what that means, boys. You know what that means, boys. It's time for the letter F. Do -do -do -do. Here it comes. Here it comes. Wahoo! Yippee! <laughs> We're so back! We never left. Six for six. Wee! Nice. And now I can make cooler, more dope tables. Now you're a real carpenter. Congrats. My boy, you're starting to sound like a real master now. Nice job on the chair, little carpentry pupil. <laughs> it's that voice again. The one only I can hear. Wow, my confidence has really increased. Even the voices in my head are praising me. That sounds like you might need a therapist instead of more sawdust in your brain. How did no one else hear that? It's fine. He's actually just canonically dead. Only the beavers and... <laughs> He's a ghost, only the beavers can see him. Oh no. <laughs> Please seek medical attention, Muddy. I think all the sawdust is actually just going into your frontal lobe. Listen, Sonny. Come again and report back to me whenever you want stars. As your master, I can't wait to see how your life goes. Ba 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 da ba 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 da Yo! Nice. And that's... Oh god, six and a half. The five and a half hours. Six hours. It's the same thing. I'm a normal person who streams for normal amounts of time. Incredible! I can't believe you really managed to make one of Marmo's legendary recipes. I'm looking forward to looking... To the blah 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 blah. Have some oak logs. A present from me to you. You can get the other materials you need at the marketplace or out on the field. I think I've accidentally just started doing the voice from that one Just Eat commercial for this guy. So, um... A real damned. But that's that. Okay, I prom- I'm not gonna go into anything else. It's fine. I'm closing my- my funny- my funny- I, I've closed Clip Studio Paint. I've done it. No more progress can be made today towards the live progress thing. I've done it. I'm slaying. You know what? Fuck it. One more thing. As promised. No. No. You know what? Instead of doing that, I was going to get a cat, but you could get cooler cats later. I'm going to wait until we've unlocked maybe the next area, maybe the, after, uh, the area after that, to get the full variety of cats. No. <laughs> well, one thing you can't stop me from doing. Shopping. It's real. Welcome to Castel General Goods, where everything is good. Generally. It's good. <laughs> so this is the General Goods shop. Well, 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 a talking butterfly. Now that's what you call a special customer. Please allow me to offer you some samples of our wares. Yay! What do we actually sell here? We deal in consumable items and tools for use in all types of life. But I suppose our best seller is the HP potion. It's a potion that restores some of your HP. It's a must for any fighter. It has a delicate and refreshing taste. Even the fussiest of fussy kids love it. Would you like to try some? Would that be okay? I want that funny bear. Of course. Here you go. Real? Wow, it really is delicious. Why, thank you. Another top seller is the SP potion, which restores some of your SP. Who would have guessed? Of course, your SP naturally recovers by itself. But if you find yourself in a pinch, you can use one to restore SP on the spot. Can I try some of that too? Well, it's fine with me, but are you, are you sure you can handle it? It's hard stuff. Of course! I, I've i drunk alcohol before! Yeah! Well, if you insist. Here you are. <laughs> <coughs> Delicious! <laughs> you cannot handle my potions! It's fine. Flutter dead from liver fail. She's a butterfly. I don't know if she has a liver. 
Ah, oh, hello Raiders, you've caught me in an excellent time. Silly voice acting a clock. It's sweet, but it's not. Yes, it's an effective potion, but the flavor to somewhat divides opinion. It's fucking Marmite. They put Marmite in this game, I just realized. Fucking Marmite, you either love it or you despise it. I hate it here. I hate you, and I hate myself most of all. Wee. Once they get used to it, some customers just say they can't get enough. But if I ever need to recover my SP, I just prefer to drink some juice or something. <laughs> Last of all, we have the ever popular life cure. If you ever run out of HP, you can use one of these to get back on your feet. They really are invaluable if you want if you're going to face more formidable foes. It's a little on the pricey side, but it's definitely worth the dosh. Would you like to try this one too? I must <laughs> Wait a second, I'm not talking yet! I must warn you, it doesn't taste great. I'll try it anyway! And then she never did. It's been so long since I've seen this game. Finally! People who remember Fancy Life, rise up! <laughs> and that's, uh, I suppose that's all there is to this place. Please take some samples with you. I hope they come in handy. Try not to die. Try not to pass out. If you do pass out, try to undo it. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. I hope we see much more of you in the future. We also have some special items for those who lead lives full of bliss. So make sure to pay a visit once you're feeling especially blissful. We're not going to sell our fucking wares to you until you're happy enough for them. You depressed? Get out. Get out of my fucking store. What the hell? <laughs> Thanks for your patronage. Please do come again. What the fuck? Yeah! 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 Wing! Wonderful. I. Th is that all of Flutter's quests? That she wants me to do? Yes, it is. You get more of those as you do the story. So now I am fully primed to do the story. Next time. I I'm. I'm not sure if you remember. It's. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. This isn't healthy. <laughs> I'm normal. Well then, you know what? I'll just go up to my bedroom. And I'll just go. And I'll just ask about my bleach. Sunny, how can I help you? Yes. Let's see how blissful you are. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Yay, I'm happy now. Huzzah. Right then. What bonus do I want? I don't think I need bigger storage right now. A horse, of course. Oh yeah, no, we can we can unlock the power of not being depressed. Never mind. Retail therapy is a lie. Go shopping plus. <laughs> this is what she meant. That's her. It seems Flutter wishes to speak with you. It seems I wish to sit on this chair, but I guess we can't always get what we want, Flutter. <laughs> we can't all always be happy, Flutter. It's fine. It's fine. You see that bed in the corner? You have one of those in real life. Use it. <laughs> and with that, yeah, no, that's enough. Even I know that 2am is a little bit out there. <laughs> oh, dear. Prime USA time. Oh, God. Fancy life. Depressed? Start six new jobs. <laughs> We're so normal. Yeah, but I'm gonna call it a day there because you know what? I'm a sane person. There we go. Sit down, 3DS. You've earned it. Progress today. There we go. I got six lives started. I'm a fledgling in three of them. I'm an apprentice in three of them. I think if I don't continue with the main story now, I can get up to apprentice and everything. I might, while I'm off screen, I might just do a bunch of quests. A bunch of, a bunch of quests, I mean like. These challenges. There we go. Whee! 
because I'm not really sure there's a point to you watching me make three oak beams and then make one oak rod and then make one oak staff and then make one wooden chair and then make one oak axe. Otherwise, these streams are actually just going to all be seven hours long. <laughs> oh, God. I'm fine. Really enjoyed seeing some fancy life. <laughs> I'm glad people still like this game. And that gives me hope for... God, I hope Fancy Life I sells well, because that's... I don't know if there's Fantasy Life merch, but I, I need them to produce more. <laughs> oh, no. I can't just go bank... Uh, I just can't... I can't just go bankrupt off of the back of Pik uh, Pikmin alone. <laughs> not normal, not sane. Let's see. Who is stream? Connie is streaming in an hour. I don't know. I stream this late. 2 a.m. Connie is streaming. It's her birthday. I mean, Cherry from the Woodcutters quest. Oh no. Connie's birthday thing starts in an hour. Go, uh, say Feliz Navidad. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Reminder that my merch goes off sale in like two days. You should buy it. 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 That's how they finance me buying like 15 copies of Fancy Life. I'll have you know. <laughs> I will sleep now. But not before I get my waiting rooms for tomorrow up. Listen, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. What a girl's got to do. What a girl's got to do. It's fine. We'll be fine. I, I said I thought of an outro completely forgotten what it was. You know what? It's okay. Because maybe the real fancy life was the friends we made along the way. Yay!